Hey, you better stop paying those weird. Hey, it takes quite a while. You better cut it out. You got all that big pee pee. Stop. Hey, you better stop paying those weird. Hey, it takes quite a while. You better cut it out. You got all that big pee pee. Stop it. Welcome, welcome. Very glad to have you all here. I am really stoked to get it on tonight. I want to get on this. I want to get deep inside. I want to get deep inside this stream's guts. We are going to be taking some calls. Speaking of guts, old Cobra got the... Man can't believe what he can endure. Say what you will, but just recently he took a shot of 
garlic butter sauce in his beer with, uh, oh, mama pig. And he was fine. However, the old Wrangler, she had the puke. And to be fair, I think I would have as well. Can you imagine drinking garlic butter sauce with anything? Any kind of beverage. It's not meant to be a beverage. It's a garnish. It's a topping. Anywho, there's my cold open. I'm here to entertain. John Baphomet says, make the white stuff come out again. You, isn't that a nasty story? Oh, Joshy boy. It's getting harder to simp for you, friend, pal, buddy. Prick. Well, anyway, what is, what does BDNL mean? Do I have to search for that? We'll get started here in a hot second. I got to figure out what BDNL means as an acronym. Nah. Nah. Nah, I don't know what it means. Someone needs to help me. The number will appear here in a hot second. I'm just tying down a few more things. Hopefully, I'm coming through okay. You know, I can actually, I can peep. I can peep real fast. Oh, okay, yeah, that's coming through good. One more thing here. All right, two seconds, and we'll open up those lines. Jack Cat says, if you don't like it, maybe you shouldn't go against the grain. The magic of life, YouTube. Danny Filth sends 99, I don't know what that A represents. I don't know. He's a tricky one, old Danny boy. All right, all right. Now. It's not too loud. Crank this down a little bit. Tonight is all about Cobra's health, how bad is it? How good is it? Do you think that maybe it's not as bad as people think? What's gonna happen to his teeth? That's what I wanna know. That's what I'm personally concerned about. He has what are called root caries, where the cavities go real deep at the top. And personally, I think that uh, it's a matter of saving the bone right now. What is this? There we go. You gotta save the bone. Now, I don't think Clint is gonna pay for implants or dentures. I'm just getting my thoughts out of the way, to be clear. We'll take calls. This isn't the seizure rant hour. We're here to hear your voices. Oh man, I need the timer. Oh, hang on. I forgot the timer. I'll use uh, the one we had before while I share my thoughts. Uh, Clint is not going to foot the bill for implants. They cost altogether the materials and the procedure tens of thousands of dollars. And given everything Josh has done, I, I don't think Clint has it in him to pay for all that. It's too much. Like many others have said, they're gonna probably be George Washington wooden dentures if he's lucky. Military grade uh, surplus dentures. Oh, did the mouth get stuck? It looks weird on the stream. Oh, all right, all right, I need to focus here. I need to find that timer. I know I have it. Thanks for being patient with me, YouTube. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. Ah, oh, come on, give me that timer. Oof. I'm gonna have to improvise. I really need a timer. I was gonna do one for three minutes like before. Put this in studio mode real quick. I'll check my old 
important thing. Damn, of all the things to forget, I need my timer. It's really important. Oof. Shoot. Just so <laughs> we don't have too much dead air, I'm going to go ahead and open up those lines. I think you guys deserve at least that. And uh, I'll get the timer in the meantime. We're going to do the big reveal of the number. I know, I ruined it. I ruined it. It's Ogre. Say goodnight. Sorry. Chubb says, Hail Caesar's magic band evading is a crime and should be punished by the courts, to be honest. Down with Morrissey, he's a pest. A pest. All right. Yeah, it should all be working. There's your number, boils. Monaget says, dentures may be expensive, but those plastic chatter teeth are like a dollar. Shout out to legit Cobra content creators. Love you, Seizure. Love you too, buddy. Mm. Yeah, he, he could get some of those. That'd be fine. All right, do not do not disturb. Is off. We're ready to go. They should be coming in. CEO of Chairbugs, love your videos. Says he's the goth who convinced them to drink the garlic cups. You little devil, you. Delightfully devilish. Hello. Hey, I I'm calling about uh, Cobra. Uh, all these fuckers talking about him having health problems is complete bullshit, and they need to cut it out. Oh, tell me. Got more. it. Uh, if he had issues, number one, he would admit it. He would own up to it. True. Uh, which he hasn't done because he doesn't have issues. Yes, his teeth are a little yellow, but you know what? You know what else is yellow? Pee is. And that's okay. That's sterile. That's you drink fine. It. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? Maybe sometimes he dumps his ass by accident. <laughs> Maybe that happens. Maybe he's at the door, someone's dropping off some door dash or a package, and he goes <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> and it happens. Can I get that noise again? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Attaboy. And I know that one because he's done it before because I'm his best friend. Oh, yeah? You guys hang out every now and again? Yeah. Yeah. He's really cool. He's a cool guy. That's all. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. All right, big dog. But y'all better, better cut it out because I'll find you, all right? As they say, first that's... call, best call. Well, good. Let's Damn. keep it that way. Keep it that way. I'm out of here. And I, I'm, I'm watching this fucking chat, too. Y'all better be Keep careful. In line. I'll call a clean on you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, afraid. deuces. Y'all yeah. fucking, I'm watching. You better be careful. Uh, nice Ooh. milky eye on you. All right, so that's our timer. Cool, I'll just roll with that. That should work fine. Uh, the incoming call noise. Hopefully you're not hearing that. I'm hearing it. Google Voice is really in between on trying to let me take additional calls while I'm talking to somebody. It's really weird. Yeah. Should have another coming in here. It's probably wigging out. Keep them in line. Keep chat in line. Yo! Hello? Yes, you're live. <gasps> Am I live, seriously, oh. with Caesar? Yeah, you got me. I'm here. Wait, what? I'm, I'm here. I'm ready to talk to you now. Welcome to be here. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh -huh. I definitely want to talk about Cobra and his health. Oh. Yeah, well, uh, let's hear it. 
Okay, so... Okay, so I have been to rehab like three times. I know how alcohol like affects your health. And Copes does not drink water. Copes needs to drink water. And if he doesn't drink water, that is going to be his ultimate end because his, uh, like, the... Just, like, him being able to, like, process... Any nutrient, it will be blocked, and he will, like, um, fuck. Oh, my God. Now I lost my train of thought because well, I'm so excited I'm on here. You, you got me thinking about <laughs> yeah, he's been eating those dog treats. Just stack the dog comparisons on. It's like he's got the rabies, and he's terrified of water. <laughs> He's terrified of water. He needs to drink water, and that'll <laughs> help his teeth. That will help his heart. I think his heart is what's going to be the end of him. You know, last night he was drinking water, but it was straight from the tap. What do you think about that? In Casper, Wyoming, I think their pipes are probably pretty lethal. Yeah. Like, they've just got to have so many dangerous toxins in them. Free and he doesn't pipes. drink enough water. <laughs> I can't stress it enough. He doesn't drink enough water. He doesn't. No, you can tell by his skin. That's why his teeth and his skin are so bad. He doesn't drink water. You know, with teeth, moisture's a big part of it. The the ones that are exposed to open air and get real dry, they rot faster. Uh, saliva. They do. You can see that. Yeah. And that's the thing with his teeth too is that the infections they're gonna go straight to nerves. They're gonna infect like his jaw. They're gonna infect his brain next. And they they may already have, I mean, you've heard him talk. <laughs> yeah. He's starting to take on a lisp lately. His uh, S's are coming out Has like Has he not TH. always had a lisp? He's struggled with his R's uh, and kind of had victory over that from time to time. But maybe it's just me. I feel like his S's are turning into the, the th noise and it's becoming more pronounced. You got 30 seconds, by the way. If you remember what you're going to say, now's the time. I'm just going to say that, uh, yes, over time, his talking has gotten so just mumbled and like, you know, mm -hmm. and he talks about like, like film on his mouth and just feeling that like he talks about his back hurting. That's because he doesn't drink enough fucking water. He needs more water. got to flush it out. It was great to have you. I agree with you 100%. Thank you. Oh, my God. I've been waiting two days for this. All right. Love oh, you. Yeah, Good yeah. night. Bye. Do. Bye, bye. <laughs> Kobe's doesn't want to be near that water. Doesn't want to get in it. Doesn't want to drink it. You know, it's kind of funny, but him and Crystal have that in common. They are uh, really scared of water. Crystal will unironically not do a uh, water challenge stream because it just it's so unpleasant for her. She's always got that big gulp. It's a shame I don't have a pick of Crystal handy. I will understand if you're not familiar with her yet. But real soon you might be needing to pay attention to her channel. Because while Josh is banned from the YouTube. There. Sorry about that. That was uh that wasn't good. Come on, dude, those teeth are coming out soon. Press blah blah. Braze Jeff Grubbs blah Jeff. Isaac Uncooked says, yo, seizure, get yourself one-eighth of a pizza. That's what's up, Tubes. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the stream starting thing. I hit the wrong button. No skin off my shoes, Tubes. Yeah, the stream is starting over. That was our, uh, that was our dry run. That was us being dry. I know, it's boomer. Boomer stuff, what happened just then. Forgiveness. I'm having to see your response in the future because there's a delay. How long was that going for? Hang on. 
Oh yeah, you guys are seeing that for a long time. That is shameful. Ugh. I hit the wrong button. I didn't notice it in time. Damn it. We should have another call coming in here. I think we've got the classic Three Stooges syndrome going on. Too many calls coming in. It's jamming it up. I'm so sorry, you guys. Blew it. Hello, you're live. Said stop talking about my boy. My boy. Be nice to him. Be nice to my boy. Everybody, because he's dry, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I think that's uh, caller number one back again. Spitting bars of truth at us. I'm trying to tell you, you're too stupid to sing it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you tried to tell me I was too stupid to see it. Hello? Colin? Hello? Yeah, yeah, sorry, I was having a fit. Oh, well, that's okay, that's okay. I didn't expect to get on. Oh, you done it. It's been weird. There's been huge pauses between the inbound calls. I'm not sure what's happening. I think you got the wrong number up there. That's what I think. I called the old number. Oh, let me double but Anyway, this is Gabe Horn. Gabe Horn. I just want to say that if uh, he doesn't lose the top of his mouth, like, he's going to need something. He's, like, something's going to happen. We're going to, like, just, just hold on to your fucking pants because holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> his teeth are gone. Th those top teeth are gonzo. You know, maybe he can keep his bottom teeth and he can just like chew his food against the top of his bone if it, you know, sticks around. But holy shit, dude. Special agent, thank you very much for that valuable intel. I did have a wrong number up. Uh, I don't know where that one came from. I Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. Yes. Yeah. Special agent Gabe Horn. Sorry, I might have the Rona, so I'm trying not to uh, stress my voice right now. Oh, man. Sorry, I didn't mean to uh, blow your cover there, Mr. Gabe Horn. Oh, oh it's, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm protecting your service. Yes. Uh, something. Uh, you know, Cobra's doing fine, you know. Right. He, but, what the fuck am I saying? He's not doing fine. He's horrible. Uh, he's going to lose guys... his teeth. You've been giving him any special injections that have been causing him to mutate, like the FEV. Uh, maybe this is just a side effect of him. Directly into him. the lips, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the best area for injections on this boy. They're plumping. Yeah. So yeah, just... they're getting nice and they're getting kissable. This is uh, you expected. know, maybe Stephanie will get a hankering for it. Yeah. Yeah, big plump oh. lips. That's what the women want. They want big, soft, pillowy, kissable lips. Mm. Yep, and when those teeth are gone, you know what? Who knows how good he's going to get with the tongue? He's going to have to mash his food up. You oh, know, yeah. something crazy. He might get some crazy skills. Yeah, well, he's he's got very strong lips. Uh, you may have seen him feed in the pork chop delight like a typewriter. Oh, Oh, the burrito, the burrito, the deep fried burrito leftovers. That's what he really, oh, yeah. the, the lips became like a, a maw. What do they call that shark? The goblin shark that could shoot its mouth out? That's what it was. <laughs> just grabbed it like prehensile lips and just sucked it in. Ooh, I want to find a pic of that. The goblin shark. Just uh, oh, yeah. call it the boglum shark. Exactly. It's it's perfect. They what? need to get cool taste in, the, in that... uh marine laboratory get some real names in there what the hell am i looking at here i'll, I'll put this you're up. looking at the goblin shark i would assume the boglum shark the boglum it's the perfect shark. you know it sits at the bottom of the ocean in the dark just like our boy sits at the bottom of his apartment <laughs> in casper <laughs> yeah at the bottom of the valley and he just Darkness. you know it sits around and waits for something to come across it and then it shoots its fucking uh prehensile <laughs> lips out and grabs it and <laughs> Pulls it back in. <laughs> oh, man. You got 10 seconds, friend. That's too funny. That is so good. Oh, 
I'm just saying, uh, Cubs is going to lose his teeth. It's going to be this year. Gabe Horn on the full call. On the we're going to take his teeth and we're going to use it to fucking kill all the Russians. Hey, uh, put a stop to the Cobra Stompers, will ya? Can you get on that? Oh yeah, we're we're on that. Don't worry. All the right. the Cobra Wranglers are gonna put a stop to the Cobra Stompers. <laughs> the Wranglers versus the Stompers. Oh, oh yeah. Bless you. Thank you for your service, friend. This is Gabe Horn. God bless America. Oh, Roger and out. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs> Directly into his lips. Uh-huh. All right, now the calls are coming in. Cripes, I I always find a way, don't I, to uh, sabotage these things. Hello. Oh, hey, is this Caesar? This is Caesar. What up? Oh shit. What's up, Caesar? How you doing, man? Oh, I am doing well. Things are finally straightening out. I think we're good. Uh, we're, you know, riding the ship. How are you? Hell yeah. Hell, you get that ship fucking steady. I'm good, brother. So I had I had just a quick question. I, yeah. I noticed something about the health of, of multiple Casperites, mm. and I wanted to get your opinion. Sure. Uh, what is the deal with everyone in Casper having so much spit in their mouth? Uh, I got a touch of the tism, so I'm going to hang up and, and listen to your response. But uh, <laughs> uh, that's what's up, brother. Keep it going. Okay, you're, you're good. Man, he just ejected. He's got the tism. So, man... So they got wet mouths, huh? I've got to think about that. Maybe I can check in with this person and see. They're just spitting. Maybe it's an evolutionary trait. Caller, why do Casper people have so much spit in their mouth? The meth. Gotta be the meth. It's the meth, but I thought that dried you out. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I, I don't know. I've, I've never used it, uh, you know, personally. Maybe. I'm not a Casperite. They get dry mouth because they're spitting everything that's in there. It's all being voided. It's gotta be. It's, it's that, it's the chewing tobacco, it's all this shit. Yeah. It's a combination of things, I think. Oh. Um, really hard to say. And on the mess subject. Yeah. I am a little worried about the kind of stuff that Warlord put him onto back in the day. Oh. Now, what kind of stuff was you know? it? I, it's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Uh, but I know he's probably got some serious cardiovascular problems. You know, some you cardiopulmonary some problems. Deep lore. I got a deep um, cut for you. Yeah, please. So apparently. When Josh was on Spice, the only way to convince him to stop was to tell him that it was going to shrink his balls. And then he quit doing yeah. it. Yeah. I've, I've heard that before. He, yeah, there's there's certain videos from back in the day. He looks shaky. He looks strange. And I don't know shaky if that dog. was the Spice. I don't know what it was. But there's yeah. certain deep cuts. He, he, he looks off in a way that he's usually not. When he's on Spice? Well, take, when he's on Spice or yeah. whatever the fuck they got, they got him on, Yeah. take that for what you will. But, sure, sure. you know, there's other stuff going on. Um, you know, and then, of course, there's there's a long time when I was worried he was just going to pass out with a lit cigarette in his hand and burn himself to death as well. He's got the devil's luck. He hasn't set himself on fire. He hasn't stabbed himself while destroying a pizza box. Um, yeah. Yeah. He hasn't died from whippets. He revealed last night right. that he's been doing whippets, at least in the past, yeah. with the whipped cream. That can kill you. If you roll yeah, bad, absolutely. you can just die. Absolutely. It's amazing. Yeah, and who knows Who knows what the hell this huffing all this cologne's doing in his brain. I don't know if it That's does anything. I can't figure that one out. What does huffing that's, cologne do That's a weird one. Yeah. That's a strange one. That is some I cannot stuff. figure that out for the life of me because yeah. I don't know what kind of high that could possibly give you besides the fact that a lot of it is just pure alcohol. Yeah, that might be it because I think um, through specific means you can inhale alcohol vapors and get drunk. Right. Maybe that's right. it? Yeah. And though. and the, the weird thing to me is he, as much as he claims to love alcohol, he hates the smell of alcohol. 
he gags when he smells it. And oh, he hates a lot of things about alcohol. Any parting oh, thoughts, good. friend? We're already out of time. I'm sorry. Well, have a good one, Caesar. First time, long time. Take care, buddy. You done good. Be well. Good job, Slugger. Bye bye. Hello, friend. You're live. Oh my God! Am I really talking to King Caesar? Oh, King Caesar himself. Yes. Yeah, that's mm. that's awesome, man. Hey, I, I want to say thanks a lot for uh for putting a heart on my comment that I put on one of your videos the other day. Oh, you're welcome. I mean, I never know what to think of that if it just seems like a, uh, like a mindless thing or or what have you, but um. I don't do it on every comment, and I think that gives it value. Well, no, that's it the, that's the thing. Well, it's different with I'm sure it's different with all creators, you know. Yeah. But I put it up there for you to read it, and the fact that you did, awesome, bro. You truly are a man of the people. What was I'm going to be real, real sad when Cobes uses his dark powers to put you in the ground. It's a matter of time, and I, I think he just <laughs> doesn't quite know who I am yet. He doesn't realize he's talked to me. Uh he seems to forget quite easily, but he's, he's commented on my videos, so I think he's at least a little bit close to killing me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're, 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 we're all waiting the day with bated breath, you know? Um, so, so, Cobes, so Cobes Health, uh -huh. man, man, that, that video that I commented on, like, it's just degenerative. And like you were talking with uh, him starting to slur his words worse, um, yeah, noticeable, and I'm pretty sure that has to do with the wet brain. Oh, you got the wet brain. Yeah. Well, he's yeah. been doing damage. Well, he's got, the, he's, got the, he's got the wet everything, but with the way he drinks, definitely the wet brain. He's been hitting it from all angles, this guy, with all the stuff he's been up to. The cologne, the yeah. whippets, the drinking, the spray paint, weird drugs. Yeah, like and you know, I, yeah. I, I just, I just want to say, like, I, I have a, uh, I have a history of addiction. I'm three years sober this year, but, um, and I, I wasn't just an addict, like, I was a dealer, too, so I saw, like, all sorts of people in all sorts of conditions, and I am telling you now, there's all sorts of shit going on behind the scenes that we're not. Like, you would like to think he wouldn't, but when somebody has it that bad, anything you can get, and you saw the people that he had around. Yeah. You know? Well, the those, big thing those now, teeth don't those teeth don't bode well for him not doing hard drugs no and you got me thinking about fentanyl now because pretty much anyone you talk to who does drugs that haven't been decriminalized yet whatever they always tell you you have to watch out for fentanyl because it's in everything i think gay porn yeah it's, something to do with that <laughs> yeah it's yeah it's gotten real bad it was they're doing it because it's so addictive like, say that somebody has a meth addiction. Uh, if you have meth, but you're lacing it with fentanyl, what will happen is the person that gets it from you, when they bounce somewhere else and they get it and it's not laced, they don't realize that they're actually hooked on something else. So the shit that you're selling hits different, and it just ups the chance that they're going to come buy from you instead of other sources because they're getting something they don't know they're getting. And unfortunately, the... the big side effect of that is that people don't know what they're taking and they die so. yeah well it doesn't take much to knock you out i've heard some of it's been blown out no, of no no but it's very potent nanograms stuff. man nanograms yeah. you're talking you're talking like a grain of sand <laughs> that's insane that's ridiculous yeah i don't know why they yeah. mix it into like meth or uppers or you know basically making uh speed balls which are famous yes. for killing people don't do yes, it yes yes Buddy, I, I mangled the timer. Uh, if there's any parting words you have, I'm, I'm going to allow you that window, that uh, courtesy. Uh, I, I appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate everything you do. You're about the only, like, I, you're not the only Cobra content I watch. You're my favorite Cobra content. Mm. Uh, yeah. Stay stay crusty, man. Oh, extra crusty. I'm going to have uh, some like, Arctic permafrost of skin for flakes Elden. all over me. <laughs> Ugh, see ya, butt bunch. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah, awesome. Well, move to the TV. Awesome. Hey. Hey. Uh, so, okay, so my Cobra's health thing, I'll just get right into it. Uh, I noticed he's been, like, leaking a lot lately. <laughs> Spit, drinks, vomit, whatever. Maybe mm. that has to do with his rotten teeth. 
the oh yeah you think there's some holes that the spit's uh getting through right right and he's just like ah fuck it i'll just leave it there <laughs> he's uh he does drool a lot especially when he's drinking something he doesn't like he starts drooling the alcohol you ever seen him just spontaneously uh produce egg yolk when he just vomits for no reason oh yeah yeah i saw that one the, the, it's impressive the, like jeff goldblum in the fly yeah straight from the chicken's bottom yeah is <laughs> yeah, there a, a proper disease that makes you leak like that i don't know but i also noticed he's been like enjoying pouring liquids in his lap too maybe those two things are like maybe he doesn't <laughs> mind the drool so much because it like it gets his lap wet which he seems to be liking a lot lately as well well as he puts it uh, helps end his dry spell when he dumps liquid <laughs> yeah, all over. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes he pours it into his chair, too. It's just going to be a giant yeasty sponge at this rate. It's disgusting. Oh, yeah, he's already got the little fingering hole on his uh, left-hand <laughs> side. <It's> like, <laughs> so when he gets real wasted, he, like, can't leave alone. I wouldn't be able to leave it alone, either. Honestly, with, with a, a texture thing like that, a big spongy chair, and there's that weird hole, I, I could see myself... Not, not to be gross or anything. Like this is not sexual. I, I could see myself just sticking my finger in it. I wouldn't be able to help it. Yeah. Well, you and Cove definitely have some kind of like mind melting going on. So I'm not surprised that you just like understand it innately like that. Well, when you watch enough of the Boglum, you become him. When you stare into the abyss, it looks back into you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, I've been under his spell for like a year now, and I just, I, I can't stop. <laughs> I was thinking about doing some videos of me telling jokes and then ripping ass. I think it's a good <laughs> idea. Yeah, well, I mean, it's working for him real good. Everybody seems to love it. Oh, yeah, it's a fan favorite. He also puts it on his Facebook. Did you know that? No, I don't. I'm not a Facebooker, so I don't. Good. That's one avenue. I, maybe I'll spread there now that he's off YouTube for a week and I'm going to be desperate. He might be uploading uh, videos to it. I just thought it was funny because it's the same place where Clint and his siblings will tell them how much they love him and he'll apologize for all of his wrongdoings. And then mixed in there is him ripping ass into a camera for everyone <laughs> to see. Like grandma and grandpa are going to see that. It's weird. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, that's yeah, that's why I'm not on Facebook. Stay <laughs> I don't off need to of interact with my family like that. It's too late for that. All right, baby. <laughs> go Fuck make your well. Facebook account, go wrangle Josh, be friends with him, and uh, see if he uploads vids to it. He might. <laughs> okay, awesome. All right. Well, keep on keeping on, man. Love ya. I love you too. Goodbye. <laughs> Yeah. Did I really fucking get on here? Oh, this this is the real deal, baby. Holy shit. Ooh. I didn't think I was going to get on. Ooh, you done it. Have you been getting a lot of busy signals? Oh, shit. It's not a big signal. So I've had to go between your videos and Tar Man to keep myself occupied. Oh, yeah. Tar Man. Big shout out to Tar Man. I just came across the Google Chronicles in the last, I want to say, three weeks. And let me tell you what, he reminds me a lot of people down in Florida with his mess mouth. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Old oh, Joshy yeah. boy? I think, oh, yeah, I think, uh, I think, I think, uh, besides Spice, I think somebody might have been hitting the lock a little too hard. You just won't tell nobody about it, you know? He has expressed that uh, he is a fan of cocaine. It's just really expensive. But, you know, there's a thing called, um, you, you must have heard of it. it. It's big in the Appalachians, uh, uh, Mountain Dew Mouth. Oh, yeah, I, I, I come from where I come from, Mountain Dew Mouth is a big old thing. Yeah. Big old sugar rock. Yeah. Big old sugar rock. The sugar yeah. and something called phosphoric acid is especially awful for the teeth. It just eats the enamel. It's, it's terrible. See, I thought, for me personally, I thought, I thought what would probably kill him the most is half the shit that he cooks. I think that's what's caused the most of the problems with his mouth, too, is all the greasy shit that he's been cooking and not brushing his teeth. It's just accumulating in his gums. 
I'm pretty sure you can get a nice layer of butter off the back row of the cheese. <laughs> oh, just scrape it off and use it as a topping, some Marmite. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he pretty yeah. probably caught those, uh, those Dorito Ruffle chicken chips that he cooked before. Yeah, crunch that munch. Mm. Oh, crunch that munch. I'm pretty sure I have to crunch a few bubbles from the back row of the tea, but not from the Doritos. You know, when you're boiling down Mountain Dew into your recipes, which he does often, it's not even limited to eggs, he'll do it with ribs. You're really just stacking it high with Mountain Dew. It's such a big component of his uh, at, food pyramid. At this stage of his career, of his YouTube career, with how popular and famous he is, I would thought by now Mountain Dew would have won the sponsor before a guy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, send him even more of it. Oh, yes, what I'm saying. Every <laughs> single flavor he could do. New, he could do new drink recipes with every flavor. We'll pay him a Man, they're missing dude. out. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're missing out on a math guy, let me tell you what. Hey, man, I don't, maybe you don't want him uh, being a poster boy for your beverage looking like that. It's hard to say. I mean, shit, they should throw him in for a Mountain Dew Super Bowl commercial. I guarantee you, stop. Flat through the fucking roof. Yeah, and he'd be famous. Everyone wins. All right, boss. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go uh, crack open a cold dew for me. Appreciate you guys. Keep it up. Keep up the great work. Thank you, friend. Goodbye. Good night, man. Mm. Yo. Hey, this is Josh Saunders, and I just wanted to say, fuck sickos, and I love Stephanie's tits. Oh, that's the real deal, guys. Welcome, Josh. Oh, man. That was that was the best Cobra I have ever heard. He was the most Cobra that ever was. Dark Western says, better not be taking calls, boy. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hey. How so are you? I'm going to be real with you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Cobra is a fucking mess. He is a All mess. Right? I have thought about this quite a bit. And I think the biggest thing that really, you know, has fucked him up cognitively is the spray paint. <laughs> yes, I agree. I think that is the, I mean, and plus the drinking, you know, I, I saw a thing not too long ago that said that people that have cut back on their drinking have a noticeable increase in their like brain function. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. He's and, killing uh, brain cells. Yeah. Yeah. He's literally giving himself brain damage, uh, particularly all the paint. And it really gets me yeah. upset that Clint he must have visited, and maybe he got on his ass about it, but he had to have smelled the fumes and thought, oh my goodness, this is a hot box. What is he doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's just, it's so crazy how noticeable the deterioration is from him in his old apartment to now. Yes. And... I would I would bet money that he is still spray painting indoors, and I mean even like if he's staining the wood, like wood stain still has a like pretty strong chemical smell to it as well. It's also <laughs> highly flammable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and uh, gosh, I, I also think like his gut is incredibly jacked up too, because I mean he's just it's just liquid. Yes. He posts those videos. <laughs> I love the video where he he says like taking a troll or something. He's taking a dump and yeah. it's just buckets of water coming out of his ass. Yeah. It just it sounds very unhealthy. Yeah. And um, gosh, the picture Matt Green posted of like his sink and his toilet too. Oh, yeah. I've like you can just here. tell that the cask of water is is very hard and mineral rich. Yes. So there, and those pipes have probably never been changed. So the entire population of Casper is probably drinking some very, very uh, mineral rich water. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. Here's um, the toilet. A, a lot of people argued. I got into a big old thing. I said uh, that it probably is hard water, <clears throat> but you know, a lot of other people say no. That is a uh, that is liquid shit all over the inside of the bowl. It'll take a while for it to show on uh, your end. But I've got a picture of his toilet, the one that uh, Matt Green posted right uh -huh. here. And it's a <laughs> yeah. mess. Ground zero. Yeah, it, it, yeah it's, it's rough looking. It, it, it's so bad. I can't, it, <laughs> I can't imagine <laughs> the problems that he's had to deal with. Oh. And it's got to be a daily basis thing, too. You, it's all the squirts from just alcohol. And that's got to be a constant struggle for him. And bad diet. We are out of time, but I uh, appreciate right. you calling in. It's always nice to have a reason to show the toilet pick. Uh, go eat some fiber for uh, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. Fiber. Metamucil. Fiber. Mm. <laughs> All right, Caesar. Have a good one. Uh, you too. Hugs and kisses. Hello, caller. You're live. Caesar, holy shit! <laughs> wow, what's good? Sorry, I got super nervous when you picked up. Uh, oh, it's okay. Uh, so everyone's sort of talking about all the problems with their Josh, right? Like he's an alcoholic. He eats like shit. But there are some things about him that I think are really peculiar that are worth pointing out. Like, for example. He seems to be really resistant against obesity or like, I don't know how you eat, but if I ate anything remotely like his diet, I would be a thousand pounds. And something he pointed out recently was that there's a lot of, um, like both of his grandparents or maybe even his great grandparents are still alive. Yeah. Um, so there's like a lot of longevity on, uh, in his family. So I don't know if, uh, like, the way he sort of uh, consumes drugs and alcohol and food will catch up to him or not. But like, otherwise, and it seems weird to say, he seems to have won some kind of genetic lottery. Don't you think? He's able to endure a substantial amount of punishment. He also was born with underdeveloped lungs. I don't know if they eventually right? grew in or what, but I agree. Something to consider, and I'm trying to find the pick here. I just organized all my Cobra pictures. Uh, Clint had Josh very young. He yeah, he was in his twenties. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for the picture now, but it was him and baby Josh with a giant head, and uh, <laughs> he put in the little Facebook thing that he was younger than Josh is now in that picture, which must hurt a little bit for Josh, knowing that <laughs> he's past the point where his old man. Uh, I don't know how to how to describe that one that uh, spawned him. Yeah, I I could be totally dreaming, but I think he was twenty five or twenty six when Josh was born. But I, I could be totally making that up. Very young. What do you? Yeah. yeah. What do you think it will be in the end that catches up? Do you think it'll be his lifestyle, or I mean, I I've, I've known some alcoholics who can keep kicking for a long time. I mean, obviously, he, on a long enough time scale, he's going to get emphysema, COPD, cancer disease and so on but like in what do you think it's going to be yeah. in the end something like that could definitely happen that gets the best of us with old jord it all depends on whether or not he gets his teeth extracted people have shared stories about how uh people go to the the doctor the dentist the hospital and they tell him yeah if you waited one more week this abscess would have killed you if he doesn't get the teeth removed they are going to kill him soon within the next few years yeah. i think I, that's a good point i think uh like if it's gonna be something like... well you still there i don't know can't tell if we lost him i think we did i did not hang up on him he still had a good 20 seconds left <laughs> oh hey, anyway, there i don't know if you can hear me but i love you caesar oh, oh am I, am I here? yeah yeah i, I got you but we are uh, Dang it, we're out of time. All I was saying was that I agree with you that it'll probably be uh, in tooth and dash. Anyway. Hugs and kisses. I'm glad you got to get your final bid in there. <laughs> Zachary Teeters says, Jord in hospital gown and gripper sock saga. Gripper socks, are those like uh, compression leggings? 
Container Core asks, hey, Seizure, have any foot rash theories? Do you think his dirty fingernails we often get a close-up of in food hack videos have any impact on it? Uh, it would certainly make the foot rash worse. There was some ailment that would result in foot rashes, and uh, it was interesting. I think poor circulation, congestive heart failure, gout, maybe gout, uh, can result in the rash. He's had the trench foot for a long time. Aside from that, it could be uh, not changing his socks. He'll walk around uh, in his stompers, scrunching away with no socks. Hey, caller, what's up? Hey, CJ, how's it going? Oh, it's going good. How are you? Good. Am I coming through okay? Yeah, you sound great. Lovely. So I used to have a government job. Mm -hmm. um, and it unfortunately attracted a lot of people who would become alcoholics in that job. Uh, but very luckily, in that role, I was able to see a lot of people recover. Yeah. So I was able to see the very lows and then recovery after. And it was, it was super stereotypical. People would recover and get big into fitness and cycling and things like that. Um, I wonder, I mean, we, we know that Josh has terrible health problems. That most of them are stemming from his drinking, right? If yeah. he started to recover, what do you think we would see in reformed George? Mm. If you were to stop drinking you think, just completely, yeah, do, well, or at least, or at least, you know, slow down on it as he's claiming to do now. Do you think you'd get employed again? Do you think it would start to see, you know, basement type jaws? Or it would be exciting. I think he would be incredibly depressed for a long time because his brain would probably need a while to adjust. You know this better than me, because like you said, you've seen people in the recovery stage. Is there a Yeah, long with the period? wet brain and things like that. Yeah, yeah, I figure, you know, all your receptors and stuff, you probably hit rock bottom after you've been mm. kind of artificially pumping yourself full of uh, dopamine, serotonin. Uh, we, we'd probably see mm. like a big sloth era where he doesn't want to do anything. That's true. That's true. Um, do you think he'd latch onto something new? Because at the moment he's, you know, in this routine of drinking and then rants and then hopping on weird streams and things like that. Yeah. Do you think he'd find something maybe craft, more crafting or something like that? I would really, really hope so. I was just thinking about how funny it would be if they finally wrangled him into religion. Though knowing him is oh probably the last thing that's possible. I just know with like AA... And programs like that, they try to work yeah. in the God angle. Um, I don't think that'll work on our boy. I think I think they'd have to develop a whole new system for George. Historically, I mean, all the, I'm thinking of all the things he's been into. He's played games. Maybe he would pick up video games. Because uh, he used to like yeah. to play it in the green basement. He'd talk about, you know, playing PS2 and stuff. Yeah, but that was all rolled in with the with the Clint not liking it, and you know Clint didn't oh. liking him drinking in that, and you know we've all theorized that he has that that oppositional disorder. So yeah, uh, I, I, I don't know about that, but I, personally, I think crafting. I think he would get into beyond the ones that we see today. I think he might even get into something like carpentry or something like that. You know, um, something that, with his hands that he can show off to his crackhead mates, but. <laughs> I don't know. I just think of Warlord. <laughs> he was really into Warhammer. I think of him painting miniatures and stuff. It'd be wild. Oh, that'd be excellent. Yeah. Oh, that'd be excellent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is right, right up his alley if he actually managed to sober up. But I mean, being real, that's that's not looking likely at this stage. All the mechanisms I saw people get better are not around our poor boy. I mean, even his dad is just calling the cops on him nowadays. So. Yeah. Yeah, you know it's bad when your dad is just leaving you behind for collection. Can't believe it. Oh, I know. Insane. But can you blame him at the end of the day? Can you blame <laughs> the poor guy? <laughs> Come get my son. Oh, well, that's that's it. Anyway, food, yeah. food, food for thought. What would happen if um, if Josh actually, you know, cleaned it up a little bit? What what kind of person would he become? Um, I've thought like about that. it before, and cannot believe I didn't consider Warhammer. <laughs> I'm glad I could contribute. Cannot believe I didn't consider that. No, that's a good Oh, my God. Hey, keep up the great work, man. Yes, I'll, sir. Uh, I'll catch you later.
Bye bye. I'm going to get a quick drink. I find myself a little thirsty. Uh, I won't be gone for very long. I'll just put on a little uh, fun video here. We'll do. Uh, need to make more of these. I like having these little blurbs in between. I'll be right back. Seize your robot. I told you to stop making fun of my boy. You have created an enemy whose wrath cannot be contained. I will ascertain the strength and knowledge it will take to destroy you. Me and my son will have the last laugh. My son is the Lord of the Flies. Soon they will be under his command. And with the flies, me and my son will take over the mortals of this earth. He will not be spared. I will grind your bones into the ice cream. The ice cream that will nourish my boy and his growing flies. Dad's cream will give them all the energy they need to swarm and smother you into oblivion. Enjoy the time you have left on this earth, Mr. Robot. Seize your robot. I told you to stop making fun of my boy. You have created an enemy whose wrath cannot be contained. I will ascertain the strength and knowledge it will take to destroy you. Me and my son will have the last laugh. My son is the Lord of the Flies. Soon they will be under his command. And with the flies, me and my son will take over the mortals of this earth. He will not be spared. I will grind your bones into the ice cream. The ice cream that will nourish my boy and his growing flies. Dad's cream will give them all the energy they need to swarm and smother you into oblivion. Enjoy the time you have left on this earth, Mr. Robot. Seize your robot. I told you to stop making fun of my boy. You have created an enemy whose wrath cannot be contained. I will ascertain the strength and knowledge it will take to destroy you. Me and my son will have the last laugh. My son is the Lord of the Flies. Soon they will be under his command. And with the flies, me and my son will take over the mortals of this earth. He will not be spared. I will grind your bones into the ice cream. The ice cream that will nourish my boy and his growing flies. Dad's cream will give them all the energy they need swarm and smother you into oblivion. Enjoy the time you have left on this earth, Mr. Robot. Seize your robot. I told you to stop making fun of my boy. You have created an enemy whose wrath cannot be contained. I will ascertain the strength and knowledge it will take to destroy you. Me and my son will have the last laugh. My son is the Lord of the Flies. Soon they will be under his command. And with the flies, me and my son will take over the mortals of this earth. He will not be spared. I will grind your bones into the ice cream. The ice cream that will nourish my boy and his growing flies. Dad's cream will give them all the energy they need to swarm and smother you.
shit as always. And you think you think good now? Good enough. Maybe not what I didn't I didn't quite make out what you just said. We'll take. And you think that you think good now or and you think you good now these days? Cool taste. I'm. I think. I think so. Helen Keller, she was deaf, blind, but I think she had teeth. I'm having trouble understanding what you're saying. What do you got to say about Cobra and his health? Where's the funny time you're at? Say, I was just gonna say about Cobra that I disagree with a, what some people speculate that. He's a tweaker. I think that if he was a tweaker, he would have people coming in and out of his apartment at all times. All of his all of his shit in his apartment that's not nailed to the ground would be stolen. And his ass would be probably not even live streaming. He'd probably be doing long stints in jail and I just don't see it. I think he's I think he's drinking all the time and doing whatever type of muscle relaxers that Angie's giving him while Angie is right. telling him. He's doing whatever he can get his hands on. Yeah. Can I talk to Seizure? Because you're kind of boring. and I can... No, maybe. Okay, next caller. And you're Cold welcome into call. the Cool Taste Lounge. Cool Taste Call. You know, I need what the cool taste is calling. Cool taste call. Cool taste call. Hello. Hello. Hi, cool taste. How are you, friend? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you, father? Uh, I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm glad that I'm now part of your uh, your sweet ass lounge. Welcome to the lounge. I hope you're not here just to talk about my snappy toppy. No, you're talking um, about Josh. No, I, I'm talking about Josh. Uh, I think he's gonna die soon. I don't want it to happen. I don't know if you feel the same way. Uh, they're a cool taste. Uh, I know you uh, two were right. beefing a little bit, but he he gave you a drink no. and that was really friendly of him. We were talking last night on the stream. We're doing all right. But yeah, I think the good. caller earlier had a good point. Yeah, these guys are really good genes. He might write this out at like 60 and it look like that like again. Hmm. And if all so, his ailments, which one you think is yours? Yeah, he's not a gym of mom. I, I didn't understand that at all. Why is his health bailing in your bed? Oh, what do I think he's going to die? Because uh, yeah. he has massive amounts of health problems. Those people are going to fucking fall out. You need to collect that shit and sell it to the tooth fairy. Maybe he can make some money for some more pizzas. Ben's trying to hold off on the dentist bill as long as he can. Next caller. Cool Welcome to the Cool Taste Call. You're in the Cool Taste Call. Cool Taste Call. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for having me on here, Cool Taste. Um, thank you for being on Wow, this is like the monkey's paw. I wanted to be on a seizure stream, but I got you. Um, so I wanted to say, uh, nobody else has really talked about this. They mentioned wet brain. But uh, one of the things we were going on with, with, uh, with our company is that he loves the um, egg and uh, these, these fish platters. And I think that's because wet brain, when you're drinking too much, right, like you get a B1 deficiency. And he's uh, trying to make up for that. And he's just slowly descending, you know, into madness. He's got these, uh, these absence seizures, the symptom of, uh, of wet brain, that kind of thing. But, you know, he's doing his best. Clint can only ask that of him. And, you know, someday, I'm sure it'll turn around. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Because he's also just a lot of pain. And he, he, he moved on to the cologne. Yes, brother. You're not the... It's a good day, call it.
Ờ, ngừng nói Hello? Yo, Caesar, what's up, bud? Oh, hey, man. We uh we're starting to get control back. I'm very, very good, sorry. Good. Hey man, that, that cool taste, that's all right, but it ain't it's kind of mid, you know what I mean? There was a there was a hostile takeover. He used his I hear, dark I hear, powers. I hear, where's Chauncey at? <laughs> where's Chauncey at? Oh, No, Dude, no. you and Chauncey got the greatest rapport. I love that shit. Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate hey, that. Hey, Caesar, I want to ask you, though, um, what do you think about the influx of new Cobra fans? Like, people seeing them off TikTok, um, Instagram. Like, a dude called earlier praising uh, Tar Man. Tar Man's, like, whack as fuck. So I'm wondering, like, what do you think about all these new people coming in that don't really know what's going on and... They're white knighting for Cobra and all that shit. Um, you know, with the newbies, they usually don't stick around because uh, Cobra's uh, streaming is inconsistent and frequent and oftentimes uh, boring. Well, I shouldn't say infrequent. Uh, it's times like these that it's infrequent is what I'm thinking of. Uh, you know, if they're tuning in now, they're just going to find the dude that's banned from YouTube appearing. Yeah, on I was going to say, especially yeah. taking a week off, right? Yeah. And... Uh, of course, um, it's been said so many times before, but the overall consensus is that his content is just too slow burn for TikTok people to enjoy uh, in the long term. So they, yeah, they wander away. Point. They get bored of it. I think they sub. They inflate his sub count, but it reflects Oh, for sure. Views. It went up like 20,000 in the last couple of months. Yeah, it's insane. You know, besides all the old school accounts that had five, you know, five, every person had five accounts subscribing. Um... Let me ask you one more thing. What do you think is going to be the end result with all these uh, PayPal donations and, and cash app? Like this guy has got to be getting way more money than he should be getting and still being allowed SSI. I, like, yeah. you know, these, these people, somebody reported this shit already. You already know that. So like, what do you think is going to be the end result with that? Because so, he's making a small fortune. <laughs> Last I mean, year, he's doing better than a, than a McDonald's job, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. There's people that work very, very hard. And yeah, oh, I'm not, knocking them. I'm not knocking the fast food. I'm just saying this guy's making a lot of money sitting at home. Oh, yeah. Yeah. To sit around and drink and, and all that. It's pretty messy how it all works. People really like throwing money at him. And now they're, you know, personally bringing things to him, which is crazy. <laughs> Uh, last year was pretty nuts in terms of the money he got. And now, uh, I think it's, what is it like, uh, money over a hundred dollars that you receive via yeah. PayPal. You got to report it to the IRS. I don't know what it is, but this guy's literally making like a solid 50 plus a day, you know, more on a good day, maybe a couple bucks less on a bad day, but that, that's adding up when you consider throwing in that SSI money on top of it. Yeah. It's nuts. I, I think um, I wonder what's going to be the end result with that. He's going to get. It's going to get reported. You already know it. Yeah, I think we're approaching a very possible audit or Clint needing to work something out with the IRS. It's just a matter of whether or not he's big enough to land on their radar. They don't really point. care too much about small fries. You can get away with a. Yeah, I know they don't, amount. but you know they're getting like tons, oh, yeah. and tons of calls. You know, they're getting a, a large <laughs> amount of calls, even for the small fry. Like, enough where they're certainly taking notice. Again, you know, Agent Gabe Horn probably in the mix, too. Giving him <laughs> intel on his taxes, how much he's earning. I would be really nervous if I was Clint. Cobra's not thinking about it because he just says No, his Cobra's dad's completely handling. oblivious to it. Yeah. Money, money falls out of the sky for him. You already know that. Yeah. But he's certainly earning enough that it needs to get reported. Something that was really funny is... If Clint had to go through each of the PayPal donations and read the messages, can you imagine what that would be like? <laughs> well, I, I just got to be aware of all that shit. I mean, you know, they're calling his house, too. You know, he, they're, he's hearing all the same shit. He's just a sweeping under the rug type of guy. You know, yeah. I, I can't, I can't, I, I remember the last show where the whole topic was Clint a couple of shows ago. I can't blame the guy. 
for, for where he's at with, with Cobra. But um, Christmas Eve calling and just, just letting the cops take him was was definitely a low point for, for Clint as a father. Oh, I mean, it, at least it was a low for Clint. Maybe not Cobra. He has oh, no, kind of shrugged Cobra, it off. He was over that shit in two days. After he got back to the bog layer and uh, his family was done looking at him side eye on Christmas Day, he was completely over that. I mean, you see, his, his, his cutting down on drinking has not cut down whatsoever. So. No. No, he's a full swing. He seemed to accelerate, honestly, after the event. He started drinking even harder. It was like a cry well, you for know, help. Because the, again, they started giving him more. The, the, the PayPal and the cash app started flowing when he went to jail. So, therefore, <laughs> more money for alcohol. Might be inclined to do it again, yeah. <laughs> All right, boss. All right, Seizure, man. I appreciate you, bud. I'm a big fan. I'll talk to you later. All right. Cobra's blessings. All right. Have a good one. Yeah. Welcome to the live stream. It's not, this is not cool taste. This doesn't belong to cool taste. It's not his, it's mine. <laughs> you can't have it. Okay? Hey, you, uh, hey. Yeah. You, you still crusty, baby? I'm crusty as ever. Crusty and salty. <laughs> I'm a salty boy now. A salty dog. I, fi- I, I, I figured we would go for round two. Round two? Damn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by by the way, the uh, the the comment that I was talking about was on the rage and shame stream. It's the ridiculously long one with a bunch of timestamps. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I so, love timestamps. Go yeah, ahead. So I was wondering how how long how long do you think Cokes has, man? Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> we <laughs> sort of came up earlier not to like get on you or anything uh but like with the teeth if he doesn't get his teeth pulled asap i think he only has a few years to live mm, yeah because the I abscess mean, will kill I mean, him well yeah and i mean like you said he has a he has a real good uh he has real good luck when it comes to not setting himself on fire or having serious accidents then again when you're sitting in a chair for like seven hours straight out of every day that's you know you ever think about blood clots and how just yes, sitting for that yes, long they could get a blood clot. Well, you saw the foot. The like, foot, you know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a Not picture great. Of that I oh, love oh, when his by, foot acts up. By the way, I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking the cologne. You, you think he's doing that so that he can't smell himself? Mmm. The the smell <laughs> of his own rotting flesh. Just uh, <laughs> yeah. Man, wouldn't they do that? Uh, they they'd get the the ether or something on the the handkerchief and they just put it up against their nose when they were in a foul place. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. Or the plague doctors actually used to stuff all sorts of flowers oh, and yeah. stuff into the uh, the beaks of those masks. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like that. Um, yeah, yeah. He's just say. He's like, man, I, uh, that tactical soap's really not covering it anymore. I guess I need to take a whiff of this cologne. I'm wondering how much of this is just to turn off his senses. Like, the drinking, everyone says these days that he probably drinks a lot to get rid of his tooth pain, which makes total sense. And maybe the cologne yeah, I knew is just, someone. Yeah. Yeah, I knew I knew someone that had that same thing. They actually claimed they couldn't stop drinking and doing other drugs because their teeth were so bad and they couldn't get them taken care of that uh, it was the only thing that killed the pain, but it also like had them on the verge of death all the time. Oh yeah, that's a bad combo. That's deadly. Yeah. I mean, you're you're mm-hmm. just postponing it. You're essentially just like shoving it aside under the rug. But it's going to get mm-hmm. bigger and bigger. I mean, the the tooth abscess isn't going anywhere. Uh, well, I you might you're... you might not wake up. Yeah. Are there yeah. Um, yeah, programs and, and things where they will at least extract the teeth for you, even if you don't have the money, so you won't die? Yeah, but that uh, that takes initiative. Oh uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, that take that takes initiative and probably like any kind of looking. To get it done and i mean like in all honesty he would probably just think if he went into a consultation they're like oh these are really bad you need to get these pulled." he'd be like you're just a troll <laughs> <laughs> you're jealous troll of my point. youtube fame yeah well damn bud congrats <laughs> on getting in again talking about how many years 
this guy has left. Uh, he's on dog years at this point. Yeah, I mean, maybe not even mouse years, man. <laughs> Say mouse years? <laughs> man, like an insect, you know, living for days right. at a time. Yeah, uh, right. Second man. to second, baby. You're talking house fly. House fly. <laughs> All right, big dog. Yeah, the housefly that's you... always in his videos is is giving him the warning. I want so them like, to come back. Grumpy. I want the bugs to come back. They were absent last year. I need them to cook up some salmon and bring them in. Ring the dinner he's bell. He's so rotten. The they flies. don't. He, he's so rotten. They don't even want him, man. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like when <laughs> wild animals just won't eat certain kinds of food, like McDonald's French fries and Big Macs and stuff. They won't even touch it. Really yeah, big old ball of grease. Big old hey, well, you balls. have a good one, friend. <laughs> well, you too, friend. Like. <laughs> Yo. Is this Seizure Robot? This is Seizure. You have him now. Well, I've had to take a lot of medication to get this signal through to you, but I'm a professor of psychology at Leipzig University in Germany. Oh. One of my colleagues, yeah, one of my colleagues gave you my number, or gave me your number, rather. Oh, a little expert witness here. We got a professional ready to weigh in. Yeah, but that's not what I'm calling about. I'm actually calling because we invented a device that lets us channel the spirit of uh, dead children. Mm. And while I was experimenting with this, uh, I was suddenly a young girl at the CY Middle School in Casper, Wyoming. You know, I wasn't so bad that I drooled on myself, but I had to take special classes. Okay. You were your astral projecting, and suddenly you took the form of the special needs girl? Yeah. And what happened? Well, I went into the forest one day with the, with the guy. He, he said he had magic powers, and mm -hmm. I thought he was going to make me normal so I wouldn't have to go to the special classes anymore. But he grabbed me, and he kissed me. Oh, wow. Amazing. What was that like? Well, it, it tasted like Little Caesars, uh -huh. and, and you know, I, I tried to get away, but he, he just started laughing at me, and then all of a sudden, I saw something poking out from the front of his pants. Well, it looked stick. like a, I, I don't know what it was, but it looked yeah. like an exclamation point. Oh, okay. Nice yeah, uh, and, and, eight and, inch you know, rager, uh-huh. Yeah, after a while, some, some white stuff came out, and I, I wanted to see it happen again, but he couldn't make it turn into an exclamation point again. He got real mad. Okay, so to be clear, you you are a a German psychiatrist. Am I right? That's correct, sir. Why don't you sound German? Where's your accent, bro? Uh, well, you know, I, I worked with the CIA on MK Ultra, and uh -huh. my accent went away. Mm. You got reprogrammed. But, okay. It, it, yeah. yeah, but but anyway, the, the message I, I was sent here to give you is that he, he grabbed a rock and he smashed it against my head, and I'm with the angels now, and they told me to call you and warn you that he's a real sicko. Oh. Are, is it the Cobra Angels? Maybe. Cobra Angels, Cobra Demons. I'm uh, not buying it. I'm not you buying limit. it. So this story is a little fishy. I'm, I'm seeing some holes in this. Uh... What's your angle, your friend? I'm I'm not buying what you're selling, Mr. Well, German MK Ultra CIA glowy. No thanks. I'm just trying to get the truth out. Yeah. Yeah. My ass is the truth. I'm about to give you, Mr. Disinformation Agent from the CIA, I'm about to give you the boot. You hear me? Oh, kiss my ass burgers, troll. Kiss my ass burgers. That's right. There's the door. See yourself out. Came from Matt Green, you loser. Hello. Hey, I had to call you back because I called and I was talking to Cool Taste. Oh, yeah, yeah. What a treat. Yeah. Isn't he lovely? What a great human being. No, I don't know how that happened. Uh, I'm telling you, he used to always call in, right? He used to always get in. Now he's getting into my stream. It's unacceptable. I'm sick of it. Well, yeah, I wait and I try over and over to call <clears throat> to get into your show. And mm -hmm. you can imagine, like, cool taste answers. And it's just like, 
dead air and well, what do you want to say? Uh, like, <laughs> or, That's how it goes in yeah. the Cool Taste Lounge. I uh, like to extend my personal apology and extend to you a chance to say your piece. Okay. I kind of, unfortunately, I said it to Cool Taste, but it's just, I don't really believe that Josh is like smoking meth like some people on the subreddit think because if he did he would have been like robbed by now like he would just be constantly like being robbed and people like living in his apartment like around the clock yeah so maybe he did get robbed no i was just thinking maybe he wouldn't talk about it but he would talk about it he shares everything and if someone took something from him you know he would jump on youtube and tell people no, I mean, like, if he was doing meth and, like, in that community, I mean, when he live streams, like, everything behind him would be gone. Like, he wouldn't have to, he wouldn't have to, like, fess up and, like, confess to it. Like, all of his shit would be gone. Like, I, maybe gone, he doesn't have that much in. to take at this point. He's got a PS3, but that is some old tech by now. All of that. Bro, all of that lathe, lathe shit gone, TV gone. Yeah. And furniture, like like anything. Not the dog chair. Anything but that. Do you agree with me or do you disagree? Like, what are your thoughts on what I just said? Back in the day, because he used to have a lot of people stay over. He had, um, I think her name was Tammy, the really cringy one who loved Invader Zim and the, stuff like that. Um, the single mom. Um, that I th- mm, I can't remember if she had kids that was, or not. Th- that was that was the era where like he, he didn't clean his fucking webcam and I mean his, yeah. his yes. webcam looked like it was filmed with one of those like uh etch a sketch toys. Just Vaseline all over it. Yeah, yeah that girl yeah. <laughs> they had yeah. just piles of people everywhere. It was like a little homeless that- shelter and apparently yeah. they had cats. And the landlord came in and said, hey, you can't have cats in here while Josh was at work. And um, she yelled at her. And it caused a real big stink. Josh did not like that. Everyone had to get out. I'm really surprised they didn't steal from him. Because if he was at work and there are homeless people staying there, yeah, they could take whatever's there, pawn it, and get some drug money. But it, I don't think it happened. He probably didn't even fucking notice. <laughs> You know, get from him because they're not going to steal his like bullshit like magic coffee table book <laughs> no I mean he, he only has so many things back then I think he had the PS3 I can't recall when exactly he got it but it would have been a little more up to date during that time but uh, that probably would have been one of the first things to go he had the old tube TV back then which is even during that era People were trying to get rid of those, and they're big ass, heavy things. Yeah. Have Have you ever? Uh, I got a quick question. Um, yeah. Have you listened to his newest album, the one where the album covers like professionally made by some like legit artist who did the art for like I don't remember some TV show that like Stranger Things or some like popular TV yeah, yeah, show. Yeah. I'll I'll answer your question, and unfortunately, I'll have to let you go right after. I hope you understand. I did listen. Yeah, yeah. There was uh, one song that went on forever. Um, oh, what was it? Fuck. Whiskey something or... Uh, Jesus, I can't believe I forgot already. But it, there's some point, like three quarters of the way through, he's like, oh, you thought I was done? Uh-uh. And then he just resumes. I liked that song a lot. Oh, Okay. Yeah. I, I, I imagine it's just the same bullshit. I haven't listened to it. I don't really give a fuck anymore. No, I think we've all when given I, up. When I seen he didn't make his own album cover, I was... Because I, I fuck with the album cover. I, I listened to the music for like 10 seconds. Yeah. Uh, the, the album cover was amazing, and he was not very grateful for it. But, uh, no, man. I'm going to give you the boot. I'm sorry. I'm going to let you go. Yeah. And it ain't. All right, later. It's nothing personnel, kid. All right. Gave him a little extra there, I think. Trying to keep it tight. Hello? 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 
Yes. Is this Caesar? No, oh, this is Caesar. Who is this, please? Mm. This is Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. Oh, Cooper. Cooper from Ohio. Okay. You, you share the same name as one of my uh, favorite up and coming YouTubers. Uh, he makes oh, really? videos. He's basically uh, stuck in like time dilation and it's permanently 2011. And he posts like uh, Roblox videos and um, like family guy music videos and stuff. And the quality's terrible. It's, it's great. But enough about I mean, that. Like, well, you can't get anything better than that. <laughs> no, no way. And that's why I like you right away, Cooper. What can I do for you? <laughs> so um, I was thinking about, because, like, everyone is talking about, like, his current state of health. But, like, mm -hmm. I have an idea of how he can maybe become healthier. And okay. um, he just doesn't seem like he's, like, that much into his magic anymore. And I feel like he needs to go outside and start, like, using his wand to, like, change some street lights and stuff like that. And I feel like if he gets more outdoor time, <laughs> he could, I'm sorry. Yeah. This is just so much. Um, but, no, I like, agree. He, I agree completely. He could start working on some of his house that way. Like, he... just like, some way he can enjoy it. Like, somebody needs to, like, press him to do that again. Chat wants to know if you're alive. Are you alive? You're not undead, are you? No. Oh, okay. I am undead. Can you breathe real hard into the phone for me? <sighs> okay, I'm convinced. Sold. He <laughs> uh, used to walk a lot, but now he is door dashing everything. Uh, his beach cruiser, I think the tires are flat or something. There's something wrong with it. And now, I mean, it can be a mile, two miles away. Uh, he'll get it door dashed or he will get a cab. He's getting cab rides lately. I mean, is he getting any vitamin D? I think that's like a big issue too. Like, I think he just needs to get outside. I know his teeth are going to kill him. Yeah. Like we all know that now, but like I, he's not getting any, any uh, sunlight, nothing like that. I think a little bit of fresh air touching some grass would be good for him. Vitamin D. It's easy to be deficient of it, of myself. I've got friends. Same thing, you get you know, your physical, and they give you prescription-grade vitamin D. And oh, man. it kind of gives you a boost. You don't realize that your baseline was kind of lacking until you start taking it. But, uh, I mean, if, if you're I like I mean, me, also, uh, witchcraft. Sometimes. Like, witchcraft could solve a lot, too, not just vitamin D. Yeah, so you're, you're talking about him casting a spell for his health? I, I mean... That's another, I wasn't thinking that, but like, yeah. I always feel like witchcraft, like you kind of do it outdoors half of the time. Oh. And I feel like he's not doing that anymore. Is he even, you know, like a true witch anymore? Oh, no, he's, he's not a true witch. He doesn't say so much to be in the witch's circle that often now, does he? Yeah, he's like giving up on the craft. Yeah, well, he needs to watch the movie. I think someone sent it to him. Feruza Balk. <laughs> I don't think I don't think he. I think they'd go over his head a little bit. But oh. um, <laughs> a movie like that, it's so it's so edgy. It's I think for like high school <laughs> kids, it's too ava grande for him. Jeez, man, I don't know. I just like that. That was the golden era of Pogues. Like him, like going outside with his wand. That's like I what love outdoor made videos, me. Yeah. That's what made me love him. Like mm. I loved his outdoor videos and like now it's just pretty much the same thing every time same i mean there's a handful here. of us obviously that follow everything that he does but any parting thoughts for the audience uh don't give up on the craft keep up the craft <laughs> levitate your friends engage in witchcraft go outside go to the uh, yeah. cemetery and use a ouija board with a dead bird it's good for you for I... your health Yep. Thanks, yeah. Caesar. All right. Love you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello? Hello, Caesar. Speaking. Hmm. Better not have any audio problems there, boy. Oh, well, the cool taste takeover. That was <laughs> fraught with them. But that's not my <laughs> fault. I didn't ask for it. It's being real problematic. I'm being real, uh, yeah.
becoming a real big mishap, I think is what his neighbor said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so cut it out, all right? Okay, I'll quit it. I'll get my <laughs> shit together. I'm doing the best I can. Born, <laughs> Dude, that, that guy was going to fucking fight him at the drop of a hat. He was ready. It's the most... <sighs> It's both threatening and not at the same time. Like it's kind of inhibited, but it's getting yeah. to be a real big mishap. Is a very unique. Yeah, it, it was threatening in a real pal kind of way. I want to talk about his health real quick. Yeah. Uh, did you see the, his recent video where he's uh, doing two vapes at the same time, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, I." I stick to vaping. They say it's going to kill you faster. So, so he's doing, you know, doing those with cigarettes. I saw the, hey? he had the old like blue e-cig thing where it lights up. Yeah. And he's doing two of them. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I don't know. I don't know where the hell he got those from, but oh, he, he yeah, he's them sent his way. He's always getting presents now. But yeah, like him doing that, Vaping or not vaping, uh, huffing. Yeah. During the uh, the shit cast, I'm not gonna call it an actual <laughs> name. That was awful. Yeah, the shit show. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty bad. But just just outright huffing, like just not even getting high from it. He's getting high because he's depriving himself of oxygen. That's where a lot of it comes from. I, yeah. I like to imagine it's because he doesn't want to be there that badly. Like, I, in front of two other meth casterites. It was really weird. And when you finally get a sense of the layout, the guy was directly in front of him, and I think on a, yeah. a very primal level that made him anxious. So he was just perpetually looking down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, that, that thought it was so dog shit. It's like, <laughs> you're, you're constantly looking at him from the side. It was it's weird. like you're looking at him from the subway train or something. It was a really like you're just weird looking at this angle. weirdo. And I thought maybe it was a technique to conceal the editing because uh, the camera would always be on one person. It was never them both at the same time. So when the camera's looking at one person, they can do a little sneaky edit and then go back. But uh, yeah. it was a strange setup. I wanted to see both of them. I kept wanting to like steer the camera and fix it. I, I would love to find out if there was like some kind of divider that we never saw. There was like, like a th like a little mini bar thing. It, it looked yeah, like it was. was. Like <laughs> really strange. It it really scares me because apparently they have kids. I don't like that. And uh, one of them, I believe her name is Shannon, was charged with child endangerment because she was doing meth with the kids. She was upsetting the kids. <laughs> Can't do that. Yeah, meth tends to upset people. Yeah, most definitely. The weird gang. <laughs> Do you think they'll ever release the second episode? Then, then I'm gonna boo you. By the way, oh, so don't no, be nervous. You know what? Yeah. A after how badly that first drop went, I think they're too scared to release the second one. I they agree. can't do it. I think uh, they mentioned that OBS corrupted their audio or something, and I don't think it's even oh. edited yet. So they probably just yeah. I, be I bet it's corrupted. <laughs> <laughs> Stinky. <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs> Off you go. Deuce to Caesar. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming. Good to talk with you. Bye bye. You too. Uh -oh. Hello? Hello? Yes. Is it is Caesar? This is Caesar. Who do I have the pleasure of talking to? <laughs> this is Rachel. Hey, Rachel. I, honest to God, didn't think I was going to get through, so kind of like a little, little off guard here for a second. <laughs> Do you have a little notepad? Did you jot down your talking points? I, I find that helps. No, nah, it's just like all shoved up my ass, so that's where I'm going to be pulling it from. Oh, you boofed it. Okay. I did. Boof. Oh, you absorbed the ideas <laughs> too quick, and now they're gone. Were you going to talk about yeah. his health? Oh, yeah. I wanted to talk about how... um. I, I don't know if anybody like brought it up yet because I, honest to God, I kind of stepped away from the stream to watch some anime and then I came back. <laughs> but um, I feel like all the alcohol that he's been drinking lately is just shriveling up his cerebellum because like mm. he just shuffles around like an old man. <laughs> he is definitely entering old man mode. He's 
going into the part of Ozzy's life after all the partying's been done and he's shuffling around, but without the success and touring and sex with women, he's the just money. In the, yeah, the money. Yeah. <laughs> now he's just got the I, illness. Yeah. He, he also, I don't know if anybody else has seen this in some of his, his streams is like, he's got this weird, like, fucking wax film like in his ass area like when he <laughs> walks to the to the kitchen sometimes it's like is he like pissing himself oh you're talking his about stuff? his wet ass yeah, yeah his fucking ass what's wrong with his ass i have no idea why it looks so glossy the there, like you said there is a film all over the butt it's shiny and i don't know if maybe it's the material being rubbed like there's a polyurethane that's been rubbed a certain way and that makes it glossy, but it looks like he has a wet ass. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, he looks like he done crapped himself like a fucking baby. It does. He's got, uh, you know, the acid story. He just shat himself, all the, the liquid running down. It's possible. That is disgusting. Soggy bottom. And it's, <laughs> and it's like, I, I want the guy to get better. I really do. But I, he's got zero impulse control and like... As much as we all hope that's going to happen, I seriously don't see it happening. And no. so he's he going to be losing them teeth. The problem, I've been thinking about this a lot. I think he was probably born with far less, I always get them mixed up, which does what? Serotonin, dopamine, one of the two, very, very low. And I think it's common with autism. You just have very low levels of it. And that's just been his whole life is trying to get it to a, a good level. But he, yeah, and my bad. I was I just think thinking he, he needs also, like medication. Oh, I am. Go ahead. I think he also has like a touch of that uh, oppositional defiance disorder that yeah. even, you know, even to his like own detriment. Even if somebody's giving him the best advice in the world, he will not take it because somebody else told it to him. It's a bad mix. He would have to volunteer to see a psychiatrist and get antidepressants, whatever he needs, to not have to resort. To alcohol and drugs and all this other stuff. Whippets. I wish he wasn't so, like, opposed to, to therapy because he it's too smart. is the perfect person to be. It's, it's oh, my God, yes. You know, them, it's like they can't contain the raw charisma that he has that, like, wets a walnut within, like, five miles of him. And, like, in any give direction. It up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, can you, you uh, powers. can you breathe real hard into the phone to prove you're alive before I uh, let you go? Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a balloon deflating. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Think, My soul escaping. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're not alive anymore. Uh, people nope. always want to know if you're alive. Well, I get, am. Get out of here, you damn zombie. All right, bye. Sorry. Bye bye. Yes. Hi. Hi. Hey, I got in again. Okay, I was the second Shit. caller. I was really nervous, but so on top of Cobes needing to drink more water, uh -huh. he seems to really just hate anything green or like anything with nutrients. The guy really just wants greasy and gross. Yeah. You know what's really funny? And, oh, go ahead. I, I apologize. No, no, you go ahead. Oh, um, I love it when he gets a really solid meal. It was after he got the pork chop delight. He had the pork chop. He had the Brussels sprouts, all that. You will see him experience an energy boost for two days afterward. He exactly. feels... Yeah. Go, like, go ahead, go ahead. so... Um, I've noticed that like, if you eat something and then take a vitamin, you'll feel great. Like if you don't eat anything, if you're just drinking booze and you take a vitamin, it will make you puke. And so I think he just, he doesn't do the things that he needs to do to like actually make things that will make you healthier, like work. Like he doesn't do the things that works. Like he has this... He has this weird thing in his head where he's like, oh, well, maybe if I do this, it'll work. But if it doesn't, let's just never try it again. Yeah. And that is a big issue with just taking vitamins and supplements in general is that it's not 
an immediate effect that you can notice. So a lot of people lapse and stop taking them. If you know, like you're supposed to take vitamin D and stuff, it's it's easy to just forget to take it after enough time. And that that man definitely, or boy, that boy yeah, definitely needs vitamin D. He doesn't go outside. He needs a lot of stuff. Maybe some kind of slurry or or just blended mixture that he can gulp down once per day that has everything in it. I think that would do him some good. I remember he got tricked with that one, like that powder or something. Like it was some sort of scam, but it was like if he actually like got the real thing, he would feel so much better, but he doesn't. He he refuses to eat a vegetable. He's proud he doesn't eat vegetables. You need to give him a finger wag. You know, he, he needs a, a mom <laughs> figure. He needs you to wag your finger saying, eat your veggies. He loves men's your veggies, supplements. Yeah. He loves men's supplements. So there's been views of his counter, and you will see, you know, Nugenics, he got excited because he thought it was going to give him more boners. But there's other, like, men's vitality pills, all that crap. He's really into it. I don't know why. I, I think he wants to be horny 24-7. Well, that or he thinks it makes him masculine, but it's like, okay, if you want to be masculine, you also just have to be, like, a healthy person. I mean, if but, you do, like, squats and, not squats, but, you know, big leg exercises, compound exercises, it'll actually boost your testosterone. If you have huge quads... You can boost it by, I think, like 25% or something. It's outrageous. You have to, really? You have to get gigantic, but the more muscle mass you have on your body, you'll actually start to compensate by producing more testosterone. It's really interesting. Oh, that is really interesting. I mean, I'm a woman, so that means literally nothing to me in my life. Yeah. But also, I heard you talking earlier about like him taking like um, a medication or something. And it's the same with vitamins with medications is that you actually have to stick to it. And he just, he can't stick to a goddamn thing and his lack of routine, his lack of just being able to, to function and his mental health is really, really going to bring him down. It's in the toilet. Like the man needs a therapist. I know he thinks he's too smart for therapy, but no one is too smart for therapy. Like, let's be fucking honest. My roommate's 16 year old brother thinks he's too smart for therapy. And it's like, okay, but like, you're, you're like pulling knives on Mexican girls in school. Like you, you need to get it together. You need a therapist. You need to give Not that Cobes is doing that. But... As well. Talk about discipline. I've got to stick to my three-minute timer. It was good to talk to you again. And Thank uh, you. Yeah. Well, man, it, getting in twice, that's quite a feat. I wish you the best. I appreciate it. You too. I won't call again, I promise. Don't ever call again, ever. Get out. Oh, no. Time's up. That's ridiculous. No, she's, she's nice, you know. I do feel bad. I, I've been in that position. I've, I've been in that scenario where you're trying to call in. I was trying to get into the arc. I had a really funny thing, and uh, I couldn't get in, and someone was on there for like 12 minutes, and I got angry. Welcome, caller. Uh, yeah, next time vegan teacher calls in, you need to kick that troll off your screen, <laughs> seizure. He get Is this? That was another of age, alive, non-related, consenting, human, female. Hello? Hello? Oh, welcome, welcome. Finally, a man. A dude oh, my God, balls. dude. I've tried like for like four shows in a row to call in, and I never get through. And everybody's double dipping tonight. I was going insane. We have some double dippers. I don't know how they're doing it. Do you think they have auto callers or something? Something that just like... No, I think this is what they, they... They are the people that purchase Cobra's wands, and they have the magic to do They've it. Got that's that's the all. magic. Nice. Nice. Okay, uh, okay so a couple things. Uh, okay. So the, the other night, uh, Cobes was live, and he was going to thank Patreon, but he clearly said, hey, I want to thank my pay, pay, but Patreon, he clearly said pay, pay. I even clipped it, but he deleted the fucking stream. That's amazing. So I, like, I, I want to ask you, what do you think his honest feelings are for his donors? Do you think he appreciates it, Tubes, or do you think he, mm. he expects it? He certainly gets a big dopamine rush. When he gets a big donation, his eyes bulge out of his head and he, you know, he starts buying stuff. I don't know how much respect he actually has 
for the donations, the donators, whatever, the pay piggies. Uh, I think he forgets them. He forgot me very quickly, and I would figure I'm one of his enemies. Uh, you can have talked to him in a panel before. I've seen other people do this where like, hey, we have definitely talked like four times now, and he won't recognize yeah. you. So that happened last night on Crystal stream to somebody. Oh, he calls her um, Courtney too, which is really funny. <laughs> oh my God. It's really funny when he calls her Courtney. I can't get enough of that. Oh but, man. And, and my yeah. other question would be, okay, so with the strike on his channel and him doing this thing, I, I think the band of is a bad idea with, obviously there's people targeting him right now. I don't think anybody should. If you, if you get Cobra banned, we lose this content. Just, you know, yeah. throwing that out there for anybody that thinks it would be just hilarious. But if he loses that, game over, dude. I don't know what else he could do. I really don't. I know bigger people have gone to Odyssey and failed, so I, I don't know where he'd go. I was like, you know, I don't know what he's doing. He's playing with fire with it is all I'm saying. And I think, like, someone – because I, I hear a lot of people out here tonight calling, and I think a lot of them are fans slash trolls like myself, and I think they want the best for Josh in the end. And, and my question, I guess, would be if anybody of you are in Discord – and I know, you know, we've talked about it. Oh, he, he won't take anyone's advice. I think it's because if one person says, Josh, I think you need to do this. He'll turn to the four other people, you know, the Crystal Roberts, the Courtney's, the other people that'll say, no, Josh, you're really good at singing. They're lying. You're awesome. You're the best. I would fuck you if I was near you. I think <laughs> if, if there was a more of a sit down with some of the people that he communicates in discord and, and I'm sure you guys are listening, if you really care for Josh, you don't have to tell him to stop cold turkey, but you know, like, you know, Josh, we kind of missed when you had a job because you, you always had fun stories about being at work and, and the interactions stories. there, which I honestly yeah. do miss. I think Josh was a better person when he had a job. I, I think he, he was more fulfilled. Well, he benefits from routine, and it's funny because he still does certain things that he learned from Job Corps, like making his bed. He would do that a lot. I don't know how diligent he is these days because we can't see it. But cleaning up, he is a surprisingly neat person considering his lifestyle. Yes, yes. You don't see a lot of trash, and supposedly you learned that from Job Corps. When they did a tour of his house, he did that house tour, I actually thought, oh, shit, his house is more straightened up than mine, and I got it and cleaned up. Yeah. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, Josh, uh, he, he keeps a neat house, uh, and I was impressed with that. I have uh, something I call the can castle, and it's all my empties of seltzer on my desk and it's shameful uh, shout out to trash mountain and uh, oh, yeah, uh all mountain. the cool tasters out there man cool taste had that whole fucking closet just full of dr peppers <laughs> oh, i want a good view of it i want to see present day trash mountain that thing's amazing i'm gonna let you go buddy great call oh, okay Thanks if, for, I, if for I could bringing... say one last thing before i go yeah, yeah. Uh, i would love to see uh, uh as a challenge to ceo chair bugs i would love to see him film himself sitting in a chair for eight hours getting drunk talking to nobody Ooh. It's the Josh challenge. I would love to fucking see it, CEO Chairbugs. Let the madness throwing it down. In. This is Slosh Jonders. I'm throwing it down to you, buddy. I'd slosh, love to see it. Slosh, Slosh Jonders. Eat some tarred boiled eggs while he's at it. That's a great idea. All right, man. You have a great night. Great show, by the way. Thank you so much for letting me throw. Well, thank you. I am about to bust. I have I've drank a lot of liquids. I need to excuse myself briefly. I'm sorry. I will be back shortly. Uh, we're about to enter the of age wet panty zone. Ladies, what's up? The sexy rock star is single. Damn, that goth guy smells good. Mm. What's up? You like guitar players because I'd finger your fretboard. His muscles are so huge. What up, girl? My phone's down. What's your Facebook? <laughs> I want to pull on his hot dog. I want to pull on his hot dog. Hell yeah. He's a bad boy. Look at that sexy ass of mine. My walnut is dripping. Girl. <laughs> Hold on a sec. What's his secret? Get yourself some tactical soap!
about to enter the of age wet panty zone. Ladies, what's up? The sexy rock star is single. Damn, that goth guy smells good. Mm. What's up? You like guitar players because I'd finger your fretboard. His muscles are so huge. When I grab my phone's down, what's your Facebook? <laughs> I want to pull on his hot dog. I want to pull on his hot dog. Hell yeah. He's a bad boy. Look at that sexy ass of mine. My walnut is dripping. Damn. <laughs> What's his secret? Get yourself some tactical soap! I can always, man, that's the wrong one. I always choose the wrong one. That's also. <laughs> I'm gonna never get it right. Okay. Hello? Hello? Yes, who is this? Is this is this Seizure Robot? Uh, this is Seizure. Yeah, um, I was curious. Do you like music Biz Marty? I have heard of his shenanigans. He's really good at doing in-person antics. Ops. For real? Yeah. I find uh, that you're both you have different forms of content, but in general, I find you both to be very likable. But no. I was just curious. He's mostly a Cyrex guy, right? For the most part. I haven't gone deep into the Cyrex zone. He, it, it's a his appearance. I can't get over it. I just feel bad for him every time I see him. I know he's a horrible human being. But yeah, he was truly cursed, and I, I think that explains maybe at least a portion of his behavior. He's also insane, from what I've seen. Truly, it's I find he's more fun to listen to than to watch. It's just <laughs> painful. I like podcasts, so I, like I also podcasts. like listening to you. Yeah. You and my racks, you know. Oh, I don't know if I'll ever get into it, but yeah, I I think he's cool. I think he um he's trying to get at Crystal for a little bit, right? I don't know much about Crystal, to be okay. honest. I thought he was up to no good trying to send people to her to ask for 20 bucks or something because she owed a lady named Dana. He's just, he makes people appear. He also, um, he'll visit Cyrex, right? And he'll go scurry up into his attic and hide? Oh, you're talking about Marty, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. he's done it twice now. It's phenomenal. I'd highly recommend looking into at least those sagas. Okay, okay. The in-person thing is interesting. That takes a decent amount of guts because um, I just think of, like, Boogie pulling out his gun. Did you see that? Boogie Boogie has a gun? Yeah, Boogie2988. Yeah. Oh. There's a photo of a guy Dear. who was harassing him, and finally he visited him at his home, and Boogie took out a gun and said, go away. That's what I would be afraid of. Cyrex had a gun for a while, I guess. What kind of gun I was it? I think his mom or grandma took it from him, or perhaps <laughs> gave it to the cops, but he, probably he was brandishing one. it on camera. It was similar, but not in person. He's, he's too much of a pussy to do it in person. I would be worried about him accidentally shooting himself. I don't think... I, mean, I don't know. Does he get depressed a lot? Is he prone to self-harm? Uh, no, uh, I mean, aside from the self-harm he inflicts upon himself in general, he's much more rageful. Scratching scabs um, and stuff. I wouldn't say head. sadness is something he can truly feel. <laughs> I think Just he likes anger? to pretend to be sad, but he, he's never truly felt sad. Okay. Well, other than that, he'd probably just accidentally shoot himself in the face, you know. I tricks. agree. It's probably yeah. for the best that he does not continue yeah. to have a firearm in the first place. No, no. All right. Well, I think we can wrap this up neatly. I'm going to get you on out of here. I'm going to shoot you away with my gun. Go away. Don't shoot me, Caesar. Bye. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. Hello? Caesar. I love you, man. Oh. All right. I want to talk to you about that wonderful Valentine's Day drink. I mean, I've been thinking about recreating oh. it myself. That looked... So delicious. <laughs> now, I have a bit of a conspiracy about it. Okay. He mentions in it 
twice before he adds those goddamn cream shooters that it's going to curdle and cringes both times. And after the second time, he says, but you know, that's just what YouTube wants to see. And these creations, does he not actually enjoy them? Does he make these abominations to man because he thinks that's what his fans want when he realizes genuine shit is gross as hell too? You almost sounded like a like a Baptist preacher for a second there. That was fascinating. <laughs> these abominations. I'm, I'm yeah. very high and drunk right now oh, and cool. thinking about Cobra. You get into that mode. I think even if he hates something he's drinking because he made it and he's presenting it, he feels obligated to say that it's good. He will never criticize his own stuff. He possibly he couldn't, even as he's cringing and like like gagging as it went down. It was like he was ready to vomit. It looked so bad. I think he called it gnarly. And yes, that is what he said. Just <laughs> it got thick. It looked like puke. It was so gross. And someone is asking me to make that for uh, the drinking stream. <laughs> oh, part God, two. you can't actually stomach that. I uh, think you could barely handle the last stream with his yeah. horrible concoctions. Yeah. The moment it touches my, my mouth, I will vomit. It is horrible to look at, but maybe, maybe. But here's the thing with that one. You know, if you count the drinks, he, he had that one drink and then he had some of the last of the pink um, uh, champagne. You know, he only had two drinks, tubes. He's working on it. He's getting better. I love his new idea of saying, I'm only going to have one drink this stream and then proceeds to pour five <laughs> shooters into <laughs> one glass. And that counts as one fucking drink. He'll go through a bottle of wine in two drinks, big quotations, just a giant goblet, a barrel. Yeah. And he'll, he'll kick a bottle of wine fast. It's amazing. I don't think he realizes like a shot is a serving. That's what a drink is. Yeah, that's and, a drink. And his concoctions are multiple drinks. <laughs> that's like a classic Mr. Leahy move. I don't know if you like Trailer Park Boys or not, but oh, just for sure. upping the quantity is so funny. And he shoot, he, why has he got to pour so many shooters in one? It's, it's everything with Josh's. The more ingredients it is, the better it has to be. And I just... Don't fucking get it. It's just the ja like Japanese cooking is all about as minimal ingredients and making that as tasty as possible. Somebody's got to get that mindset in him. You ever see a uh, Thai iced tea, the beverage? It's kind of mm -hmm. orange. Yeah. It sort of looked like that. I think that's the only way I could cope <laughs> is thinking that it's that. But I'm, you got me thinking about that drink now and how rotten it is. I hate that thing. That's the worst. It's got meat in it. Ever. Who puts meat in a drink? Any oh, yeah, type of drink. Oh yeah, put a Slim Jim in there. Rotten. Absolutely rotten. And he says it tasted more meaty as the drink went on, as it <laughs> marinated in there. It got meatier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. As we all know, we love our drinks nice and meaty. I mean, you got your bev, you got your water in there, you got your alcohol and your meat. That's all a human needs to survive, right? What else is there? Oh, veggies. He's got those in his sauce sandwiches. He's all set. He's set. It's an everything drink. That's the slurry that we talked about earlier that will sustain him. I got to let you go. You but uh, Oh, sorry, sorry. No, don't yeah, worry. Yeah, I have your a great call. Phone. Loved hearing you, Caesar. Oh, great Bye. to hear your voice. Bye-bye. Hmm, people are asking for Chauncey. Uh, I can I can reach out if if he's open to it. Just give him a little phone call. Uh, I think he's been trying to get in as well. Hopefully you guys can understand doing a little fast pass. Where's his... There it is. I'm going to try to call you. CC. I won't go too long so that other people can get in too. But people want to hear from Chauncey. They miss him. Let's see if I can get this in. Hello? Yeah. Hey. What up, you... Caesar Robert? Oh, no, not much. Just keeping it moving. Uh, I saw you were trying to get in. All right.
right. Yeah, yeah. What's good? What's good, man? What's good, chat? What's good, everybody? <laughs> what uh, What are you thinking about? You got any thoughts How on this? Oh, Chauncey? Chauncey? Uh-oh. I think we got problems. I lost you. Oh, there we go. You're back. Hear me? Yeah. Okay. 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 So uh, I was. I mean, everybody's bringing up the the you know same you know very like I get it topics. His teeth, his his drinking and shit. But let's talk about a different kind of health hazard with this dude. Yeah. Someone mentioned him like being robbed earlier and shit. Like since we're like just speculating or whatever, like. Think about all the dangers he claims to like run into just just around town. Yeah, well, I mean, he's not as like, mobile these days. But you just talking about the Casper natives running around, the people he interacts with? Yeah, I'm talking about like just hypothetically. I mean, we've seen him almost get beat up a few times, which would be detrimental to his health, I believe. Yeah. I don't think Cobra could like I don't think he could take a punch, you know? No, he's he's not very coordinated. He's already pretty weeble wobbly. I, I think you could kind of tip him, give him a little nudge and he'd fall over at this point. Yeah, I'm saying. Like, remember that video of him throwing eggs at Darth Lenny? Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you remember that video? Try to he throw a like, punch. It, it like took everything out of him just to, like throw that egg. Like <laughs> Yeah, just think about like think about all the stories he has about people like just trying to press him around town, you know, like Halloween we seen him get pressed at the bar and uh the story about the guy at like or the, the dudes in the Buffalo Wild Wing bathroom like talking shit to him. And, yeah. Same uh, as the guy talking shit to him the day he was walking down the street. Remember the fucking that asshole's gonna get into a car crash. That yeah. fucking story. <laughs> <laughs> like he got called a bunch of names during the fucking uh during the trap documentary and shit. He got picked on by like children that time, I think outside of church. Do you think he could take the Cobra Stompers if he were to actually intercept them? Oh, my God. That Cobra Stomper is unreal. Yeah. Like, what? because uh, I, I was watching the, uh, I was watching Bogum Chronicles. That is of it. Shout out to Bogum Chronicles. And when I saw that flyer come sliding under the door, that shit fucking sent me. I was cracking up. It's complimenting in its own weird way that you got to keep the women away and uh, that he smells good and stuff. But it's really got him on edge. He has talked about how he has been bolting from his chair to catch these guys. Can you imagine that? (laughs) Well, I mean, even if he does catch them in the ass, like, what's he going to do? This guy is, like, washed most of the time, you know? Yeah. Chances are, if you come after 5 p.m., he's not catching you because he's just gone. Fucking. Mm, he can't oh, wait, move wait. very quick. Speak, not, to, not to jump topics too quick, but, um, dude, the sniffing cologne. Yeah. We've not told. What on earth? He uh, also talked about doing whippets last night. I didn't know for sure if he was doing whippets, but he talked about Whoa. the spray cans wait, wait, and all that. He's been doing it? those. Hmm? Are whippets the ones that they'll be doing at like punk shows out in like LA and shit with the balloon? And is that whip? Or no, that's not. Is that, that I think shit? that's nitrous. Uh, they call them poppers. He'll do it with the whipped cream where you just shoot the air in and inhale it. Oh shit, just like the head shop ass thing. Yeah. Right? A cr- you get the cracker and shit, man. That's some, that's some hippie <laughs> crap. You don't need to be doing that. Yeah. I wonder if he's ever done Duster, because they'll do the same thing with that. They'll inhale it for uh, whippets. It's oh, not good for man. you. It can kill you. I don't know. It can kill you. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Harry's saying that whippets and nitrous are the same thing. Fun. I didn't know that. Shit. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's fucking... He don't need to be doing that, man. People get gone off that shit, too. Yeah. Kill more brain cells. There's only so many remaining at this point. 
Oh man, my I'm gonna goodness. be a vegetable. But, yeah, a man, I just yeah, I wanted to throw my little uh, <laughs> I wanted to throw my little health hazard of Cobra potentially getting getting hands put on him into the ring because he does have a lot of those types of stories, but. It's going to get more than he yeah, bargained for. He might finally give in and try to fight somebody, but it's not going to end well. I'm, no, it's not. It mm. is absolutely not. He can't. He's one punch and one teeth. She gone. You ever, like, growing up, kind of imagine yourself in a fight and, and how you'd beat him up and you kind of imagine yourself as, like, a karate action movie guy, but then there's reality and what would probably happen? You ever have a, you ever, you know, kind of enter that mindset growing up? <laughs> I have. I mean, yeah, maybe when I was younger. Yeah, when I was really young, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I ain't. If anyone messes with me. I am not fucking, I am <laughs> not rolling around on the fucking ground with another fucking dude at this <laughs> junction in life. <laughs> yeah. I can't help but just think, like, he has the brain of a 15-year-old. He's probably imagining him taken out a, a room kicking full of guys. Ass. Yeah. But well, he would get winded. He'd run out of gas after the first punch. He does not have it in him anymore. Yo, and he can't, he cannot take a punch. Like he, his mouth is already falling apart oh, without right. a punch, you know, like yeah. he's already on the verge of, if he got punched, like, yeah. Going to take those teeth out. They're going to crumple up like folding chairs. Going to knock them out. I'm ready. Oh, no. <laughs> but yeah, fam, I don't want to take up too much time. I just wanted to, yeah, throw my little two cents in there. But uh, yeah, yo, thanks for the stream, everybody in the chat. Have a good night. We'll uh, we'll get to it again soon. Yes, sir. See you, Chauncey. All right, peace, peace, peace. Bye. Welcome. Oh, hey, Caesar shit. Hello. Is this uh, a second hey, or third like, call? on? No, this is another uh, of H female. Oh, okay. You know what you got to do, right? Yeah, uh, hold on. Okay. Oh. Do you have, do you have uh, petite lungs? That was, was a little soft. That, that's most definitely what's up, too. Okay, okay. Well... I have determined you are alive, and I don't think you're related oh, yeah. to me. Okay, uh, probably not. Yeah. Uh, before we dive into some Cobra shit. Yeah, let's I get see, into it. I don't know if this is in intentional. I see that uh, OBS has some Bogomare on, on stuff on it. What is that about? Oh, yeah. What's Bogomare? That's interesting that you were able to well, see where's that. Where's the Boglemare at, Peter? Where is that Boglemare at? It is well underway. I have constructed something called the Boglem Engine. It is meant to punish and the torture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot beat the bog. It is uh, too strong. But really, uh, a big part of my absence and in, in the quiet spell was just me working on it. I needed to come back and put some stuff mm -hmm. out and get right back to it, really. Yeah. But it's coming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I trust and believe in the Caesar's power. Mm, yes. Yes. No, it's, uh, it's oh, a real I issue. Was, I, oh. I go too hard. Go ahead. I, I'm sorry. You go too hard? I go too hard. I get these big-ass, grandiose ideas, and they take a lifetime, and people just want to play mm -hmm. Boglemare. Yeah, we just want to play games and have fun. We'll eat. play games, yeah. Eat snacks, drink ginger ale. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Uh, nope. I do nope. have a, a question for the God Hand. Yeah. Uh, so, like, I can't remember, like, I have such a, pr like, a problem with Clint, specifically. Ooh, Clint like, I don't, yeah, I don't know whether Clint, like, should we blame him for not helping or we should we be more on his side and say like a uh, fucking cobra is a lost cause there's didn't clint go to school for josh's like to yeah. kind of understand josh better yeah he claimed he went back to school for psychology or something and hoped it would help with his parenting 
so like why doesn't he like uh there's like so many drugs for like an abuse and stuff like that for alcohol abuse like i like maybe clint just feels it's better to like and this is dark uh like let him die it feels that way the the route he's going i think almost everyone can agree that once josh turned 18 clint just laid off he eased off on the pressure significantly and ever since then he has not been a hands-on parent mm-hmm. but it's yeah, uh it- very much seems that way. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? It very much seems that way. Like, yeah. But it's weird. Like, Clint Hill still bail him out of these like situations, and it's just like, what is that? It's it's very performative. I I don't even want to pretend like I don't know what it is, but it's performative. It feels like he does whatever is just convenient, a path of least resistance. I think him and Cobra have that in common yeah. right now is oh, oh, whatever, yeah. you know, is easiest to do in that moment. Yeah. 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 And, uh, like, I don't think Cobra has no chance of uh, being rehabilitated in the environment that he's constantly getting drunk in. So no, he has to be he's taken put out. into some kind of inpatient facility or put on, like, an abuse, like, there's, he's not going to get sober. Like, it's not going to get better. No way. He's deep in the throes of alcoholism, and it's very, very difficult to get out. Uh, Your whole chemistry changes. Yeah. I think there's this, I hate to go on, but, like, there's one, the Darflini B, uh, like, drinking challenge where Darflini B has, like, the America pants on. Yeah. And he falls asleep in the chairs. Yeah. And he's kind of, like, coughing and spluttering and turning blue. Yeah. Yeah. That, I remember seeing that and then, like, seeing it somewhat recently, him kind of doing the same thing when, like, I've been tuned in when he's, like, puked a few of the recent times, and it's just, like, he really does. You said it earlier. He has the devil's luck. He does. It kind of feels like a... uh, like a snuff video at a certain point or just, like, something very wrong when you see him dying in his chair like that just choking but yeah yeah we're gonna get one of those videos it's like number 18 cobra dying on stream number 18 cobra dying on stream <laughs> yeah it's freaking crazy <laughs> what's his name next they even or something? killed him for it <laughs> we haven't thought about that guy in forever sephiroth oh god yeah well i gotta I'm get missing. you out of here it was good talking Thanks, with you. Thanks, Thanks for breathing. Thank you. Thanks for love, being you. Well, Thank love you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> bye bye. You better be a man. What's up, Bullock? Well, sounds like a real man to me. Welcome. How's it going? Well, it's going good. Going good. We're uh, keeping it moving here. Uh, pretty good time tonight. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, Josh, like, like he's, uh, he's constantly worried about, like, like, if he gets bad news, he, he kind of brushes it off, and he, he's not really concerned with his health, so, do you think if he actually had, like, a doctor say, something's going wrong, you have, like, a couple months to live, if that would actually affect him or not? Ooh. I think he would be the type where he'll adhere to something and then fall back into the habit of, uh, well, I didn't drink for two days. I'm going to have one little drink. And then he just goes full ass back into it. Uh, I think he'd be one of those types. There's that weird thing where your belly fills up with liquid. Have you seen that before for the alcoholics? No. It's this weird thing where uh, I guess somewhere between your your muscles and your epidermis, when your liver starts to fail enough, this weird fluid just starts to come out and you get this huge belly and they have to drain it out of you. And uh, there's this documentary about it that showed this guy who just kept coming in to get his gut drained and he would still be like, yeah, I, I'm okay. I'm not going to die anytime soon. And he wind up drinking again 
uh, some of these guys. Like, there's no convincing them. Well, I know, like, that one stream when he got, like, super drunk and he's just like, I'm not going to off myself, but if something happens, then it is what it is. It's like like the treat at the bottom of the cereal box or yeah. whatever he called it. You got to work <laughs> for it. You got to wait patiently. It's weird. Uh, but he's, he's also a coward, so, like... <clears throat> If something were to happen where they were like, "Yeah, you're not going to have much time left," I think he would, I think it would freak him out. He wouldn't obviously change anything about his life, but yeah, he'd, he'd get scared for a long time. I'm wondering how he truly react because a lot of things I've watched, intervention, whatever, they are getting into their habits so they can die. It, it's basically their way of suicide. And oof, gonna get in trouble for that on YouTube, uh, Susan. I don't know how he'd actually react when confronted with it. Is Would he chicken out or would he embrace it, double down, and then die? I think he would chicken out. I think it would be like all his other streams where he, like, like after he gets a stern talking to from Clint, he takes it seriously for, like, a yeah. day, and then he's back at it. So I think so, too. And it, it sucks. Uh I would hate to see him in the final stages. It's going to get real depressing if he does get that sick. But that's the path we're on, I think. Especially when people are throwing money at him. He's going to buy more booze. I'm not getting mad at, at pay piggies. I'm just saying, like, it's going to happen if he keeps receiving money. The teeth thing, too. Like, I've seen him, like, when he's brushing his teeth and he, like, realizes how bad it's gotten. And he, uh... <laughs> He has, like, that moment of self-reflection where he's like, oh, man, I really should have done something. But then he just doesn't. Like, That's a good metaphor. It's like he can only he processes things for, like, a day, and then he forgets about it. I think the way he's treated his teeth, just letting it fester and rot, I, I think it's probably going to be how it's going to work out for his alcoholism. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, bro. That was a good one. Good thoughts. Yeah. I think it's like it's, your video. Thanks for oh, thanks for having me. Very welcome. Thanks for watching. Time to go. Butch. But. Welcome, caller. You are live. Welcome to the podcast number eleven. King Cobra Foot Lettuce. Hello. Hello. Hey, you're about to blow it. Friend, if you're muted, you got to unmute. You gotta oh, shit, hello. There you go, hey. Oh, man, I wasn't expecting to get on. You better start breathing hard. Now, I command you. <sighs> Ugh, okay. You're, you're Sorry. Nice someone alive. It's okay. You, you've been... This is my first time being on. Yeah. Well, w welcome aboard. We're all friendly here. I do have a pretty nasty timer, but I'm pretty forgiving too. What is going I'm not on? Sure how long? <laughs> eh. Eh. I'm here to call about his eh. health. Yeah. What? Oh, I'm I'm just being noisy. I'm sorry. I'm very fidgety and prone to uh, making loud noises. So uh, please be patient with me. Sorry, I was drawing, so I wasn't sure if I was going to get on or not. I'm going to reset your timer so you can really get into it. What? Yeah. What did you have to say about Cobra's health? There was a lot of things that were going on right now, but one of <laughs> the things is like yeah. him psychologically <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry someone in chat said it sounds like you ran up like a flight of stairs uh <laughs> I mean, i'm very nervous I'm, right now it's That's okay kind of my it's problem okay. here you're fine you're fine just we're talking cobra we're hanging out it's easy it comes naturally talk some shit on him he's a fucking Loser. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. He's stinky. He's stinky. Okay. Um, okay. Here's the thing. That's, yeah. That I've been noticing a lot 
for the past two years mm-hmm. is that he has these weird pauses here and there, and yep. they are fucking. The, I mean, I was introduced to Cobra with um, Bogum Chronicles. Uh huh. And with Bogum Chronicles, Bogum, he'd have these errors. Yeah, these little errors. long pauses. Yeah. It's weird. It's really and, strange. I uh, don't know how to explain that. Some people called it absence seizures, where he just zeroes out for a little bit, but I don't know what his deal is. And <laughs> lately, for the past like several months, they've been getting longer. Yeah. Um, and it's very concerning. He's not running on all cylinders right now. There's a lot of uh, dead a... gray brain matter up in there. The hamster stops spinning its wheel for a little bit and has to pick it up. Yeah. And the other thing, he, <sighs> he has a really fucked up walk. He does. He really does. <laughs> He looks like he's waterlogged. Like his limbs are super heavy. It's kind of ironic that he he has this obsession with Ozzy. Yeah. Yet he has this disgusting ass walk to him. <laughs> he's got a gross ass too, yeah. He's got a dirty butt. And there was a recent one from Boggle Chronicles. I'm not sure what video it was, but he had this weird, like, c 3 walk to him. <laughs> That's a good way of putting like, it. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. The really stiff limbs. And he was sober in that, too. I think uh, I learned recently that if you take too much DXM, like Robitessin and stuff like that, you can get really uh, stiff limbs. But I think we may have to end on that note. It was good. Time flew by. It was, it was yeah. great. It was great. Uh, work on that pretty right. picture you're drawing. <laughs> I, I imagine you're a great artist. Uh, don't give up your dreams. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. See you, bye, bye. See ya. Hello? Who is this, please? Oh. Got scared. Hello, caller? Oh, hello. Oh. Man, you got some fucking regards on here tonight. Let me tell you that first off. They come Let's in all to... shapes and sizes. I know, it's ridiculous. All colors. So, earlier, earlier someone said that he doesn't do meth because they're not stealing his shit. What are you talking about? Warlord stole his fucking uh, shit off the the <laughs> <race desk. laughs> Fucking Ian comes and steals all the bulls. I don't or all the fucking booze. I don't know what world you're living in where they don't steal <laughs> shit from him. And then yeah. he's shooting himself in his bug throne. He's got wet jeans constantly. <laughs> his teeth are brown mush. <laughs> if a fucking breeze came through the window, they turn into fun dip. I don't know what you are even talking about. <laughs> what world are we living in? Anyway, I'm not going to take forever because I don't want to talk on the phone and have a, a panic attack. But Oh, you're a real Jesus hero. Christ, a Bless you. I Bless know. you. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm giving shout you out the Chelsea, blessing. Shout out Drew Stein. Shout out Kelsey. Later. All right, dog. Damn. Pardon, I'm going to give him Caesar's blessing. This is a first. Seizure's blessing. All right. Hello, hello? Hey there, butt munch. Hey, butt munch. Who is this? Oh, I'm kick riding ass. you, boy. Oh. Ooh. Oh, hey. Uh-oh. This ain't good. Cool Taste takes on many forms. He's a skinwalker. 
shapeshifter morphling took on the form of Jeff Grubb just then. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Uh, greetings from the future. I, I can hear the old broadcast from the past. Oh, jeez. Isn't that wild? So am I live right now? You're live, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I know I wanted to talk about the Cobra Health thing. Um, it's like some of the stuff that everyone was saying tonight that, like, um, he can't get healthy on his own. It's like when um, he did the, the Cape Cod 40% reduced. You know, <laughs> he, he decided to try and be healthy for an episode or one video. <laughs> wait, wait. Cape and Cod, you said? The, the fish? No, like when he was doing the chips. The Cape Cod. Oh, the kettle, kettle chip. Chi- oh, you're right. Okay, so I think someone sent him reduced fat chips, and yeah. he had to counteract like that. that. It was silly. Go ahead. Yeah. No, he, his attempt at being healthy turns into eating an entire bag of kettle chips coated in cheese. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's like the, the only way that he could potentially get healthy is if the piggies, you know did like an inverse theater effect thing where they were sending him tubs of Greek yogurt and <laughs> fruit and vegetables. Yeah. You know, it's like the, something like that to actually have him, uh, you know, change for the better, you know, not even through his own volition, just through like happenstance. being too poor to eat anything else. Yeah, it's kind of scary because he's talked about it a few times now that in addition to all of his drugs and alcohol abuse the way he eats I think he suggested that this is also a way of killing himself which is terrible yeah well I remember something on the lines of he said like Cobra eats heavy you know he doesn't do healthy did you say heavy yeah he's the Cobra you know Cobra (laughs) eats heavy yeah you know, but something like that. Where like he, a snake would. Um, a big, yeah, that's all I wanted once. To, I would love to see his version of a salad, you know. Oh. It would be popped, popped in $30 of DoorDash boneless wings. You know, it would be all sauce. Topped in a pound sauce. of cheese in microwave. He, uh, there was a picture on his Facebook. He was eating uh, prime rib with his family. And he combined like six different sauces all over it. You know his salad would just be all sauce. With all the dressings, yes. all the toppings, uh, 12,000 calories yes. on a <laughs> cup of lettuce. It's such a like funny trope to me is the guy trying to eat healthy, but just dumping ranch all over iceberg lettuce or something. Because it is deceptively high calorie. It'll kill you. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Now, it reminds me that when the people complain about the piggies, it's kind of, not that I'm into it, but I like to watch sometimes, not watch, look at like uh, people who are hardcore into feeders. Oh, yeah. Because every yeah. time one of, what, you know, one feeder, uh, you know, reaches for the sun, you know, just goes too far and ends up dying, the whole community. It's like, no, we lost another one. We need to stop giving them money and ordering them buckets of chicken so they can do 10,000 calorie meals. That's what they say on the surface, but I think the whole point, it's like making pate. You're you're feeding the goose until it explodes. They want the sweet pate afterward. Exactly, the sweet cobra foie gras. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right, buddy. That was good. Uh, I like that. To make that cobra foie gras. Foie gras. Get out of here. Yeah, later. Later. I find that pick. Keep, you know, I combined all my cobra picks into a folder, but there's just too many of them. I can't find what I'm thinking of, so now I'm scrolling, looking through his dingus Facebook, so I want to find the uh, prime rib pick. It's really funny. Hello? Hey, Caesar. This is the CEO of Cheerbugs. Oh, hey, man. How's it going? Pretty good. I finally got on. <laughs> You've done it. I think I saw you in chat. Uh, has it been pretty difficult? You've been calling in a lot? 
I called 500 times, but I got it. <laughs> I believe it, dude. That's man. Well, uh, I wanted to say one thing about Josh's health that no one's brought up. Yes. This is like chronic obsession with fapping all the time. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Sexual health, I guess you could say, right? Yeah, he's pretty much to a point where like, he just drained himself of like all energy and dopamine by going on chatterbait like five times a day. <laughs> yeah. It's nonstop with him. He's got to be shooting dust by now. He's dry. Yeah, it's really bad, and I think that's not good for his mental health and stuff because uh, on that Shark Show interview, you could tell his like social skills have gotten like way worse. Like He couldn't even make eye contact or anything. <laughs> no, he was very nervous. I think the best you can get him is if he's on a stream and he can control the camera. And if he's comfortable and happy, he'll intermittently turn the camera on. But no, he just wanted to look down the whole time. Yeah, it's uh, pretty rough. And uh, I think that's part of the reason why he's going so bald, too, is like he's shooting out all that keratin and crap. <laughs> it's tricky because I don't know how legit the science is, but I know that like your brain floods with something called like prolactin. And uh, there's a lot of... Um, I want to say chemicals, but it's not right. Hormones, stuff like that in your body that get released and you keep doing that over and over. It, it can mess with you. Uh, you're not meant to do it all day long. No, that's for sure. Yes. <laughs> I really think that's one of his main problems. And that also causes him to have like massive depression and then end up drinking because <laughs> apparently I was reading a thing about it where it makes your dopamine spike down so low that you have to, that you like can't really get it back up. So that's why you just keep chasing the dopamine, like alcohol and drugs and huff and cologne and all that. Yeah. It, with drinking, especially it sucks how much it handicaps you at your baseline, your, your, you know, normal levels plummet, just like you said. And it's really hard to get out of that. And then he's eating all this uh, soybean oil, like 10 <laughs> cups of garlic on a pizza. <laughs> oh, don't even get me started on that. The hydrogenated <laughs> vegetable oils. If he really wants to kill himself, he can just chow down on that, speed up the process. I'm going to sound like a nut if I uh, start talking about all that stuff. Because, uh, <laughs> Jesus, I'm, I won't get into it. It's not good for you. But No, true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for uh, picking up finally. Uh, oh, certainly. Seizure. Certainly. I love your And uh, for sure, Slosh Jaunders, I'll try to do an eight-hour drinking stream, but I'll probably, it's probably going to be pretty bad. <laughs> oh, you, you'll really try it? Will you drink alcohol during? Oh, yeah, I'll drink alcohol, I'll craft wands, vocal covers. I'll, I'll try to do everything he does. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, what kind of chair will you sit in? I, I have a lot of questions. I know you meant to leave, but I'm curious. Oh, uh, I don't know. I have, like a, I have a pretty beat-up couch, and I have this other little shack at someone's house I could be in. <laughs> That'd be a good setting for it. <laughs> I was just thinking of like, if it had the same shape, uh, some kind of inflatable chair, if it had the pattern on it, I don't know if it's out there or not, but uh, it's the first thing that came to mind. But no, man, Godspeed. I will be very excited to see what happens to you after that many yeah. hours. <laughs> the, the thing I'm worried about the most, honestly, is, my, uh, is that boiled steak is which I have to cook next, so that's going to suck. <laughs> oh, no. Because my grease is like three months of age. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're uh, just beginning the journey. Uh, to Josh, you are like a little baby. Three months? Yeah. That's nothing. So is it where um, it was like Mountain Dew or Monster or something and butter, and then he plopped the steak in there? Is it that one? Yeah, I think he like, I think it's Mountain Dew and uh, Bud Light, I think. Is that the one he fed to Darth Lenny? Uh, I was going to do the one after because I couldn't find the bone suckling sauce or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be looking at chat or are you really just going to be talking to no one for eight hours? I don't know. It depends if like whatever Slosh thinks, if I should talk to the chat or not. I vote. Or ignore the chat. <laughs> a compromise could be slow mode, which will not be better. Pardon me, not be very uh, entertaining for you. But my vote <laughs> is no one, so that you can really start to feel insane talking to four walls. Yeah, that really is. That's like a full-on mental and it's like sanitarium setting yet. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, the therapy where they put you in the tank, uh, sensory deprivation. Be almost like that. You're going to lose it, bro.
Yeah, I really don't know how he does that all the time. That's probably <laughs> another reason why he's nuts. <laughs> all right, buddy. Thanks all for right, staying well, with me. I appreciate it. Really good to talk to you. Yeah, it's good talking to you too, Caesar. You have a good one. You do. Oops. Welcome, welcome. Hello? Hey. Oh, dude. 900 calls later and I made it through. Man, you guys are keeping count. It must be exhausting. Oh, I'm, I'm going to not start your timer because I have a stupid story here. Uh, Do you ever watch Richard yeah. Burnish or The Ark? Uh, Jesus Chat Line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, it was the Halloween one. And they were doing a thing uh, because Coolio had died and they were resurrecting him. And I had this thing set up and all that. And I could not get in. And I was infuriated. Uh, that's the first time I've ever truly understood how agonizing it can be. Just wanted to put that out there. Well, shit, man. I think uh, I you picked up before, but I think I hung up by accident earlier. So then I was like, Oh shit. And then I had to restart and keep calling. But yeah, uh, I just want to comment on, Oh, the King, the King himself's health is, uh, you know, um, alcohol, alcoholism. I, it's a crazy thing. And it's like, you can't help a person who doesn't want to help himself. No. So, and it, he's got it. Bad. It doesn't help that. What's that? He's got it bad. The the oppositional defiance disorder, whatever they're calling it. Uh, you can label it what you want, but he hates taking advice. Oh, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I mean, you could literally tell him, dude, you're going to die if you take this shot. And he'll he'll say, oh, okay, and then you leave, he'll take the shot, you know? <laughs> I've, like, quick, that, quick and easy. I've but uh, about it so, so many it, times. it's it's hard about that, and as and I just wanted to comment as far as like the cocaine and meth thing, I oh, think yeah. the uh, sixty five dollar pizzas are kind of covering that. So I don't think he's doing any <laughs> of that harder drugs. <laughs> he, you know, back in the day, he loved the crazy pizzas, but I think he's cut back on those so that he has more beer money these days. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, I mean, shit, not even beer. I think just, like, the random alcohol bottles he buys nowadays. Yeah, hobo booze. Insane. Night train, whatever, J&B. Everclear, whatever. I mean, whatever he can get his hands on or yeah. whatever the whatever people send him, you know? <laughs> that. And he gets so excited to check his P.O. box when he thinks he might have alcohol. Oh. Dude, yeah, you, you send him a pack of cigarettes and a the cheapest alcohol you can buy and i mean he's and i mean he's ecstatic <laughs> he's over the moon i mean when he gets a really big donation too he goes and gets booze he gets it delivered and that's when he's the most excited oh, yeah. to see the money oh yeah no doubt and i mean i'm, I'm not shy about doing a couple uh door dash orders so i can only imagine what a 12 pack of bud light and a bottle of everclear would cost you so Freaking get back, Satan. It is the devil. It's so convenient, but uh, I really try to avoid getting delivery because it adds up, but it's so... When you really, like, don't want to go out, you want something brought in, it's the best. It's so good. Yeah, no doubt. Ugh. No doubt. I'm guilty of it. Yeah, I think we all are. Especially um, when COVID started, I think everyone got their first taste of getting stuff delivered. You, you know, you're totally right, because that's, when COVID started, that's when I started doing DoorDash, and yeah. fucking Uber Eats, all that stuff. Because they tell you to stay home and, you know, have someone bring it in, and it became the norm. Yep, yep. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't want to take up too much time. I know there's probably another 100 people calling, so. Oh, 900 times, I just want to yeah. say, I'm a big fan, and I appreciate it, man. Oh, blessings to ye. Get on out of here. All right, man. Take it easy. You too. Bye-bye. Oh. 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 They didn't like my greeting. Hey. No kidding. Is this Caesar? Yeah, this is Jeff, the G-Man. <laughs> Grop. Okay. Well, 
Okay, I've got great luck. Um, I, I'll keep it brief. I just wanted to say, this has been on my mind, going back on topic of health. Mm-hmm. Um, I follow Cobra pretty closely. I also follow Jack Scalfani pretty closely. And um, anyone in the, do you know who that is? I was just searching the name because uh, I recognized the name. Can you like remind me who he is? So he's someone, he is a food YouTuber who's really old school. He's been making like little, sort of like his own food network show in his kitchen since like maybe 12, 13 years ago. Yeah. And there, there's a lot of lore about him. And he's been going that long. And about a week ago, he had maybe his fourth stroke or cardiac event. Mm. And people who watch him are kind of watching with bated breath. Like, And I've only been watching him a little while, but uh, he's had this long-term decline. Like he had a serious stroke like three years oh. ago where he lost the use of one of his arms. And I think Chauncey may have been watching him. Did he say... Like I can't drink diet coke because it's it's gonna give me my heart attack, and then he was seen like drinking it again yeah, a week yeah. later. He he yes, he blamed his first stroke on working too hard and just having way too many five hour energies or something. <laughs> so, and, but he my whole point is he's a law calf. People who know him, they're you know I, I recommend looking into him. Yeah, he's still ticking. You know, like he's the devil's luck. I'd never heard that term, but yeah. that's so funny. Also has it. Um, ironically, he's also like a devout, weird, like evangelical Christian. Anyway, I was hoping you were going to say is... Satanist. Oh, say again. Oh, I, th- I was hoping you were going to say Satanist. Uh, go ahead. I apologize. <laughs> You're good. No, no, but he is somehow physiologically like durable. Like the man just won't die. And <laughs> I think, I feel like. Cobra has that little kernel of something in him, in, in him, in as much as many men do. Like, Cobra's completely sedentary, mm-hmm. like, eats horribly, you know, you know, rampant alcoholic. But I bet, I bet he could do 10 push-ups right now, you know? Like, I like maybe that not you, 20, Yeah, I think he could do 10. How winded and do you so think, think he'd be? Say, oh, sorry? How winded do you think he'd be? Would he be out of breath? Oh, he could, oh, I don't know if he could, like, hide the windedness, but kind of, <laughs> like, I, I don't even know if he has, like, the, like, mental fortitude to do that. I, but <laughs> he'd, he'd, he'd have, like, a big, like, yeah, he'd be helping out. <laughs> but he could do it. And so I think if the bacteria in his gums doesn't kill him very suddenly, mm-hmm. like, if he can just get to the point where Clint, gets all his teeth pulled or whatever and he's not in danger of like immediate like that whole like cardiac germ thing then he'll be, i mean we'll be watching him for the rest of our lives i'm sorry some people are certified <laughs> hard to, to kill you. yeah uh i uh, agree that's I, my, the teeth yeah, is that's, the that's biggest my, issue yeah the teeth are urgent but once he clears that hurdle you know we're in for the long run i think yes and people will live for decades being pretty intense alcoholics and especially if they happen to be built for it genetically they will persist yeah. for years on end there he is yeah yeah the text got funny just showed up on my screen yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. i started making a little collage <laughs> you'll see more of it yeah, it's, this is the best crossover of my life. Okay, I won't keep you. Thanks for having me, and I'll keep watching. Have a great night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Hello, you're live. Hey, this is uh, Tim. Hey, Tim. So, uh, my mom's a retired dental hygienist. Oh, yeah. And I have... I have sent her photos of Cobra's teeth. Let's hear it. She, she, I mean, she does get some kind of, I think, personal sick pleasure from seeing stuff like this, but. Um, they like to clean it. Uh, they get really excited. It's kind of like um, Dr. Pimple Popper or whatever, how they love giant cysts. Extreme right, cases. Right. Yeah. So uh, this is uh, the most recent time finally got to see some of the back molars and so i'll just read you some of the texts 
yeah real quick um so this one she just i sent a picture of his teeth kind of wide open and she says gross like i said before because i sent her i sent her pictures before <laughs> he probably drinks way too much soda and other acidity acidic drinks and of course doesn't brush or see a dentist or does math um so I, but i thought you said math heart, for a second continue uh so on his front teeth, it's very, really easy to see the decay. And on the back molars, you can start seeing it, um, you know, in certain photos. But there is, um, so her next post says, uh, could be decay or an amalgam filling in the back tooth. Amalgam fillings are when, like, there's a filling, like, between two teeth. Oh. Um, so it kind of carries over between the two. But she said, often if it's soda decay, the upper front teeth and lower back teeth are affected and infected, which we see on Cobra a lot. So teeth would probably need root canals and crowns um, each, which is kind of like like three grand a pop. Yeah, it's expensive. And they, t- and they take like about a year to recover. Um but then she said, but all that requires is good home care and regular dental checkups. So like, um, let, me, let me follow up here. Um, Cause I mentioned, <laughs> I mentioned there's a video of him brushing his teeth and, and like him saying how it stings and hurts. Yeah. And uh, she said, they probably do hurt. Um, and yeah, it probably stung when he brushed because his teeth are so badly decayed and his guns are in, gums are inflamed and infected and he has to keep brushing his teeth, but people don't get that because it hurts. Uh-huh. And so they don't brush. And then she said, dentists can fix a lot of this stuff if the person won't, but if the person won't take care of their teeth, they may offer to just pull the worst of them out and make a denture or a partial denture. And um, she's also said that uh, she's seen worse on younger people, but it's mostly from like people who are just straight up meth smokers. Yeah. Well, completely off the rails. Right. Right. People who've, who basically have nothing left in their mouths, which it it still kind of shocks me that to this day, like there is hope, you know, like she's saying there is stuff people can do to help him. The tricky part is he's got to go in though. And right. And it's it, at this point in his life, it's uh, incredibly expensive. Yes. It's be probably expensive. cheaper to pull all his teeth. Yeah. They're going to pull or, or most of them and do dentures. And um, I don't think he's going to go in unless he is in severe, just agony, pain that even drinking can't get rid of. And that's what shocks me is I've I've had a tooth be infected and I had to like wait a little bit before I could get to the dentist. Yeah. And it was some of the worst pain in my life. Like it was it was I had to sit down, <laughs> you know, like and, and that's never happened to be like, you know, if. if whatever I, you, you hurt yourself one way or another, but it's like, this is like, I physically had to sit down. It was so painful. Well, alarm bells are going off because it can be life threatening. Your body right. is screaming at you. You got to do something. Right. And, you know, and, and, you know, decay aside, the amount of infection going on in his mouth is astonishing at this point. And so like, it's, it's intense. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I, I get a little, uh, every now and again, there's a new teeth photo that pops up and my mom, I send it to my mom cause she's retired. <laughs> yeah. But, um, mom. she, she has said multiple times she has seen worse. Okay. So, um, she's you know, at least yeah. Cobra's got that going for her. Some more <laughs> stories. Keep sending anyway. it to her. And if, he gets even deeper if he manages to go even longer. Uh, let us know what her diagnosis is. I'll be curious. Yeah. At the, oh, you know, at, at there was maybe a year ago, I sent her a pic and she was just like, 
they can still help him. Yeah, unfazed. Can, and and now, like I sent one last week, basically because there was a good shot of his back teeth, and she was like, "They're based, you know." There's really not much more they can do. No, time's running out. You know, yeah, Tim, Tim. it's 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 dentures or nothing, basically at this point. Like, I mean, especially considering the cost. Yeah. Well, I appreciate the insight. Uh, yeah. Give my thanks to your mom, or to your mother, and uh, <laughs> yeah, keep it posted. I, it's also, like I I've tried not to explain him to my mom as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> She's not yeah that's better. Questions. She doesn't ask questions. Most definitely. No, no, she's just like, I just, this is some guy on YouTube. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's all she needs to know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you. Gonna yes, sir. Take it easy. Bye. Hello? Hello? Yes. Amazing. I made it in. You done uh, it. Uh, I called in like, like a hundred times. But anyway, uh, uh, I was thinking about uh, Cobra, and what if you know how his whole act is that he's like this big, tough man, right? But what mm. if he was able to find some positive male role models? You know, like he got a dad figure that Clint never was, you know, and taught him how to, you know, eat properly, you know, like lifting and doing, you know, more, uh, I guess you could say positive masculine things instead of just being like, you know, what he does now, you know, like drinking and stuff like that. What do you think? Oh, I've been big on a positive male role model in his life for some time. And he's kind of looked to some people like Scotty and randos for stuff like that. He wants, he wants to pick his role model. Uh, it's not going to be Clint. No, yeah. I've always envisioned some kind of major pain scenario, like a drill sergeant who just comes in and kicks him around, just, yeah. wrangles him. I think he would benefit very much from that. Uh, and like, oh, uh, but also uh, another thing that I just always found funny is that he's obsessed with Ozzy and he says he's a goth, but why hasn't he ever heard of like Robert Smith, one of the most like iconic goths ever? It's just, it's funny about that. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> Closest he's ever gotten. He once very early on in the green basement read a Wikipedia article about goth and I wish he would go back there and maybe try to listen to some of the groups, but he did mention like, I think he called him sushi and the banshees, joy Davidson and others. And I, I don't know why he doesn't actually try to listen to that. Cause he listens to like classic rock. Some guys dad no, yeah. would listen to it's ridiculous. It's always been funny. Yeah. No. Uh, but people in the chat here are saying, what if he was like, what if there's like a crossover and he met the like, big Lenny and the other guys from uh, <laughs> like those guys and he just joined their crew. That would be an epic. I'd love it. Crossover. I mean, <laughs> you know, I would love that. They eat junk food, but at least it's after exercising for 15 minutes. It's better no, than what yeah. he's got now. Uh, but no, yeah, I just, I, I love that. And like, um, well, yeah, like, uh, cause when Cobra was younger, I'm not ashamed to admit it. He could get it. You know, he was kind of a pretty boy at the time when he actually he, had hair. He was and into he, like, it. Yeah. All, all that was really messed with him is his wonky eye. But like, <laughs> even then he could wear sunglasses, you know? Yeah. He uh, could have gotten, uh, it would make him look cooler. <laughs> I think there's like, uh, uh, exercises you can do to straighten it out. And uh, particularly yeah. if you're young, but he had a lot of hope in his younger years. Yeah. No, yeah, like, that's why uh, whenever people, whenever I tell people to watch Cobra, it's like, don't don't watch his current stuff. It's just him sitting in a chair for literally eight hours, <laughs> unblinking, and it's like, you gotta like this kind of thing if you like this kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a totally different form of entertainment for most people now, uh, early on versus the present. You're looking for different things most often. No, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, the people I know, like, they're into Chris Chan and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, it's like, uh, it's, it's not a laugh a minute like that is. <laughs> but yeah, my time's up. And uh, I don't want to, I don't want to take up anyone else's time. Well, but thank you very you. much. And uh, I love your videos. Hey, I'm glad to be you. able to come into another stream. Yeah. Well, hope to see you again. See oh, you. yeah. Well, I guess we'll see you later. Blood we'll blood. See you, blood blood. Yeah.
Welcome, caller. You're live. Oh, my God. Did I really reach you, Caesar? You made it. How many times did you have to try? Oh, my hundreds? God. Like, at least 200 times. At oh. least, dude. I, I'm a huge, huge fan. I listen to you at work. Like, Ooh. you are awesome. One thing I wanted to mention, actually two things, is Cobra's complete disregard of, of directions on boxes for things to make. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His cooking is just so it, it's like it's like that meme where you just throw it in the trash and you're like fuck it i don't need it oh wait i do need it but his level of just disregard to any way of cooking anything correctly is just fucking lost on me it's like he has a, a dousing rod or something he has to use divination it's an emotional thing for him he will not use any directions he has to feel his way through i know i know it's it's just like i'm i i have a house like i am i would consider myself rather successful in just being a millennial and i cook for my family and i just there are times where i'm cooking and i will sit down and while i'm cooking watch his videos and just be absolutely flabbergasted at just basic instructions like when he makes mac and cheese he doesn't drain the noodles he just fucking throws everything <laughs> into it all at once yeah. and is like this is fine and just proceeds to eat it take a couple bites and then the stream is done and you know he's like fuck this was awful but i still got to keep up appearances like yes there's nothing worse just, than such a, like ruining such a if I cook something and actually take the time and it comes out bad that is a terrible feeling and you'd think he'd want to avoid that i i i know it's just it's so absolutely as a home cook it is absolutely mind-boggling to me and the second point i wanted to piggyback off of what the last guy that just called he was talking about cobra's music i have physically i wouldn't say physically but i have sent him recommendations of like black metal bands to listen to and just like get him mm. out of that Ozzy Osbourne, like I'm a huge Cradle of Filth fan. Like I'm gonna be honest, like I love Cradle of Filth. Like me and Cobra have some really similar music tastes, but like I have physically on Facebook tried to to just suggest anything other than Ozzy and Cradle, and it's just absolute silence. It's gonna like, be a frustrating experience, friend. Shit. He ain't gonna take to it. No, he is. You know, people talk about him being stuck. And, and as like 15 years old, his taste in music. Yeah, yeah. He references weird shit too, like Backstreet Boys and Britney Spears and all these groups that haven't been relevant since probably early 2000s. He always, I, I, I know. Yeah. And, he, and he'll completely like even just not even say the name right. Like he said <laughs> Zach Wild's name, like Zach Wieldy. Like <laughs> dude, this guy was a guitarist for fucking Ozzy Osbourne for so long. You can't even fucking say his name right. Like Billy Elijah. Yeah, I don't know, dude. But seizure, you are you are absolutely amazing. I listen to you so much on just, just anything that you put out. Like hell yeah, fucking rock. Keep keep up the good work. Keep doing the Lord's work. And just, until Cobra yeah, kills dude, me, you are awesome. I'll keep at it. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you, dude. Take care. Blessings. Welcome, caller. Oh, oh. Yes, caller. Hey. Hey. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. This is a surprise. Um, I'm lucky to be on. Uh, I just wanted to, there was a topic that not a lot of people have discussed for his uh, general health. Yeah. Um, yeah. His, uh, the inevitable uh, at workplace accident with his, um, his lathe. Um, <laughs> I mean that beard gets my damn close to the uh, to the lathe, man. If that beard gets caught, uh, it might be a blessing uh, how unhealthy he is because it, it would just rip right off. But <laughs> yeah. that's a really good point. You know, I am surprised that no one has mentioned the lathe. I wanted to apologize if I sounded short with you when I answered. I uh, was trying to mix it up, add some variety to you know receiving these calls, and I felt guilty oh, just no, then. No. No, that's fine. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm just happy to be on, man. I need the forgiveness blessing. Uh -huh. Yeah, the lathe is going yeah. to get him. Uh, I think Harry had said that if he gets 
tangled up into it, or if he gets it just right, it will physically swing up, which is weird to think about. But the whole thing will fly off its base and hit him. It'll conk him in the head. And, Jesus, uh, man. I, yeah. Uh, he, he might have, you know, like a Billy Goat beard infused wants to sell after. But uh, <laughs> hopefully he's on when it happens so someone could call, you know, 911 for him. But yeah, I mean. Oh, I had just, no uh, idea the timer was making noise. Oh, no. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, I just no. Call it and, uh... It's not supposed to make noise. Dang it. The timer? Oh, it's been making noise the whole night. Dang it. <laughs> no. It, it actually kind of adds to it because you can could, you could see the, oh. the person's mid-talk. Yeah. You're good. But yeah, thanks for having me on, man. Yeah. All right, we're, what else were you going to say? I muted it. Right, have a good night, brother. You too, you too. I'm going to apologize to everyone now. Have a good night. So in OBS, if you add a file like that, uh, I need to do a setting. There's a thing where you can uh, monitor the output. But otherwise, if you don't do that, you can't hear the or whatever noise it's making. Cripes! Oh, it must have been going all night! That must be really obnoxious. Shame on me! Caller? No, they're not having it. They're mad at me. Hello, caller. Hello. I am so sorry about the timer. Oh yeah. <laughs> what does it sound funny. like? Um, this kind of sounds like a beep. Like <sighs> honestly, I thought at the beginning because it's the health stream. I thought it was supposed to be like a, like a. What do you call those things when they hook you up to the hospital and they like the they heart rate monitor heart rate. thing? Yeah. Yeah, the heart rate monitor. I thought that's what it was supposed to be like. Man, I guess that's what it sounds like. I'll be curious to hear it after the fact, but, oh. Yeah, well, it's going to be one big mishap, huh? This is starting to turn into one big-ass mishap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> what did you want to say? I've given my forgiveness or, or asked for forgiveness, rather, and I'm ready to go. Oh, well. I, I'd like to extend the acceptance of your apology mm. based on behalf on of everyone. Ah, yes. But uh, thank you. I was going to call about Cobra's mental health. Oh, yeah. Um. So I I think it's fair to say that in the next ten years, marijuana will probably be legal in most of the United States. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking that when the day finally comes when you can smoke weed in Wyoming, I think basically what will happen is all these fucking bozos <laughs> we're hanging out with lately are just going to be like sending him like tons of weed, just being like, smoke this, it's good for oh, you. Oh, he's going to be swamped in it, surrounded by oh, pirates. Yeah. yeah. And then he's going to, two things are going to happen, seizure. We're going to get the gut arc because he's going to be stoned and eating all the time. Oh, yeah, it's coming in. Too. And then we're, then we're going to get the psychosis arc because he's going to be stoned <laughs> and he's going to be paranoid about the Casper, Casper Cobra stompers coming to his house all the time, and he's just going to lose it. It's really weighing on him heavily. Just that he would, like in some of his streams, he is clearly watching the camera on his screen. And I swear, at one point, he was coming up with fake conversation. It was like chaff. It was a cover. But in reality, it was just to look like he was busy. He was really thinking about bolting out of his chair. Oh, that would drive me crazy. Yeah. Like, I would hate I would hate that kind of attention. I think most people would. Yeah. You know? <laughs> 
like, who, wants, who wants people randomly showing up to their house, right? So I can just only imagine, you know, in, a, in the hypothetical future where Josh is just slunking weed constantly, you know, because he's going to be stressed from all the all the trolling and everything in his day to day life. So he's just going to be smoking weed. He's got he's getting in the mail. And he's just going to lose it. He's going to go totally bonkers. And he has like a history of psychosis, right? Yes. Yeah. So he's screwed. Yeah. I. Uh, <laughs> all the things he's doing are not good for his health. I think he's more susceptible to having, you know, all this abuse really wreck his mental state. And frankly, I'm kind of surprised he's not worse off with everything he's done. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the major takeaway I'm getting from all these calls tonight is that Cobra is not going to make it. Not going to make it. What do you mean? <laughs> he's not. He's he's NGMI, man. He is not going to make it. <laughs> like, like he has just got way too many problems weighing him down. Because uh, I was thinking about like one of the early callers. He was talking about uh, what would Cobra do if he got sober, right? And I'm like, if Cobra got sober, all he'd do is eat and jack off. Yeah. Yeah. All the stuff he does now is just minus drinking. It's true. If you're like, if you're like major high of the day is like getting sauced, but you're also like eating crap and like jacking it throughout the day. Well, just like subtract your major high of the day. And like, what are you going to do? He's going to oh, lean I'll harder. Do He's gonna more go... of the other stuff. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Eat more and <laughs> jerk off. I don't know how he can yeah. multiply the number of times he jacks off every day. I mean, seriously, he's going to chafe. It's going to catch fire, but... He's going to pull it right off. He's going to pull it clean off. Oh, have mercy. And then and then all he'll have is eating, and then we'll really get that gut saga. I want the gut saga. I'm so ready for a <laughs> fat cobra, gothic king fat ass. It can't come soon enough. <laughs> Fucking gothic king lard butt. <laughs> Lord, but <laughs> yeah, dude. No, I, I, I'm glad you brought that up, man. The the uh, weight gain and and the lathe and all that. Uh, some very good points. Well, thanks for taking the call, Caesar. Yes, sir, and thanks for accepting my uh, apology. It means a lot. Still angry. No, no problem. Nothing mm-hmm. I enjoy more than accepting. Apologies from people I don't know. Ah, nothing better. That's how you know it's real. <laughs> get out All right. Now. Have a good night. Goodbye. Ah! Ah! Detective Bloor says too lazy to try and call in. Health conspiracy. Cobra is totally healthy for a lick. Oh, man. It just scrolled up. God dang it. Where is that thing? It's so far in the past, too, I'm sure. I caught the bulk of it. I'm very sorry. It's hard for me to see. uh... Oh, wait. I think I see it on my screen. This is a totally normal decomposition for a animated corpse troll. All right. I got it. He has a cobra lick. That's why I like to call people sometimes. Cobra licks. Cobra acolytes. Oof. Okay. Hey, caller. Oh, hey there. Is this Mr. Medicare? Oh, man. I'm trying to think of how he talks. No, that's not it. He has, um, I need to sound like I'm coming out of a speakerphone to sound like him. I think it would be spot on. Oh, it isn't. Oh, sorry. No, wrong wrong number. Wrong number. Were you looking for, um, I can get cool taste. Oh, rats. Didn't have anything you wanted to say. Probably worked real hard. Hey, this is Mr. Medicare here. What's up? Uh, what's up, dear bag? Yo. What's good? Uh-oh. Well, I, I've called exactly 420, 69 times trying to get in here. That's the magic number right there. I saw some of the fours and threes, I think. 420, so forth. boy. Hell yeah. I yeah. just wanted to talk about uh, our Lord and Savior, God the King Cobra, and the lack of water he drinks. Oh, more water talk. Let's hear it. 
Uh, he seems to drink nothing but soda, energy drinks, random concoctions of beer and vodka mixed together. Yeah. Uh, not much of any. I think I've maybe seen him drink water three times, and it's questionable because they're, <laughs> they're never see-through glasses, so you can't really tell. Yeah. There was a rare moment last night where he was on with Crystal, and he pointed his camera down, and it was just plain-ass water. Apparently it came out of the pipe, out of the faucet. How and... clear was it? It was uh, it's pretty clear. I can't figure out if Casper water would be really good or really bad because it's it's very. I live rural. in Central Illinois, and the water is garbage. What's it like? Uh, pretty tastes like rocks. Rocks, <laughs> very minerally. Indeed. Okay. Interesting. Do you have like a filter or anything that you wind up using? Uh, yeah, we have a Brita filter. I've had one for years. Yeah. What about uh, reverse osmosis? Do you ever think about that? I have not looked into that. It's supposed to be the best one. It's expensive, though. I'll look into it. Oh, uh-huh. also, I wanted to bring up like the price of the toothbrush versus the comparison of how much he actually uses it. Oh, shit. One more time. I, guess, I thought I saw something uh, spooky. Uh, I'm going to pause the timer so you can repeat that because I had a rare moment of being distracted. Oh, you're all good. Uh, all I said was... Uh... I wanted to talk about the comparison of the price of his toothbrush versus how much he actually uses it. <laughs> yeah, it's like an investment because he's got a um, one of those Sonicare fancy toothbrushes. I looked them up on Amazon. Even the low-end ones are like $110 usually. It's funny because uh, Gothy has one as well. I don't know if you follow her or not, but she straight up is missing. That's wild. Toothbrush. She just like lasers her gums. <laughs> I guess so. I think that'd be kind of uncomfortable uh, getting up in there like that. That is nutty. Yeah, they Well, they thanks both... for having me on, man. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm just ecstatic to be on here. Oh, uh, certainly, certainly. I uh, hope I didn't let you down. I, I don't even know what I thought, on, I thought I saw in chat, but it gave me a real You never scare. let me down. It's uh, re in chat and re in the comments with uh, the original Fallout guy in the picture from the Enclave. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I love Fallout. Great game. All right, dude. Indeed. Good talk. Have a good one, you. guy. Seizures, blessings. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I feel like I'm, I'm just getting a little, a little too frazzled right now. You got too many, too many sensory inputs, and it disrupts the thinking process. I think CWC said something like that once. I'm going to give myself a very brief break. I'm going to regroup recharge my wand and be right back we're still going strong i think i have at least 30 more minutes in me let me take a real quick break talk about drinking water probably need to drink more and use the toilet all that so uh, hang in there gang and i'll be right back with you we'll take some more calls Imagine a world where time would drift slowly. A world where music carries you away. Experience goth moods. A soundtrack for those who go against Love the Love was just a glance away. A warm embracing dance Remember away. Remember the heartbreak with Punamon. You don't, you don't realize that I You're like a rock star. With the Smash Mouth. To the drug with a hit the round run in. Do it make sense, but not for the run. I love the Gothic Bad Boy with Britney Spears. Rock out with a smooth Santa. No other collection gives you the feeling of Goth Moods. Imagine a world where time would drift slowly. A world where music carries you away. Experience goth moods. A soundtrack for those who go against Love the Love was just a glance away. A warm embracing dance Remember away. Remember the heartbreak with Punamon. 
feel like a rock star with the Smash Mouth. Unlock the Goblin Bad Boy with Britney Spears. Rock out with a smooth Santa. No other collection gives you the feeling of golf movements. Imagine a world where time would drift slowly. A world where music carries you away. Experience goth moods. A soundtrack for those who go against Love the Love was just a glance away. A warm embracing dance Remember away. the heartbreak. With Bruno Mars. Mm. Hello? Hello? Well, hey, Hello? Who's, who's this? Oh, Caesar! Uh, I've been calling and calling. I'm so glad I got through. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, um, I, I wanted to know, um, do you need another guest for your next Snake and Bones show? Oh, yeah. You know, I always need talent for my The Snake and Bones show. Oh, good, good, because, cause, uh, you know, if you needed anybody, uh, me and the tree man and my <laughs> boyfriend Jeff would be willing to pop on. I I've been in your game. chat. Have you seen me in chat? <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a tough one. That is, a, that is a not tough easy one. to to keep up, Crystal. I don't know how you do it. I'm amazed. I'm impressed. Um, Br bring her yeah. back. I I want to talk to her more about doing snake and the I'll bones see Crystal. together. Crystal. Crystal, yes, I'm still here. Yes, yes, seizure. What? what, what? Uh, I just wanted to let you know I got to think about it. Okay, well, if you ever want to come onto my panel and uh, uh, derail my content or uh, harass <laughs> me in any sort of way, uh, well, that would be well, any you... sort of affection I can get, I'll take. <laughs> All right, I'll make sure to come back real soon. I'll play some big booty oh. bitches again and some uh, Skyrim noises. It'll be great. Thank God. Okay. Good night, everyone. Oh, God bless. Whew. Good to hear from you, Crystal. It's been a minute. Big booty bitches. Big, big booty bitches. Huh? That was a good one. Hey, you're live on the K-hole. Hello. Hi, this is Lyle's Customs. This is Steve Lee Taylor. Mm. How are you doing? I'm I'm doing well. Uh, thank you. Lyle's Customs. Wait a second. Is this who I think it is? It's Mr. Goat. It's Mr. Rapper Goat. Steve himself. Uh, if there's anyone... I'm in Indiana right now. If there's anyone in the room that's being held hostage, just scream real loud. And I'll send help. Ah! Okay? Oh, boy. Okay. At least break them off a piece, will you? Uh, a little bit of Papa John's or something? They're hungry. I'm trying to get my diaper company off the ground. <laughs> and I was wondering if I could have some... The money, uh huh. Please, you need a uh, an investment. Is that right? Please, yes. Oh, diaper. It's an uh, adult baby company. Adult baby company. Do you take uh, new and pre-owned uh, soil diapers? You refurbish them. Absolutely. We'll Microwave take some used them. ones. Yeah, yeah. Just uh. Just nuke them in the microwave and, and put them back on. Worked for that pamper chew person. Now they're dead. Cobra wears diapers. Did you know that? Ah, I didn't know that. You won't tell anyone. It'll be our little secret. 
I'll have to hush, uh, hush. take that to my grave, right? Because you'll probably yep. kill me if you get the chance. Send him diapers as much as you can. <laughs> <laughs> you I'll think I'm back. joking, but it yeah. really is Lyle. It's Steve Lee Taylor. It's uh-huh. Lyle Dutch Angel Dragon on YouTube. I'm not a fucking chimo. I hey, am uh, not an animal rapist. I uh, I don't fuck animals. I don't <laughs> touch animals. I don't even deal with animals in that faction. I know that you're asking me for money, but I think it's time for me to shake you down. I have come across a video of you having sex with a goat. And I think that's it's time to negotiate. True. That was Cobra. That was, that's not true. Yeah. He was just wearing a, uh, a mask that looked just like you. I recognize that bozo hair you got. And that's not my butthole picture either. That's also Cobra. I hate that picture, and I curse you for ever creating that pic. I'm mad at you. I hate that picture. I've been shown it so many times. It looks like you're on a delivery table. Uh, I was. Just crowning. Ugh. I was on my adult baby changing table. Steve, I hate you with all of my heart. You are a blight on this planet. You and Warlord, uh, you need to submit yourselves for chemical castration. I can't stand to look at you. I've already been castrated. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad we can agree on that. Uh, um, thank you. Well, uh, it was a forcible castration by the Casper Police Department. <laughs> they they uh, dogpiled you and, and got the business, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, thousand pounds of sausages, as a CWC would say. Well, good. That's a story I, with a happy ending. Uh, I still cry to this day. At the loss of your balls? Yes. Yeah. Well, couldn't have happened to a nicer human being. Uh, I wish your uh, captives the best. Yeah, try to chew through those ropes, all right? They chew will never be nylon. freed. Oh, jeez, you're in the... Freaking Wiles Custom Dungeon, aren't you? Yep, Damn the man. diaper dungeon for you. <laughs> Steve, I'm going to banish you. I don't want to be in the diaper dungeon. This is getting too real. I'm getting you out of here. I'm not giving oh, you money. it's real. No! I'm in Indiana somewhere. Be gone, I said. To... Ugh. <laughs> diaper dungeon. <laughs> Lyle's, uh, yeah. Lyle's Hey Caesar, it's Lyle's me Cool Taste Oh hey Cool Taste Hey How's it going? It's it's good. Uh you sound slightly different. You got <laughs> yeah, a little pep in your step after up. last I, night. I I wanted to call in. Oh. And I just figured that'd be a good way to start. That was a good way. You actually had me fooled for a little bit. I was just thinking maybe cool taste after last night, had a little more zing and pep. Uh, did you hear about what he was up to last night? Um, was that when he had the check over? Yes, with a, a quote hidden camera in the room. You know, I think CEO showed me that and I was just like blown away by it. It was crazy. But yeah, I think he got um, lucky last night. Yeah, it's crazy how cool taste can get women to his place. Yeah. And we got Cobra in the dry spell. Well, there's something that cool taste has. I just learned about last night that Cobra is lacking. I have heard that cool taste has a gigantic dongus, like nine inches. Oh yeah. It's, it's probably like the girth of like a monster can. Someone else had said uh, God has a sick sense of humor. There was an exchange that oh, was yeah. made, and he mutated. And uh, yeah, he's supposed to have a huge dog. I'm not joking about that. Uh, I, I think that's part of why. Like he may be kind of a local legend in Casper. Uh, he's the blind guy that has a huge dick. Yeah, well, you know, he is the king of Casper. He is the king of Casper. Yes, yes. 
<laughs> um, you know, I, I got a question, and it's about Cobra's feet. And how did they get like that? Do you think it's just, uh, like, not changing socks or just having, like, sweaty feet? I'm really not sure. In the beginning, I would say it was a very advanced case of athlete's foot that just kept spreading. I think normally it never gets this far, but I was reading about the advanced stages of it, and it really resembled what Cobra was getting into. Uh, okay. And, but later on, it could be something. Like I mentioned earlier, but poor circulation, not enough blood getting mm. down there, and it gets kind of dry and scaly. Not drinking enough water can't help, but otherwise, I honestly yeah. don't know. You know, speaking of water, uh, he drinks a lot of G Fuel. So, like, isn't that just, like, powder mixed with water? Or do you kind of, like, lose your water benefit when you get the G Fuel in you? <laughs> I would say if if we were to ask his kidneys, they would say that the G Fuel is not as good as water. It's not as cleansing. Well, you know, maybe the G Fuel could be a good, like, pre-workout supplement for him. And then we could get him, like, a punching bag. <laughs> But decorate the punching bag to look like a troll. You know how you can get you can get like those faces that you can put on the bag, and he can just he can go nuts on it. And I think he'd be into it because, like what you're saying about this inanimate object rage, like he'd be right there. Ten minute workout, you know that would it get his blood moving the right way. Yeah, it'd be cathartic. This is your face. Yeah. Hit it with that. Yeah, exactly. He, he would. Bat. Yeah. Yeah, he would go all the way in on it. And we could redirect a lot of his rage to the bag and we would get kind of like a good benefit out of it. He would he would be doing a lot better when you let the dog out. You have it run some laps around the yard so it'll stop acting up inside the house. Oh, yeah. He'd be too tired. You know, he too wouldn't tired. be acting out on it. <laughs> I would give um, anything for a daily just beat down on this punching bag you described. That sounds amazing. Oh, yeah. And, you know, they got those ones that you can, like, stick on your desk. It's like a little suction cup. Oh, yeah. So, you know, he yells at things, making sure they're staying on his desk. And he'd have <laughs> something right there, like right by the screen. When he reads a comment he doesn't like, he can just, you know, throw a one-two at it. Someone in chat mentioned uh, putting Stephanie's boyfriend on it, Donnie. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bordering on a yeah. hate crime there. It's like a little effigy kind of thing. It's dangerous territory. But yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, it, it could be, but I, I think, you know, it's a lot a lot better than him running out of his door and, and chasing down a Cobra Stomper and, like, getting an assault charge or something crazy on him. It will help with that. It could... <laughs> Also yeah, give him the necessary too. endurance to catch them. So two possible uh, ways to convince him to get it, yeah. He needs to yeah. train up. He needs to get strong for the big fight. Ooh. Yeah. You know, maybe maybe him. we could throw in some donos and do like one of those, uh, like, what were they called? The YouTube clashes kind of thing where you get your... Uh, your low cows together to, to duke it out or something. I, I don't know. I might be going too far with that. Well, I think a lot of us think about it. Those chart show guys, I think we're trying to arrange it. I would say if you do rig that up, you, you got to stay like anonymous. You can't make a name for yourself. You just quietly mm -hmm. orchestrate it. Then I, I think you could get away with it. Yeah. Wow. Um, and then, you know, the only other comment I wanted to make was, Maybe it's possible that we could reach out to like Ozzy or something to do one of those like shout out things, but it's like a harsh reality, like telling him, you know, get your shit straight. I went through that. It's no good, you know, and if, it could uh, really like drill it home to him. Maybe and Ozzy he might does come around. Cameos from his dialysis machine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe. That'd like, be very inspiring. Um, yeah. And then, you know, the only other, uh, helpful advice I might have for him, this is kind of, kind of out there, but, um, there's like a musical instrument that deals with like bells and stuff. And maybe, uh, it could be something where he could learn another instrument and also 
take care of his clock tower interest with these like bells that are kind of set up like a xylophone, but they stand up. I forget what they're called. I'll have to check that out. I'm not familiar with that instrument. So anyone in chat knows what uh, this thing is. Maybe we can send yeah, it to him. Yeah, yeah, all I can think of is glockenspiel, but it's not because that's more like a xylophone. There's something called a glockenspiel, but I don't think yeah, that's it either. Yeah. All right, fool. You're way over your yeah. allotment. And time to get you on out of here. Ugh. Thank you, Seizure. Anytime. Have a good one. You too. Bye-bye. Ugh. There were some donos. I know they're old at this point. We had one from Ree. Thanks for having me on, dude. Hype for Boglemare. Hell yeah. And Jamie, Circle of Protection around Seizure. This has been a great live to catch. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's been a real roller coaster. Hello and welcome. Seizure, that was not funny. That was not funny. You shouldn't make fun of me. I was not okay with that. Right. Who was that guy impersonating me? Sometimes you gotta learn to take it on the chin. Was that the same guy in your snake bones? Was that the same one? It it certainly sounded like him, yeah. He's a, a man of many talents. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry for making fun of you. Um. Oh, hold on. Hold okay. On. okay. Hold on. I'll wait patiently. Give him some bagpipes. Or, um, Not for too long, though. There's callers wait. waiting. Hold on, Christopher Roberts and try another phony. More phonies, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Caesar, well, who the do hell you, is this? Well, you want to scream it out? You want to get the let out and just let them have it and tell them what for? Yeah, I'm getting real tired of everybody in chat trying to tell me to drink some water. It's not going <laughs> to happen, guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's the last straw. <laughs> Sorry, the last straw. Like, telling you to drink water. Ugh. Last time I got. Um. Yeah. Was it oh. Last time I drank water, I got right to your horny scissor. Wow. You get all the juices flowing. You need to be hydrated Why? for that. Uh, Crystal? General Sorrow? I think you um, need to go to bed. I think it's time to curl up in your cot. Uh, Watch out on. for bed bugs. Bye bye. Logie. Logie Crystal. Get the big gulp. Is this a foreign number? Hello? Yeah. It, it, where are you calling from? What is this area code I'm seeing? It's just fours. Fucking hell. I'm getting on. I got through. Yeah, you done it. I'm, uh, I'm from the, uh, the, the magical land of Scotland. Ah. Uh, Clint's, Clint's land. He loves it there. Oh, no, the, the, oh I'm sorry, that's Ireland. I apologize. Oh, you know that? Oh, he, he, he... Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, no, it's very important to not get them confused. Uh, I've learned that first time. Oh, no, no, don't get them confused. I would never, very I would different. never. I I was thinking of, of uh, <laughs> Ireland, but... Yeah, well, um, what time is it there? Jeez. It's, uh, like, what, 7 in the morning? 6.45. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. big exciting night. Have you yeah, been up yeah. all night? <laughs> I spent a long Saturday night. Yeah, uh, yeah. You come back in, and you know the the Caesar robot Cobra Cobra live streams going on. You go, yeah, you know, might as well try your luck. <laughs> you, know? you did it, man. Uh, and, here, and here we are. Be warned. Here, here we fucking are. I had one guy yell at me afterward because he ran up a phone bill. So I hope this is going through your internet or something. No, I don't. It, it's fine. Okay. It, every, it, it, we'll, we'll worry about that when it comes to money, but it's not... It's, it doesn't matter the now. Okay. What, what, what we're here to talk about is uh, I've never seen a pair of teeth, you know, a set of teeth that's ready to leave a man's mouth. So they're, they're primed and ready to just eject themselves. Yeah. Gums. Ready to fly so, out. I'm waiting for the stream... 
Because there was an um, infamous vegan guy who was screaming real hard in a video once, and while he was yelling, one of his teeth flew out of his mouth. And that's what I'm waiting for. Oh, it, it's, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> gonna, I'm ready. It would be a blessing at this point. They need... They got to come out. <laughs> They gotta come out. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen Osmosis Jones? Where, <laughs> yeah, Bill Murray. Monkey, monkey shit, and his daughter goes, "Don't eat that." I'm sorry, I can't. I can't focus. As soon as you said that, I wasn't expecting that to come out of your mouth. What is this about Osmosis Jones? You know the movie Osmosis Jones. White <laughs> boy. No, I'm talking about. I'm sorry. I know what you're talking about. I don't. I don't know why. I, I always imagine people overseas don't see a lot of Western movies, much less Osmosis Jones. But yes, yes, yes. No, I've seen it. Ozzy and Drix, you know, Buddy Cop, uh, Paracetamol, <laughs> White Bull. <Bristol. laughs> you know, imagine Osmosis Jones, but in. And, and, and Josh's body, you know what I mean? Like you know, Bill a, a hard boiled egg covered in monkey shit, and then he gets infected by one system. But I was thinking, like, what would, who would who would play the buddy cop thing? Like, I was thinking, dude, you don't want somebody too invasive like Chris Rock and David Hyde Pierce. But I feel like that's a million dollar idea. Is, <laughs> I know you like that. I really like that <laughs> idea. That's really funny. Imagine like Philip Seymour Hoffman, Philip Seymour Hoffman and uh, Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's, he's not I'm with us anymore. You, can I get another guy instead of Philip Seymour Hoffman? Because I think he's dead. He is, but... You know, we're thinking out the box here. Well, I guess they could take all of his lines from previous movies and okay, assemble. Okay, okay. Ryan, 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 Ryan Gosling and Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> Osmosis Jones. <laughs> COVID, Rotten Gun. You, you feel me? <laughs> and they're in his body. <laughs> Would you say monkey shit? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how Bill, you, you know Osmosis Jones. Yes. The beginning of the movie, Bill Murray works at a zoo and he drops a hard-boiled egg <laughs> in a chimpanzee enclosure and it gets covered in monkey shit. Okay, okay. And his I finally like, caught up. I'm sorry. It's hard Bill to focus. And he eats the shit-covered egg and then gets infected <laughs> by... virus. <laughs> it's a weird... It's a weird <laughs> but I want, I want to be in Cobra's body. Oh. Kill me. You know, I'm going to try to make something out of that. Do some, uh, maybe some storyboards. Anybody, I can pitch it to Hollywood. Hi. Yeah, you know, like, you know, really, you know, bring it back to, like, you know, Iron Giant, Warner Brothers, 90s. The, kind of the good style. old days. The, yeah, the golden era. It starts with this movie about Ryan Gosling and Joaquin Phoenix trying to fix Cobra's body. He's completely riddled with fungus, rock yeah. gum disease. He's been uh, paint fumes. It's like there's so much going on. Yeah, you know, it's it's a it's a. No, it's a, a hive of you know, like scum and villainy, and his yeah. whole body is just a a shanty town, and they're there to you know clean up crime. It's like the hobbits going to Mordor. It's a bad, ah, bad place. Ah, yeah. yeah. No, like, 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 oh, that's funny. Yeah. Shit. I think, I think that'd be a good idea. <sighs> What's that? <laughs> hmm. Oh, sorry. I wasn't sure what you said. I guess, uh, I guess that's yeah, the pitch. I I Stay in touch. I don't want to run up your bill, friend. It adds up. That dude was not happy with me. 
who's not happy with you? Like, um, who's, I can't remember where he he hailed from, but he had been trying all night, and I guess all the consecutive calls totaled on his bill, and he sent me a message, and he said, this was expensive. I'll worry about that. All right. I'll worry about that. All right. But. Bless you. God, that was funny. You've great idea. God, God, God. Listen to you talk about Osmosis Jones all night. That's too good. Bless you. Uh, well, something there. Well, uh, it needs might cut I'm, you. I'm loose. the ideas man. You are the, you're, you're the, you know, the guy that puts it into action. I'll be, um, what's his face from the Hobbit movies, Peter Jackson. I'll be your Peter Jackson, but you got to give me the ideas. Yeah, I'll be a, a big hairy dude that gets sick a lot. Uh, I'm sitting here going, you could like. Get a hundred guys in art makeup, and you go, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, do it easy. Like, Give me something hard. Yeah. <laughs> no man, he was making the dreams I, come true, I, Peter I, Jackson. God bless you. Yeah. No, God bless, God bless you, my friend. Thank I, you. I, I cannot believe what I've gotten through. You done it. You done it. When I saw that area code, I knew it was someone far away. Just fours. Um, Wild. I'm on the other side of the planet. Yeah, <laughs> across the pond. Uh, a, uh, a foggy bog. Yeah. Yeah. All right, big dog. Get some sleep. Uh, God bless you, my friend. God bless you. Talk to you later, I hope. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> 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 Uh, I should have asked him to just have him say words. <sighs> Shit. It did sound like he was in a submarine or something. Hello, hello. Oh, Caesar, how's it going, bud? Oh, it's going good. I had a great fella from Scotland just now talking about Osmosis um, Jones. Unbelievable. I I don't know what he was calling on, but that shit was giving me a headache. I had to dip out. The the audio was a little rough. It sounded like oh, man. he was deep underwater in a big tin can, but basically pitched a movie like Osmosis Jones with Joaquin Phoenix and Ryan Gosling trying to sort out uh, Cobra's gutty works. Kept talking about a, a hard-boiled egg covered in monkey shit. So good. <laughs> Anyway, I'll, I'll... The riveting. Uh, yeah, man. No, I'd like to see like a house episode with King Cobra. Ooh. And yeah, yeah, like you know, we got Doctor House popping the perks and like whacking Cobra with his fucking cane. <laughs> ah, that doesn't seem to work this time. Then we'll try this. Stabs him in the face with it. Pardon me. That would be great. Uh, all the things always. <clears throat> Jesus, sorry, that was loud. Uh, not Lucas. No, you're all good. It's not lupus. What would be Cobra's lupus? Mm. Yeah. Mm. He's got the three stooges, so it'd be like a cure for the three stooges, but it'd fuck everything else up. I think they'd want to study him, yeah. He's kind of like a modern Marvel. How is he not yeah, dead yet? They're like, you know, House is doing the house thing. He's got his whole team, the one British guy. Yeah. That, uh, so I have some notes here, and I just sure, sure. really so, uh, one Clint's a bad dad, of course. You know what else is there to say? Um, Josh and the meth type. It's been discussed heavily this stream. Yeah. Uh, horrible, horrible instance of that. And then the uh, jo the cup that was that was sent to him. He's gonna break it. He's gonna break it. Why? Oh yeah. It's got borrow time he, right now. It's it, a countdown. Like it is on a timer. Yeah. I, I'm surprised it hasn't, it's made it this long. Like from him clinking his rings and shit on that, it's going to break the Cobras off. It, they're barely on there. I was looking at the picture and you can see where the glass blower put in a nice little dab to connect it. Not going to make it. Yeah. No, it, the, like, the, the, the cobra's head is too thin. Like, you got to retard proof this. Like, this is cobra we're talking about. You can't send them stuff like that. 
You remember when he broke the Jack Skellington mug by just yes. squeezing it? I think he was pretending to squeeze something and just broke it. Yeah, it was the it was the skull goblet that he had, and he yeah. broke it once that day, and then <laughs> he squeezed it and broke it again. God damn it! Oh, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> he was heartbroken. Oh, I mean, it was really cool, but yeah, I mean, it's it's not Josh proof. No, it needs to be sturdy, yeah. meant to take a it lot does. of abuse, child proof, basically. Like you need to reinforce it with like Nerf, yeah, and like some foam shit or something. Could you give it and to a it chimpanzee might... and and not worry but, about it? That's the question. Could an ape... Say that again, I'm so sorry. Oh, I was just thinking, like, could you give it to an ape and not worry about it getting <laughs> smashed or broken? You, you know, I, I think it would be a lot more useful in the ape's hands than Josh's. It... <laughs> you know, I have seen a chimpanzee use a cell phone and a tablet to scroll through pictures, and it, it didn't smash it in a fit of rage. Yeah. So, yeah. And... Have you seen the video of the orangutan in the zoo sawing using a saw? Really? Yeah, it looked just like Cobra. <laughs> just like Cobra. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Only the orangutan had like way more confidence and it was using all of its fingers gripping onto that wood, just going at it. Yeah, well, let's see him use a lane. <laughs> oh, man. Show the me lane. that. <laughs> I, get, I bet it could. I've talked about that lane too much. Uh, the chair is taking one hell of a beating. It's oh, stuck out. I think this is the longest he's ever had a specific chair. But it is, it is. really getting soiled and beat up. Oh, it could, like, you know, oh, you were you had that one guy, the one French guy. Like, what if we mm -hmm. scraped a culture from his chair? We mailed it to the French guy, and they made, like, a cheese with it. <laughs> Put it in a nice little Petri dish, get a good colony going. You know, uh, kombucha? Yeah, I... Wait, what? Have you ever heard of kombucha? Kombucha? Yeah, I love that Something shit. Something like that. You could get a nice strain from that chair, put it in, oh. let it ferment, get some good kombucha. Oh, funk kucha or something. It's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Extra funk. <laughs> There's a cobra juice. Cobra juice. It's I'm going to get a picture of it just for people that are curious. The colony forms this solid mass. Oh, the 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 scoby. The scoby. Oh, I didn't know that was the name of it. And yeah, like uh it's got like a fruit uh, like a Yeah, like fruit roll-up. Like almost uh yeah, you could like make fruit roll-ups and shit out of it. It's really cool. <laughs> I want to know what cobras taste like. <laughs> oh, it's does it taste like Taco Bell or does it taste like ranch? <laughs> I bet ranch would be a big part of it. Someone said kombucha. That's really good. Kombucha. Well done. Well yes. Done. All right, man. Yeah, that was good. I'm oh, gonna... Yeah, my three minutes. I'm so sorry, man. It's, don't, yeah. You don't have to All apologize. Right. We'll end on a high note. That was worth it. Oh, okay. Fuck yeah. Get to All work. right. Love you. Bye, Cobra. Uh, shout out to my friend Forrest real quick. Shout out to him. Shout out working. Forrest. Add a boy. All right. Thank you so much, man. Anytime. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh oh, I didn't make it. This is an old one, but uh, Bunny Sango pitched in, said it would be the magic school bus, but a tour of Cobra's body. I remember that episode. I remember them uh, showing that to us back in the day. I liked that one. Hello? Hello? Greetings, friend. Oh, what's happening, Cedar? Oh, not too much. Been a real good night. I know, man. I've been getting loaded, smoking butt, drinking oh, beers. Right hanging on. out. Got yeah, the yeah. bad boy, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, like, it's been on my mind for a long time. Like, I don't have anyone to talk, you know, I don't have any Cobras. Mm -hmm. But, like, is Cobra really gothic? No. No. You got to think, think about it, though. Ozzy has the black nails. Uh -huh. He has the bad hair. He has a fruity little 
spiky, you know, ring thing. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> Was there more to that or uh No, that's it, man. Yeah, yeah. No, I I mean I don't think Cobra's goth. Um I it is interesting. It's really stuck with me in Bite Size's origin story doc. He mentioned how Cobra decided he wanted to be goth when he wanted to pick on Carl, who was a handicapped person. That is when he decided he wanted to be goth. What? But like, what is he then? He's like, he doesn't fit into any subgenre of anything. I think he identifies with like, what would be the bad guy. Uh, Slytherin, Shadow the Hedgehog, uh, all the anti-heroes out there. He likes that. But arguably... But he's like against all that at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He plays uh, both sides for sure, especially with like weird politics and I don't know. He's he's hard to read. I, I think Gothic D described him as an emo metalhead thing, which was pretty accurate. And she is the queen of Gothland, so I would go with yeah, that. Yeah, like, I'm 29. I fucking listen to Slipknot and everything. You know, I. <laughs> I'm part of that genre. He he doesn't fit into anything. He's not emo. He's not seen. He's not any. But what is he? He would have been a great ICP fan. I still believe I, that. I, I am. I'm a juggalo. Much motherfucking sound love. I he, my he, radar was going not, off. I thought I had a feeling this guy might be a juggalo. Hatchet. No. No. I've had a hard childhood. I've been through everything. It it attracts. A certain demographic, and I don't mean that in a bad way. A lot of outcasts, a lot of eccentric oh, people, um, people who had it rough growing up, a lot of them wind up being juggalos. And I do admire, I've, I've watched documentaries about the, the gathering, and it, at least on the surface, it's supposed to be a very friendly thing, a lot of love, being nice to each other, all that. I think Cobra would love it. And see some filthy but women like, too wrestling each other and like beans. What is he? He's not correct. Like, what? I can't so identify him. He he's just kind of a smattering of really surface level subcultures. Uh, hot topic shit. Um, <laughs> kind of um, uh, you know, Brett Michaels from Poison, oh, yeah. Rock of Love, whatever the hell that is, you know. I don't know. I think movies like maybe like more Motley Crue, you know? Yeah. It's um, also. More Vince Neil. You know, Chris Angel, the magician in Vegas. Yeah. Mind freak me, brother. That, all that tacky <laughs> shit. That's what I think of. Just tacky, edgy, hot topic tchotchkes. Whatever you'd call that. That's Cobra. I think that's pretty much it, man. I just, you know. Enjoying my life. You know, <laughs> I, I didn't think I was going to get through. You did great. And I'm glad to talk and to then, a, a juggalo. And then, oh, oh yeah, Mitch Clown Love, brother. Yeah. And what do you think about Sean? Do you think he's going to make it? Or like, what do, you, what do you think about Sean for the rest of the year? Sean will be okay. I think Cobra's very protective of him. He's basically a childhood friend at this point. He's had him since he was tiny. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I'm a Cobra. I, I'm, I'm, I've been gone for like eight years, man. Yeah, I think he'd yeah. be heartbroken. Nothing had better happen to Sean. I I would legitimately be upset if something happened and Cobra were upset over it because I think he really does love Sean a lot. And then, like, I've seen the chat, Crystal Roberts here. Maybe she can tell, you know, some of the pay pigs and shit, you know. <laughs> Get Sean a new shirt. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Sean, he needs a new shirt. Yeah. He, yeah, Cobra needs a shirt. And Crystal does make them, too. It's been a minute since yeah, she's uh, made one. Let's, let's, let's get Sean a shirt. Put her... Uh, she once did shirts where she inked her foot and then stepped on it, <laughs> on the shirt. Get one of those. Well, Eight. I mean, maybe she farts on it first. Shit. Yeah. All right, man. All right, teaser, man. I'll see you next time, brother. Yes, sir. Get Have out of one. here. Man. Juggalos are so funny. I can't stress how happy Cobra would be. Because you're going to see nude women everywhere. They're going to be filthy. They're going to be wrestling in a kiddie pool full of baked beans. Hello. Hello.
Yes, who is this? This is Van Wayward calling. Oh, I'm a huge fan, Van. <laughs> oh, great, awesome. You're wonderful. Working up, working up a uh, audience, I guess. Yeah, here to uh, yeah. be humiliated another time, huh? Can't get enough. Humiliated? Yeah. What do you mean? I'm going to yell at you again is what I'm going to do. Okay, go at it. Go ahead. Is this really okay. Van Wayward? Yeah, this is me. Damn. Damn. What's up? Man, I gave it to you good last time we talked. I straight up yelled at you. I don't care. I, I, I can take constru constructive criticism. I'm a beginner YouTuber. <laughs> um, I threw my shit. You know what I mean? Like, okay. <laughs> All right. You know? Wow, man. Um, so what happened after the interview? Did you, uh, you and, and Cobra had tentative plans to work together again? Well, from the last interview, you know, I've interviewed about 18 people and they never had a problem being honest and forthcoming and, and just being honest. And it felt like I was pulling teeth with him, which I was being honest with him. I wasn't trying to set him up, uh, but he just fought me every bit of the way. And it, it just, and after he admitted that he, uh, sexually molested a special ed girl mm -hmm. like i just kind of was like yeah i'm done with yeah that's done oh, okay so i i understand that sometimes they they get in too deep and they get a little too nasty it's a it's a gross story i can agree with that yeah well i have my limits uh i sure. like you know i i look at these people and i, I become thankful for my life and uh lately it's just been I, I can't do it. I got to go to somebody else. I've been working on other content, but, but this Cobra shit is, I, I, I'm, I'm done, man. I'm done. Like he's just, his teeth are falling out. His, he's going downhill. His bot, his body's falling apart. He's got a gut. He's balding. He's on a nine year streak. Like <laughs> just, just give it up, man. Just, but uh, I don't know. I just wanted to call and check in with you and say uh, no hard feelings, man. Uh, okay. I can okay. take constru constructive criticism. So, you know, I'm just out here doing my thing. Um, I admired your content for a long time and your coverage. So I called in and tried to give you a piece of my mind. Um, I know I called in multiple times just to get on that one call. But, you know, I've always went by the mind frame of uh, – beat down the door because they ain't going to beat down your door so all right but i uh i i can get behind that i well you got a thick skin you got a thick skin van wayward uh anyway. well 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 to, to to get into this game you you have to have a thick skin and it, it, that don't bother me i just wish more people would see the honesty in what i'm trying to do um, I've never had any formal training on anything I'm doing right now. Uh, it just, I, I've been so closed in lately, especially coronavirus, that mm -hmm. I had to do something and I created a YouTube channel and I thought, well, what better way to, uh, find my, uh, lane than to go after things that, I personally watch, so that's how it all started. But I'm I'm done with Cobra, man. He's just it's 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 lo like I've gotten my resolve out of it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I've got the the beginning, middle, and end. So I'm I'm done with him. But yeah, I just wanted to call and touch base again, man. No more, no hard feelings. I just you know got yeah, in. But uh, yeah, I think I think we need to move into like. Uh, like a uh, Cyrax or um, they got a new guy, Danny Brown, Danny Mullins or something. I've been looking into him, but uh, yeah, Cobes is dead to me, bro. I'm waiting for his teeth to fall out. I'm waiting for his hair to go bald. I'm waiting for him to, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm ready for him to have cardiac arrest so I can finally close the book on it. But, <laughs> but I'm just, I'm done with him, man. I'm fucking, you can't, I, I, I just, I, uh, I, yeah, I can't fuck with him after that. <laughs> but I, I was, I was going to reach out to him and be like, hey, man, I want you on my birthday stream on February 28th. 
but I really just don't want him on there now, like, yeah. honestly. It's hard uh, to wrangle that boy. It's uh, hard to work with him. Well, he, I know, I've got him on phone. I mean, every anytime I say, hey, man, do you want to do a stream? He's up for it, but it's just like, nah. Like, I, I did it last time, and, <laughs> and it was just like pulling teeth, man. Like, if I interview you, you know, you may put on a little voice and, you know, banter, but you're going to be honest with me, right? You know what I mean? Like, you have a a natural flow or way of communicating, you know, like, yeah. I feel if you're going to be a YouTube celebrity, <laughs> then you need to stand on it, you know, like, everything I asked Cobra has been proven time and time again, even through his mouth, but yet, he would not have a, you know what I mean, like, he wouldn't have a conversation with me, so that's, that's, yeah. that was my problem with it. Mm -hmm. It's relatable. But it's relatable. Yeah. <sighs> Just one call. Say great content, man. I'm still a fan. I'm still watching. Oh, God bless you. Salt of the earth, man. Wayward. Keep at it. <laughs> I'll be. Uh, I'll be watching. All right, man. Hey, check out my uh, check out my blog I got going up, man. It's uh, I went to AEW with this girl. Sweet. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to branch out now. I'm trying to do some blogs and kind of do yeah. my own thing. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, man. What's the uh, what's the name I'll of the blog? It. It's been good, man. All right, dog. Catch you later. All right, man. I was desperate to find that loop. Dusted off an old one. Oh, welcome. Oh, hello, brother. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. That's good to hear. You got to bear with me. I'm, I'm a little winded right now. It's expelled all the air out of my body like a, like a mating cockroach. What's going on? Well, I've got a bone to pick. I think you guys are being a little harsh on, on our boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's I good. I uh, fine. Old um, devil's advocate. Let's hear it. I think, yeah, I'm playing devil's advocate. He's a totally healthy 32-year-old man. Mm-hmm. You know, we, 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 we've all got our, no, uh, obviously he's uh, very near death. Near death? I, that's what I would say. Yeah. Do you think it would be different if uh, his... Oh, I'm looking at the stream playback now. Why did that start showing? Oh, wait. I wow, did have a, a question mess. for you. It's it's I in want, the past. Want... It's just weird. I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm no, getting you're sloppy. Continue. Uh, I did want to know, in your opinion, what do you think has taken more of his brain cells, like the drinking and whatnot, or the spray paint fumes? I think the spray paint fumes, by far, have killed way more brain cells. Wow, more. Yeah. That stuff yeah, is hazardous. I, I, I think we can see a clear decline when he started doing those inside and uh, on camera and stuff. And it was kind of a gradual thing where suddenly you, you realize he has actually slowed down. It's like you go into the playback speed in YouTube and crank it down a few quarters. Yeah, it's you can see the wheels turning in his head with like when he was trying to do the basic math. I forget what it was, but like 10 plus five or whatever. You can see <sighs> like the little hamster running in his head. That was so funny. I can't believe he can't do math that basic. I, I really want to you believe think he it ever wasn't could, like that. Or that's like a new thing. I, I want to think, think that's a new that thing. Ten years ago, <clears throat> I don't think so. 
I don't want to believe that because otherwise they really did just let him graduate high school. I don't know how that all works, but I mean, probably wanted him out of there. He was making him uncomfortable. I guess so. I don't know if, if you're really in special ed and stuff, if it's, you know, different, they let you go through, which would be understandable. But I never uh, would have I don't want to take a, I don't want to take too much of your time, but just one more yeah, yeah. thing too, that I don't know if anyone's brought this up about his health. I don't really, I've never heard anyone really bring this up and it kind of confuses me, but obviously all the people sending him alcohol in the mail, that's mm-hmm. not good. Don't give him alcohol like that. I guess, I, I don't know. That's a gray area. But what about him drinking random alcohols from bottles from strangers out of the mail and vaping their homebrew vape yeah. juices? That's what I think of right away is when he gets the tinctures that are homemade and stuff. Eventually, all it takes is some crazy guy to say, yeah, I want him to die from this. And he'll smoke it, and it'll be over. They might, I mean, if you have a jeweler's license, uh, at least this is how people would do it back in the day, you'd get a jeweler's license, you get cyanide, and then you can start poisoning people. That's what happened at Jonestown. Uh, I think the same thing could happen with Cobra. I hate to even put the thought out there, but um, it's very dangerous. Yeah, I do too, but I just like, I know that he doesn't have the brain power to do this, but I wish he had a way of vetting these things or because he's not going to get the bottle and not drink it. That's out of the question. No, he can't hold back. I I just, I, that really scares me. I don't know. It's uh, because when you're at the mercy of people watching him and there are some really crazy people watching. uh, It's such a vulnerable thing. I'm surprised that he allows it to happen. His alcohol dependency really takes over the higher thinking uh, when it comes to that. Damn. That's a really good point. You know, in terms of health and his longevity, that could be what does him in, and that would really suck. He's so paranoid about the trolls, but has no yeah. problem just drinking whatever. But yeah. yeah. That's all I wanted to bring up. I love you, man. You keep doing the Lord's work. Uh, uh, shout out, Rip Steak Face. Back at you, buddy. Oh, Rip Steak Face shout out. That's a good one. That's what's up. Hell yeah. That's what's up, brother. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take... I'm not gonna, like, walk away. I'm just gonna take a moment here. Because people in chat saying seizure needs a break. I am always amazed when I see the playback, because I'll watch this on my TV that's mounted up over there. I can kind of see what you're experiencing. And I look over... And I see my mixer is somehow being displayed. What was, what was even allowing that to happen? Uh, Let me back up a little bit. And I'll be straight with you guys. I haven't been drinking tonight. Sometimes I'll drink uh, because I get nervous beforehand. There's a lot that can go wrong. And uh, there it is. I'm going to just rewind and, and look here. Why were you able to see my sound mixer? I don't think anything private would have even been around. Okay, there it is. (laughs) You can see me operating the VLC player for that Scatman loop. And you can see the mixer. Okay, okay. I need to get rid of... um, Whoa, that's weird. There's like recursion taking place. So you were seeing like a picture and picture mirror and mirror effect for a long time. Or not a long time, a brief moment. Uh, I need to clean out my OBS. I think I just have so many scenes and bits uh, that I'm accidentally falling into. And man, you guys really put up with a lot, don't you? Yikes. All these noises and beepers and that uh, really loud stream starting thing that I keep accidentally going to. People saying no breaks. No breaks. You were okay. It was after the Van Wayward call. Yeah, he broke me. 
he broke my brain again for a second time. That's so funny. That loop makes me laugh so much. The the only you scat man loop. And I was putting it on full blast. He should have been able to hear it the way that this all works. That's too funny. That is too funny. <laughs> That's my favorite playing out song. Now I just do the timer. I don't do play out music because um, it didn't. I don't know, people, it's not a strong enough cue. Timer works great. Timer's a blessing. I should have been doing that much earlier. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Chat, how much longer should I go for? Should I read chat? I love reading chat. I've... Have I been streaming for five hours? Is this the five hour mark? Oh no. Oh. Am I reading that right? Or is it four hours? Yeah, that's a long stream. That is a long stream. Oh. One hour? Okay. Should it be reading chat or phone calls? I can do both. You're so good at streaming so long. Thank you. Thank you. I've had a few moments tonight where I, I've just been like, damn, I... Like, when I step away and stuff, it helps me recharge, because it really can just drain you mentally, having all these things going on. Sneezer. Four and a half, almost. Okay. I'm just waiting here for chat to finally receive my message to the past. Both... Keep taking calls. Both half and half. Okay. All right. I'm not normally one to just be like, hey, what should I do? Uh, I, I think that's kind of why people like to watch. Is, uh, they don't know what to expect. It's, it's not necessarily y'all's job to uh, give me direction, tell me what I should be doing, but... I, I did get curious uh, as to which one you guys like more. A moment of weakness. Sneezer blowbot. I thought it's a blowout. Sneezer blowout. All right. Uh, we'll do calls. Do more calls. Oh, shit. There was... Um... Um, give me a sec. I will I'll add additional call taking time. However long I need to. Let me see if I still have this here. There's a really funny guy who would leave me voicemails. I don't think I've shown this on stream before. But I saved his voicemails because he'd be like, Hey, qual number five. And he, he'd been leaving voicemails angrily to get into the uh, help desk. Lord, that guy was so funny. He was counting them out loud in anger. Uh, how many how many voicemails he'd leave, but he'd always say, I qualled. I'm qualling. It was really good. Uh, I thought I'd emailed myself. What was his name? He had a really funny name. Dang it. I'm I'm looking at my sent to myself emails. Now would be a great time for it to show my other screen. Jeez. Metal Heavy 19, chipped in 420. Hell yeah, that's what's up. Going to bed, low me to sleep. Caesar Roboto. Sleezer. 
All right, all right. Hold up. If it's not here, I'll give up. That I loved those voicemails. I wish I knew his name too. All right, all right. Time to cut my losses. We don't need funny, old-ass voicemails. I've got a pile of them here from real-ass humans. Let's open up those lines. Yeah, I should be listening to voicemails. Hey, what's up, dude? Just want to wish you a happy Easter. <laughs> yeah. I like that one. <laughs> the way he delivered it was really good. Hey, caller. Oh, hello. Hey, you made it. I'm actually on. I've been the calling for like on. an hour. Yeah, I know we had a, a big old break there, too. Uh, no one was getting man, in. Listen, listen, don't worry about it. Don't worry about oh, it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you for having me. It's a, it's an honor. Coming through real crisp and clear. You kind of sound like Tar I Man. I try my best. By the tar man, I wish that man makes some good videos. Mm. Yeah, what's I going mean, on? I, hey, what's up? Hey, you know, listen, I I gotta put my two cents in. I would one hundred percent watch that uh, Osmosis Jones movie one thousand percent. It's a blockbuster. It's it's a, a a blockbuster completely, like right out the gates, breaking yeah. the bank. Five uh, bags of popcorn. I just want to talk about. It. I want to, if you don't mind, uh, mm -hmm. go back a little bit. I was I was watching this when I was taking uh going to the bathroom okay. i noticed that nobody was uh wasn't talking about his teeth and all of a sudden everybody's talking about his teeth and oh. that's what i wanted to talk it's about topic because like du jour. realistically yeah it's a topic you know yeah realistically how long does he have until like some infection goes through and reaches his uh his little bog brain Ew. i am surprised it hasn't happened already particularly the two front teeth where there's huge pits with uh, yeah. rare, <clears throat> pardon me, Jesus, rare earth metals inside, like green limestone and <laughs> odd colored Just stuff up hanging in there. on by a thread. Yeah, and uh, mm, I don't know. He should have it's, an infection by now. It, it's baffling, really. Yeah. Like he's a a marvel to modern <laughs> science. <laughs> <laughs> it's. Mm. Because they've got to hurt. It's, it's amazing. Because the exposed nerves, but the abscess, I guess, just hasn't hit him yet. The the infection somehow isn't there. That means he's got to have one at least. Someplace, something's brewing. I mean, like that man was saying, his mom was looking at the the pictures, <laughs> saying, you know, his, his mom, mom's... you know, his, his mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like it, it baffles me. Really, it, it blows my mind. I, there's so many questions. If, if I could really get him to transparently answer, like, why aren't you doing something about this? Doesn't that hurt? When you rub your tongue over him, doesn't that bother you? For a guy who has like OCD, I, why isn't really, this driving you nuts? Like, it's, how does the alcohol alone not just absolutely burn any nerve endings mm. left in that mouth of his? Scorch him. Yeah. Just absolute numbed. <laughs> Someone says you sound like Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. You know, I, I haven't watched Family Guy. I don't want to say like two years. Like, I, I mean, that thing that was going around on TikTok. The you know the horse, the horse is here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, he always wanted a diamond engagement ring, Lois. Well, I yeah. bought a horse. Where roughly where do you hail from? Is it uh, somewhere on the East Coast? It's, it's Jersey, yeah, it's Jersey. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm right outside of Philadelphia, baby. All right. Do you like it? Yeah, no, it's fucking terrible here. I've been <laughs> so many places, and I'd rather be anywhere, but I can never leave because the food is too good around here. Really? Oh, it's so good. Like, where else can you go? Type in pizza and get 15 different pizza places within five miles. I was wondering what the best stuff was. Is, is there anything else you can't get any place else aside from pizza? The 
I mean, no, that's pretty much it. Like, uh, I, I mean, food, the deli's American around here food. pretty good. Yeah. Bagels. Bagels. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, bagels are great around here. Damn. I've ironically never been to New York. I don't really ever plan on it. Good. I hope I never make it to New York. I'm like, terrified just, of it. It just seems so dirty. Dirty, full of people. It's expensive. Uh, yeah, tourists. Yeah, what's there to even... I mean, there's a Statue of Liberty and stuff, but is it worth it? Whatever's no. there, no thanks. Not at all. Bed bugs. No. I, I, yeah, you walk in a rat the size of a cat. <laughs> you know, not worth. I think I I talked about it once, but my favorite story is uh, there was a man, and I guess there was like a sinkhole forming in the street, and he fell through the street, and immediately a swarm of rats attacked him. Jesus. In the Christ. sewer, it's like the most New York story ever. It's something you read out of a comic book, really. This is his origin story. Rat Man. <laughs> he yeah. comes out Rat Man, you know? <laughs> oh, man, you got to, you're a voice talent. You got to set up a oh, fiver. Hey, listen, that, that comes from a legend himself. You know, me and my boys watch here, and we my say boys. that you and Chauncey both have the most infectious laughs in the universe, man. Oh, you guys you. are fantastic. Oh, Chauncey's talented. He. Any joke he has is multiplied. It's got a modifier because of his funny it, voice. It's all that nasal, you know? It's a really particular voice. It's incredible. I, it's a, it. I guess he, he comes from Northeast as well. I think somewhere near Connecticut or something. Uh, I guess that's a very special voice that you get from there. Uh, it's it's because of all the absolute shit air that we breathe up here. It just constantly clogs our sinuses. <laughs> 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 just walk, yeah, as soon as you leave the northeast you go to like south georgia whatever everything clears up you sound completely Start breathing yeah, oh, it, it, mm. that's what air feels like oh, oh, oh man Pina, oh. <laughs> that's too good that's too good yeah man start doing gigs just just have people pay you to say funny things. You just can be like that. Go on Fiverr, you know? Yeah, Fiverr, that guy from Scotland. Can you imagine the line he would get of people asking him to say Osmosis Jones? <laughs> say the line. Just throw the money line. at him. Yeah. Talking about monkey shit on Monkey eggs. shit? Like, dude, I completely forgot that was part of the movie until I... he started talking about it. <laughs> Hey, he picks up an egg and just eats a shit covered egg. And I'm like, bro, what? I was in middle school when I saw it. It's crazy. Like, I don't think I've seen oh. it since. I've always avoided it. I don't want to watch yeah. Osmosis Jones. No. no coincidentally, no. I keep getting ads for it on YouTube, like free with ads, Osmosis Jones. It's it's their go to and like the bottom of the shit pile and Netflix. The you know, very low cost to license movies. They go right for Osmosis Jones. Yeah. I mean, really, who who, who cares about Osmosis Jones? The master of Disguise. That's why we need the Cobra reboot, you know? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, dude. I got I to gotta boot you. They're going to get cranky. Hey, but... no, yeah, no problem. I, can I can I also give some shout-outs as well? Yes. Is, that, is that cliche? Uh, I want to shout-out my boys in my Discord. Uh, Jeff, <laughs> Damien, shout-out to you guys. And listen, she's a uh, seizure. So I'm on the trip of my tongue here. Oh. You're a beautiful man. I appreciate all the work you're putting out. Keep up everything you're doing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Can, can I get like a, a champ or a slugger? Ah, you got it, champ. You want to go throw the ball around, pal? Oh, I wish you were my dad. To... <laughs> Mine's mean. We can get some ice cream later, sport. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Pop. Uh, no problem, little guy. <laughs> oh, bye. <laughs> Dad, 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 welcome, you're live. Oh, hell yes, I'm back then. Oh, you're back. Good I lord. <laughs> you're okay. unstoppable. Hey, oh, well done. Yeah. Yeah. From the Orient of Scotland, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, welcome back. Do I sound better? You do sound better. I, I think there was some kind of reverb or feedback going on. No, nah, my, my phone's fucked. I, yeah, I bought £5 of Skype credit to get back in, right? I was inspired by chat. I needed osmosis cobes, right? Yeah, back for more. <laughs> uh, a hard-boiled Mountain Dew egg. 
that he, he Cole, Cobra he works at an aviary in a raven enclosure. He drops a, a hard boiled Mountain Dew egg into bird poop, and then he gets infected by Christoph Waltz. You know, inglorious bastard Christoph Waltz. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Was he I, the I um, like he German guy? Killing. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, uh, you're hiding uh, enemies of the state under your floor. Are you not? Yeah, you know, that guy. He would yeah. be a good uh, 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 bird shit villain. Oh man, you're 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 stuck on it. You're stuck on this Osmosis Jones thing still. You're too I, pumped up. Give me another movie pitch. What else I, you got? I, I, I couldn't go to bed, man. I needed. I was inspired by chat. I saw it. The oh, Mountain Dew egg thing. I went, it, 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 it was all there. You're unstoppable. You are unstoppable. <laughs> well, I think we did have some requests. I think people wanted to hear you say things earlier. I'm not uh, going to lie. What's that? You want me to say what? You want me to say Osmosis Jones all the time? Too good. You know, we got to preserve, <laughs> preserve the novelty. Uh, what are some of your of course, favorite movies? What's some of my favorite movies? Yeah. I like uh, Old Boy, you know, the, the Korean one. Yes. Not the one with John Rowland, but the, the, the Korean one where he, yeah. he, he, he ends up shagging his daughter or something yeah. weird like that. Spoiler alert. Movie. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't. You know, it's, you, you know, know if anybody had, it's, it's an old ass movie by this point. Anyway. You're forgiven. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else is good? Uh, fucking Parasite's quite good. That's quite a recent thing. You know what I mean? Uh, fucking yeah. anything that Arnold Schwarzenegger's in. You know, Total Recall, Predator. Uh, I love uh, Total Recall. What's, 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 what's the other one? Fucking. Uh, the Running Man. I like The Running Man. Running Man. So you've listed two movies here where I like the movies, but the source material is also some of my favorite content ever. Uh, Old Boy was a manga, and it's totally different. It's crazy how different it is. And then uh, The Running Man was a short story, and it's the best. Uh, it's so good. You you know, uh, I have no mouth and I must scream. Yeah. The, the, the short story... Like, I didn't. I know the 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 video game, but I didn't know that was like a, a short story. It is. Before, it's a short one. The video it, game. Is yeah. Fucking unbelievably good. I think. It was like Harlan some of the best. Ellison like, or something like that. Pre, pre Terminator sci-fi. It's really good. Kind of a existential horror as well. May not have been a a big thing at the time. Or not widely oh, explored. Like, I don't know the year specifically, but it was like 50s or 60s. It was like very new. Yeah. It was a, it like was a very new thing. And, and, uh, in like one night or something like fried like that. Oh, he, uh, I, I actually bought his little book of short stories and I'm sure he made a killing because it had, I have no mouth in it, but he shared little excerpts about himself, which included that every time he would write, he would get butt naked Every time, and I thought that was fascinating. Well, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna get into the the, the mindscape of creative, you know, you might as well be comfortable. <laughs> if, that's how, if that's how we got into it, you know, who who are we to judge? Yeah, whatever works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good shit. No distractions. All sensory information must be discarded. Yeah. It is time to write spooky oh, sci-fi. All it's naked. Yeah, you know, <laughs> sitting on a, a hot leather seat. You know, really feeling it. Butt groove and all that. Yeah. <laughs> we can't yeah. understand his genius. It's not it's not for us. It's not for us to know. You know, oh. like H.P. Lovecraft, very strange guy. Oh, but I've heard bits and pieces oh. about him and his dog and stuff. Oh, it is, it's, he's a weird guy, right? <laughs> but he, he wrote some really good uh, short stories. I um I need to check him out because I know he created the whole uh, Cthulhu mythos and all that. Yeah, no, like it, it's 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 still what's referenced today as as the standard of you know cosmic horror. Uh, this this just strange guy uh, wrote in the fifties that people didn't get it, but I, I so it still holds up because that's you know you know you, you must play Bloodborne, you know it's all it's all Lovecraftian. Yeah. Oh yeah. All kinds of people borrow from it. The madness and the tentacles. Aye. 
Yeah, but, corruption. No, but nobody, only him did it, and everybody borrows from him. Yeah, and everybody that is, is copying him. Not yeah. a bad way. But no, it's it's. Ooh. He's just a pioneer. Like he he created kind yeah, of this yeah. unique genre. But weird guy. Didn't know. Don't know if he get naked. But oh I'm, yeah, not I, the. I <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, man? He. I would you know, think knowing. See if Harlan Ellison's gonna get naked. I would rather. I'd rather. <laughs> I, I'd rather both of them get naked. It, it would make me feel better. <laughs> It was funny because uh, during him uh, talking about that, he had been in Vegas and a woman came on to him and he thought she was beautiful. But in that moment, he got an idea for a story and he noped out, said bye-bye, <laughs> immediately went to his uh, hotel room, whipped out his typewriter and got butt naked. That was the flow of the story. <laughs> it's amazing. Hey, yo, you're beautiful, but I need to get naked. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not you but I need to get naked and he just you know fucking obviously priorities out of the story you, you know you can it's like, it's, make love to a beautiful woman every now and again but a good idea that might be once in a lifetime no have you seen David Lynch talk about a good idea I mean he's like if you have a good idea you have to write it down because if you don't <laughs> You might want to commit suicide the next day. <laughs> and there's so there's like most like so many like recorded like, interviews with him being like, "You want to blow your brains out if you forget a good idea." That's why I write them down all the time. So David Lynch can never don't let him ever forget a good idea. No, you you know. <laughs> I I you know, same was really surprised on. when I first heard his voice because I'd only seen pictures of him with like subtitles and captions of whatever he said. Uh, there was <laughs> something that really stuck with me because he was approached to direct one of the Star Wars movies to help out. Really? Yeah. Which one? Um, How early? One of the prequels, I think. Why, why George Lucas? Or was this? I think by that uh, point, Lucas well, was just like, I need a hand. Who gives a shit? Uh, I'm, you know, the passion is gone. Oh. But he was approached <laughs> and um, he declined. George Lucas, yeah. Star yeah. Wars is one author. Dream that was realized. Yes. Yeah. And I respect it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's the best. He, uh, <laughs> he met with George Lucas and, and said no. It was very difficult what? to meet him and uh, lost millions of dollars. Yeah. But his core thing that stuck with me is he said that if you're really a, a creative person, you shouldn't ever want to share your vision with anyone. It's yours. No one can taint it, no oh, one can I mingle with it seen like people ask you know they goes in interviews you're gonna tell us what a razor head meant and he goes no ah, damn <laughs> so this it's not i make the movie it's for you to figure out what it's about ouch it's not for me to tell ouch. yeah that's that's yeah. yeah you're sitting there watching inland empire going i don't get it but <laughs> I don't in, a, in, a, in a really highbrow way you're not meant to <laughs> Now that I struggle with, because I want there to be some meaning. If I'm going to watch it, it's got to be something. I, I feel can you. Take like from. I want, I want, I want a tether to all this abstract crap. Yeah. You know. But some of it's just, just too, too fried for my brain. <laughs> too high concept. Some yeah, of these guys. Yeah, you know, I don't want to try that hard. I, I, I'm just trying to, you know, do the best I can every day. Why is that, is that what Clint says? Oh yeah, yeah. You know, he also says, "Keep on rocking <laughs> on, man." Yeah, keep on. I'm I'm rocking the free world. Keep on rocking on. Keep on rocking man. on. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You know. <laughs> you got me thinking about stories and stuff now. But there was um, I watched. Um, after this, I'm gonna have to let you go, cause uh, the timer and stuff. I've, it's been a treat to have you. It's on. all right. I've, I've been hogging the airwaves, but it's. it's it's, it's been an absolute pleasure. Hell yeah. Until 8 o'clock. Uh, there was yeah, the a... sun's coming up. <laughs> the sun's coming up. Yeah, you've been up all night. The director, yeah. he did all the uh, Clint Eastwood movies, uh, Fistful of Dollars, uh, all those. I, I forget the trilogy, the series it was. But at it's the... The Dollars trilogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sergio something, yeah. I think his name was. Uh, uh, 
I'm the, upset that I can't remember. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. At the end, you know, some of these guys, they get so bored with everything they've done already, they need to surprise themselves. So they make something really out there. He made... Yeah, just like, go totally ahead. out of the box. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, they're kind of making it to amuse themselves at that point. They want to do something new and unusual. He made... Once Upon a Time in America, which is like five hours, it effectively killed the American gangster genre, and it is it is a brutal, depressing movie. Uh, it took all the heroism, all of like the noble uh, facades about being like a gangster, Robin Hood uh, kind of guy. The, and the kind of the, there's scum. The noble, yeah, the esque of. Trying to make it, make your own money by breaking the law. These guys. Kind of hang, uh, yeah. Just made it grim. It very and, and grim. Awful. They are yeah. horrible guys in that movie, and it doesn't end well. Uh, and apparently, I, I've read some stuff, seen some videos that say there were no more gangster movies to be had after that about the like Prohibition era uh, gangsters. It was done. Uh, and then he died. You know, uh, he died like five years later. And then- <laughs> that was his legacy. He just took a giant shit on the whole of you know mafia movies and then died. It's amazing <laughs> to do that much Why damage not? to an entire genre. He took it out. <laughs> Said no more. Uh, have you? Have you? You know Akira? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen Tetsuo? You know Tetsuo the Iron Man. The. the uh, manga that the, the, it was based the, off of, or at least inspired by. It, it's like the Japanese, the Japanese art house movie about oh. the guy that is haunted by the the, the metal fetish, fetishist that Akira's somewhat based on. Hang on, I thought it was a was it a movie and a manga? Tetsujin Twenty Eight. No, I don't know if Tetsu the Iron Man was a manga, but uh, it was from from. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to tell you like I'm a fucking expert, but from what I know is that this was sort of based on this very odd art housey Japanese movie where this guy uh, ends up killing a guy, uh, runs runs over a guy in, a, in his car, and he gets haunted by the spirit of this like metal fetishist, and then he becomes metal, and it's really upsetting and and, and bleak and grim. Oh, and <laughs> it's a it's a it's a really hard watch, man. But you know, at the end of it, you know, some. Uh, I sat there and was like, "Was this a movie? Was this, was this? Did I get anything out of this?" Yeah. You know, I, just sit, I was going, "What? Did, <laughs> what did I get out of that?" The gangster movie was tough because you're there for five hours I, wondering what have I done. I, 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 I could not be fucking bothered sitting down watching a movie for five hours. Man. <laughs> yeah. That's a long time. It's a long. That's movie. a that's a really long time. Yeah, you know, like I think you know, like three hours is enough. Plenty. Hopefully you can wrap it up. Five if hours. not, I mean, make it a TV series. Yeah. If it's going to be a five-hour five movie, hours, you gotta, yeah. <laughs> you got to go out in the middle and get, you know, like ice cream, uh, like, like, mm. like a, pen, a, a pantomime. Kind of Take thing. a dump. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> five hours, anything can happen. You're going to need to leave the room for something. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. All right, dog. Well, get some sleep. Later, my friend. Tuck it's in. Been, it's been real. It's been great. It's been great. I'm glad I could hear hey. from you again. That's amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just uh, glad that you're happy. Hell That's yeah. what it's about. Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> bye bye. Anyway, uh, uh, sweet you. dreams. Goodbye. Go, oh, sweet dreams. Night night. Woof. Okay. Okay. Uh, in response to chat. Someone asked me if I ever wrote any short stories. I won't go on too long about it. I know that was a long call. We're getting into the long call territory right now. We're uh, we're going off the rails a little bit, the format, all that. It's getting light. But when I was much younger, I would write short stories. And I have this stupid, just like Cobra, you know, I've got this short story I'm always thinking about and not writing but I do have an idea for something about a guy who blends into cults. And then the whole purpose is that he's meant to summon this entity called the Paladin. 
who comes in and kills everyone in the cult, but only if they are truly, truly up to no good. And the whole premise of the paladin is that he has a quirk where his belief is so strong that he can manifest anything. Uh, not necessarily anything. He, he really, in his mind, believes that he is <laughs> like an old medieval Christian warrior paladin guy in full armor, and he has a giant hammer. But really, he's just some dude. I've always envisioned him wearing um, uh, fireman's gear for some reason. Uh, and he believes so strongly he's in like the armor of God that for a brief moment, people can see like the bullets trying to hit him and they deflect. He may just have like a ball peen hammer, but when, for a brief second, when he hits people with it, you can almost see the giant uh, mace, whatever, and it makes their brains go splat. Uh, and it, it kind of plays on some things that I think would be fun. I think people are fascinated by cults and all the weird stuff they get into. Uh, the guy who... The main character, I always think of him as morphling, but he is able to extort people and blend in to anything very effectively. And it deals with him not having any faith whatsoever, but being confronted, the whole thing is to summon the paladin. <laughs> You're supposed to get so frightened and so scared that you call out for God, uh, which humans are prone to do. You can not believe in anything uh, in, in an everyday moment, but kind of almost this primal response to intense danger and fear is you will start like, like, oh, Jesus, help me, God. Yeah. And the the emotion is so intense that it finally brings him, and he arrives, and uh, he completely Gallagher's everyone in the cult. He just smashes them and kills them. And I think it would be incredibly satisfying, depending on what this cult would be getting up to, just to have this guy come in and smash him, pulverize him. Uh, <laughs> I imagined near the end this really scared guy who's been infiltrating secret societies and stuff. He picks him up like a fireman would, slings him over his shoulder, and then walks through a wall. And then the, the story would end. <laughs> I know I sound like a crazy person, but I think I could write it and make it uh, make sense. You need something weird like that. You need a weird premise if you want to get anyone to read anything. And that's an insane story. Anyway, I wasn't even paying attention to chat just then. I'm kind of curious what people are thinking. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, probably at the top of what I think is five hours according to this little meter. Cobra Cult Stoppers. I like that. Fat Baby wants his tape. You'll get it. Don't worry. I'm working on it. Mm. Reading chat. Catching up. Walnut Grove. Man, I'm so glad Walnut Grove is back. We lost him for a little while, and then he came back, and my chat just scrolled up, but I remember seeing his message that he was going to write a, story, a short story about a wizard that screams into a mirror. I'll get it. Put it online. People complimenting the Scotland guy's lynch. It was really funny. These conversations are great, Seizure. Oh, good. I'm glad you like that. I, I get nervous. I think now's probably more of an appropriate time for longer conversations like we had. Um, just at the tail end. We let our hair down. We get casual with it. I can see a dono. Greetings from Sweden Tubes. Thanks for all the laughs. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Not sure what the exchange rate is, but I appreciate any donation. See the big 5-0. It's hard to not get excited. 
Tetsuo the Iron Man has nothing to do with Akira, other than having characters both named Tetsuo. Oh, okay, he was saying Tetsuo the Iron Man, that's right. I had recalled, I thought it was based off of something called Tetsujin 28, and that's why I brought it up. <laughs> What's the problem with long movies? You eager to go back to your crappy life? You know, maybe my life isn't so bad. I want to get back to it. Five hours. One sitting. It's a long story to tell. This conversation has felt like five hours. Eh. Yeah. I know I'm reading some old chat here. Damn robot is deep AF. Thank you. Thank you. I just feel crazy when I talk about it. I think if you actually deliver on these ideas and put it into writing, you can look a lot less crazy. You know, they're enjoying it. They're having fun. It's really out there. But if the cult was into tax evasion and Gallagher just watermelon smashes their heads, see, that's not good enough. You need some real sickos. I was thinking of, it sounds crazy, but you need, you need the reader to get very angry and upset. So I think a universal thing is anything to do with children. If the cult is doing something really strange with children. But then I also like the idea of fear of the unknown. Maybe they are really communing with something else. It, it could be any kind of strange being that doesn't make sense or is upsetting to look at. Uh, maybe combine those things, and that's when you need a guy to help out. And the, the agency that has been working with the Paladin guy, they acknowledge that it's not necessarily a biblical thing, and they themselves aren't super religious. They have just come across this individual. I'm not, I'm not sure on why he is like this, but um, it's the idea of... Uh, some people really believe that if you truly believe in an outcome, full stop, full force... You will influence it. The go-to is um, flipping a coin. And you believe in your heart of hearts, it's going to come up heads. And I mean, as sure as you drop an object, you know it's going to fall to the ground. That kind of certainty. Uh, there's a school of thought that says that if you have that conviction, you can influence outcomes. And that's how I feel about the guy. Uh, I don't know if... He would have some kind of uh, special um, biological difference about him that would factor into it, or if it's just purely any human being could do what he does if they could reach that state of mind. It's like the force. Everyone likes the force. You can use it if you train. No one likes midichlorians. So I probably shy away from uh, him being biologically different. Do you do other creative projects besides Cobra stuff? Um, gosh. I don't collect anything. A lot of people get on me about that. I don't collect anything. I, I draw. Like, I'm, I'm big on drawing. That's all I did during high school was draw stuff. Um, I feel like my, my Cobra stuff borrows from my existing hobbies. So, uh, AV work and, and drawing, you know, I do the pixel stuff and all that, and I can do line art. Uh, hmm. Creative projects. Depends on what defines that. But I, I used to really want to get into a lot of things, but that doesn't count. I honestly can't think of anything off the top of my head. This consumes a lot of my time. And I think it's a good thing because with everything I do for Cobra, um, I'm building something. 
building on something. So CGI, art, editing, all that stuff. Uh, I try to get better and better with each project. <laughs> What's your least favorite music genre? I hate folk music. I can't stand folk music. That drives me nuts. Uh, there's a certain type of music I would always hear going into the office of like an uh, apartment complex. It kind of sounds pop, but you also might hear it in a club or something. And I don't know how to define it. I hate that, but I also hate folk music. Sounds like a Cobra stream. I don't know if you were talking about my spiced ramblings earlier, probably. Gotta hold on to your youth, YouTube. Keep going, bud. You got this. Thank you. Nobody says, hey, baby. Oh, hey, baby. Great stream. You and Bite Size need a podcast more. Yeah, yeah. He's, oh, Bite Size is a piece of work. I love him to death, but he's the kind of friend you have around that you're constantly having to tell him to shut up because of his sense of humor. I've never met anyone more obsessed with dicks than Bite Size. Any opportunity, he's either talking about someone's dick or an asshole because I think he's, he's a punisher. He likes to torment people with that kind of stuff. Dad jokes, puns. He is utterly obsessed. <laughs> but I love Bite. I owe a lot to him. I got my start, I think, because of him. He appeared in the second episode, and that was a big deal. And he's been a big supporter. He makes great content. He's got the biggest brains in the Cobraverse by far. <laughs> Man. I think he's insane. I think this made him nuts. <laughs> we had fun on the, the New Year's live stream. That was really, really fun. Van Wayward. Oh, I remember you talking about making your comic book and cartoon. Keep at it, dude. I remember when we first talked, you uh, talked about ancient Mesopotamia and Cobra being a villain. All kinds of things. Mm, Pasta64 says, you hate folk, but do you hate Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Um, I haven't seen that one in quite some time. It's a Colin Brothers movie. What's the connection between that and, and folk music? Do they have a lot of that in there? I haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah. Folk music. I remember I went to a restaurant once. <laughs> I was looking for places to have lunch at where I worked and it was a ramen shop and I went in and the decor I, I think you could describe it as being bohemian very earth centric as in like branches and leaves and stuff like that and they were playing the folk music hard and it made me so cranky. It was loud. And oh, I, I never went back. I never returned. They could have really good food, but if they're blasting folk music at me the entire time, I don't know if I can take it. You should take on being a game master. The Serpent Lord of Casparia. Depends on what you mean by Game Master. Like D&D? &D? Like a D&D &D campaign? A DM? Nah. Bonglamero is my favorite. I'm glad you're a fan. It's coming back. It's coming back. I just, I, I got too big brained with it and started designing a lot of stuff. It is meant to be punishment. I really want the player to be absolutely miserable. I don't want anyone to win. It's going to be so difficult. But I, 
at my core, I am still petrified of Dandy. I am so scared of him. I want him to possibly be the first guy to come back, but I'm also really scared he's going to beat me again. Mm. He can't do it. He can't beat me again. Dandy cannot beat me again. He found the holes in the last one. But there won't be any holes in this. It's going to be impenetrable. I have programmed a thing where if the contestant is getting too far, the stage starts crumbling apart. The floor explodes and there are fragments flying everywhere. I won't let it happen. Anyway. Dentist office music? Mm, yeah, probably. Yeah, that sounds about right these days. For the, uh, the type of music I don't like. The... If any of you guys watch Tamers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I don't know if it's royalty-free music or what, but so much of the stuff he picks... You could probably hear it if, if you were in a, like a Planet Fitness or something. You don't have your headphones. You'd probably wind up hearing that. Been on a vintage synth pop kick lately. Um, I'm not sure what would make vintage synth pop. Would it be like 80s? Bananarama? Uh oh, chat just went down. A whole lot. I just missed a big chunk. Ugh. Please answer the phone. I have a theory about Cobra you've never mm, thought of. Leave me a voicemail. YMO is the best. Yeah. Yellow Magic Orchestra is really, really good. And I heard that... Um, I'm sorry, I don't know for sure. It may have been a vocalist. He passed away. What do you like to draw when it's not Cobra-related? I had a gigantic universe I'd been thinking of for a really long time, and I, I still draw the characters from that. Um, I'm really fixated on this giant underground city that exists in the future, and it's all because of this episode of Kaiji. There's this really, really rich old man, and his idea of wealth is having uh, human things like a place to, to sleep, um, being able to eat. Um, I mean, to explain it, he makes a gigantic underground city and he is um, people who owe debts. He have he has them pay off their debts by uh, helping dig underground, uh, basically like slave labor. But in this this thing, it's this massive underground city. The entire surface is irradiated and uh, it deals with like androids and uh, these weird guys in like zoot suits uh, with like Tommy guns and stuff. I really like the idea of having like key, chi, whatever, spiritual force, but being able to imbue that into guns so that it, it is like a vessel for it and you can fire like almost like stupid like DBZ fireballs and stuff but the ability to charge weapons with it. There's a guy who has a sword and he uses that really strong um, I don't know what you really call it uh, spiritual energy. What do they call it in um, Yu Yu Hakusho? Uh, they had a name for it. Spirit Force or something. But you can imbue weapons with it. And I like that idea a lot versus just like farting out via uh, hands. But I like to draw characters from that. I've, I've been mulling around that idea for way too long. Sounding nuts again. Mm, what came first? <laughs> ranch <laughs> or Cool Ranch? I almost want to put on some of my videos, but I'm afraid of showing my YouTube. I'm just terrified of slipping up right now. I'm sloppy. That's 
Ah. Uh, I referenced that in Killers 2. Uh, what came first? Cobra's blood or Cobra's English? And Courtney guesses incorrect and her brain explodes. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's called being British. Yeah, you must be talking about bite, being obsessed with all that weird stuff. Van Wayward asks, why does your base hate me so? Honest question. It is very difficult to break into this community. You're going to be treated with a gargantuan amount of skepticism. Anyone who directly <clears throat> approaches Cobes and wants to do an interview or something, you are perceived as a guy who is latching on to low-hanging fruit. You want a very low-effort means of furthering your channel, your YouTube career, all that stuff. And if you do something like that, you have to work exponentially harder to overcome that kind of cynicism. You have to do a really good job. And even then, I would not recommend it. I would not recommend getting too close to them. It's dangerous. You're going to get burnt. If the community doesn't get mad at you, Cobra will probably find a way to cause you great harm. He's going to dox you. He's going to do something that ends badly. <laughs> he showed up on that crazy mystic lady's panel and disrobed himself and got her channel shut down. Uh, I brought up Crystal like a million times tonight, but... He, when he appeared on her stream the other night, I got really worried because he started showing his belly. He was sucking in his gut and getting all horned up, trying to show what he would call his abs. I thought he was about to whip his dick out. And I'm pretty sure Crystal has one strike left before that channel gets sunk. Cobra would be the guy to destroy it. Here, let me put on, uh, I'm going to put on my slideshow. I'm going to entertain you guys. Let me just have that be up while I read chat. Gary the Demon. Dang. I miss you. I miss your videos. I've wanted to steal your whole premise for a long time now because it's so fun. Mixing the, the feel of check it out with Cobra vids? Sign me up. I want to do that. Man, I miss your stuff. What is that word? Do you think the Sintonista crowd... What? Is waning as it becomes more apparent Clint is a crappy dad. Oh, okay, okay. Clintonista is probably what you meant. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's becoming harder and harder to defend Clint. I think you can empathize with him, but just seeing Josh in his current state, I think it's becoming more challenging to be like, oh, he's a grown man, because they hold interventions for grown-ass people too because they're killing themselves. And I think almost everyone who is pro-Clint saying to lay off, that's almost always their go-to, that Josh has grown. What is Clint supposed to do? Well, guys, uh, Josh is going to die. He needs someone to step in right now. Who was Van? What did he do? Uh, if you check out Van Wayward's channel, he has a uh, interview with Cobra that does not go well. He had a hard time reading Cobra and understanding what makes him cranky. There were some questions asked that didn't fly so well. And at one point, he called him Josh Sanders. Prior to that, uh, I think it was coming out in Cobra's videos that uh, Wayward was sending him a lot of messages uh, trying to set up this appointment. And it's just... 
Pe people get a bad idea about that. It was a call that makes chat cringe. Oh, yeah. Twangy country has the same effect on me. Negative effect, that is. Yeah. Van, you seem almost as self-aware as Cobes. That's funny. <laughs> I'm getting on his case now. No mercy. Let's see. I have the ultimate Cobra theory. Answer your phone. No, it's turned off. Sorry, buddy. Share it in chat. No dandy allowed. No, I have to at some point. Maybe he'll be the closer, but I will battle dandy again. We will meet at the appointed time and place and my arena, and we will fight. What is up with these images? There should be 400 of them, and I feel like we're already seeing the same ones. That's weird. Is it random? Randomized playback. Because uh, there should be way more than what it's cycling through right now. That's strange. Yeah, these are the same pictures. That ain't fair. Hmm. I'm going to go till eh, 15 more minutes and we'll officially wrap it up. It's been a lot of fun. This is by far my most favorite time is, is talking with chat. But I wind up streaming for seven hours. People fall asleep and they wake up and I'm still going. That's a very real thing. Dang, I have got to fix this slideshow. That's that's not acceptable. There are so many more uh, pictures. Let me try this. Lame. Get them in there. I'll just get rid of this folder. I put in like a directory. Okay, now I'm starting to see some new ones. That's what I like to see. Hey, Clint. Okay. There's Gothi again with her lame tarot card. Mm. Now I want to stay. Oh. No touchy says fate, rotten luck, and the Cobraverse. When your low key visit to you know where coincides with a certain piece of paper slide under the Boglum boy's apartment door. It sucks. Yeah. I, I can definitely see if anyone knew that if you were to theoretically visit Casper and the Cobra Stompers are at large, they, they would suspect you. But people have been yelling at uh, Banjo Bill, if anyone here remembers that guy. He stole the smoker's pole. People started accusing him. Could be anybody. It could be a rando that lives in that complex and didn't make themselves known. Been a great stream. Thank you. You got three, not 400. <laughs> you should be seeing the rest of the picks now. It looks like I was able to fix it. CEO called in earlier. Yeah, he did. He was great. Should we do another occult theme for the next call-in? The last one, um, if it's what you're thinking of, we did the conspiracy. And I, I guess that might be what you're thinking of with the occult. Unless you're just thinking of straight up like Josh and the occult type theme as a talking point. Oh, yeah. People saying uh, his teeth were white. That's a edit that I accidentally had in there. I probably shouldn't have included that. I thought it was just a straight-up picture of him and his teeth. Midstream sleeper here it can happen to you, too. No, not me, BB. Ain't happening. I have a problem. 
I think Shane ran out of gas. Is he the guy that had the theory? Oh, there he is. I think Cobra has scars on his dick because he had sex with a sex doll. I can say, I can curse here, Jesus. He fucked the sex doll with razors in it. And that's why he destroyed it. Uh, yeah. There may have been something up inside that scratched him. I think if he actually encountered razors inside like a booby trap, I think he would have talked about it and complained because that's messed up. But yeah. <laughs> Three picks. WTF, man. You guys are angry. I'm thinking I should have taken the advice now I'm entranced. Yeah, you're stuck here. Ooh. M Monaget says, Killer stream worth every minute and every penny. One of the few things I look forward to these days. That's what's up. Again, shout out all Cobra content creators. Thank you. Thank you. Shane, don't worry, you'll play your fan theory next year. Yeah, when I do the next call-in stream, right? <laughs> I, uh, there are huge gaps between these call-ins. I support Cobra Stompers. They, I like that their antagonism is kind of soft-hearted, particularly the flyer. Um, it's kind of a tongue-in-cheek little jab at them. And who's to say that they're actually putting flyers underneath every door? But yeah. Best of all, no one has gone to the subreddit or YouTube to be like, hey, it's me, I did it. Give me praises. Because that is lame. Whoever's doing this had better stay anonymous. Because you're going to blow it if you seek credit. That was the folly of Banjo Bill. As he stole the smoker's pole, I think he waited about a day, he went to the sub and said, Hey guys, I stole it. I took the smoker's pole. <laughs> and everyone yelled at him. And so he returned it. The end. Could be his landlord. That'd be funny. Too busy smashing plates. That was a great video. It was, uh, it was him and, and Darflinny, wasn't it? There was, I think, a third guy that was unexpected. Dave? No, I'm sorry. It was Bill. Bill was there smashing plates. Yeah. <laughs> Bunch of stooges. Jeez. Banjo Bill could have been a legend. Except he threw it all away for a moment. On Cam Simping. He's a weird guy. He's unusual. Uh, can't get a good read on him. Decent human, I'm sure. But... If you're going to steal the smokers, Paul, you take it. You have some fun with it. If you're going to return it, send it back. But at no point should anyone know that you did it. It's not about creating a name for yourself. Where is Clint getting his money? How is he? Uh, I think he meant funding overseas trips, multiple vacations, covering the apartment fees, etc. So Clint canonically received a very big settlement from getting into a uh, car accident. There was a couple of dozen wheelers, semi-truck. <laughs> I was able to cover it because I got the dossier uh, during one of the streams. I'm trying to remember the dude's name. It was, I think, Tyrus Carr. I remember it stuck out because his first and last name had something to do with vehicles. <laughs> and so the semi-truck, it was late at night. Tyrus' car occupied both lanes uh, in the road. 
stopped his truck and just left it there. Clint comes down the highway, it's late, and doesn't stop in time. And his car just accordions. There's uh, pictures of the accident, and Clint is very lucky to be alive. He took the company to court, and then they went bankrupt, which I think might tell you a lot. The, the company must have lost a gargantuan amount of money. And so Clint got a big payout because I wondered the same thing. I really wanted to know where all this money is coming from. He's a teacher at a college. Uh, him and Mrs. Saunders are both uh, in education. But yeah, he's going to New York. He's traipsing off to Ireland. Uh, he's bailing Josh out. It seems like he has a ton of money. I know that it, it at least kicked things off, the settlement. And we know for a fact that it happened, which is really cool. D pitches in 10 bucks. Thank you very much. Funniest stuff on the YouTube. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think it would take for Kobe's to fully get clean and turn sober? Jail. <laughs> I think he'd have to be put in prison. Even then, I know he'd be... Uh, Scrounging around looking for Pruno. But that would be a surefire way if he finally tries to chase down one of the stompers and goes to jail, goes to prison. That would get him clean. Other than that, I don't know. There's no convincing this guy. You could stage an intervention, and I think he would just have a huge fit. Is Ian back in jail? There was some stink about him. Um, I believe there was an update to... Oh, wait, Ian. I'm sorry. I was thinking of Warlord. I don't know about Ian. I hope not. Uh, talk about alcoholics. Uh, Ian's big thing is he kept uh, drinking and driving. That's what put him in jail. Episode about Josh and hygiene. I could... Uh, yeah, yeah. It's always about... Yeah. I feel like I'm in the last days. I don't want to be. <clears throat> but I have this like strange feeling that something really rotten might happen to Cobes. Or he's going to do something heinous, kind of like Christian, and I'm not going to want to make content for him anymore. So I am very, very picky about guests. And it's kind of a Venn diagram of good guest and topic that the guest likes. And when you have that synergy, that mailwich, you get really good content. So uh, I've talked about it before, and I'm sure it sounds kind of mean, but the concept of the resident expert is something I'm trying to shy away from. There's lots of people that come out of the woodwork, they have good intentions, but they'll say, hey, uh, let's say hygiene. I work with handicapped people, and boy, are they smelly. They are bad at taking care of themselves. I want to talk. And uh, regrettably, again, like the idea of I am the expert on this thing, this topic, how it relates to Josh, it doesn't end as well as you'd think. Um, the person is not, not always what I, I think I would be looking for. You get some weirdos sometimes. My favorite story. <laughs> I won't I won't say names or anything, and I'm sorry if you're listening. Uh, it was really strange because he was very persistent. This guy kept hounding me for a long time. And he wanted to talk about, I won't even list the topic. I'll keep that really vague because it's not what's important. Really got on my ass. Finally, I, I get with them and we talk. And uh, I'm just like, well, what did you have to say? You know, what's, you know, what's, what's got you going here? And he had nothing. He seemed like he was kind of hoping I had something to say about it. It was this big deal to him. He 
was so stoked and it was so urgent that he talk about this topic and I get him and it's like a dog chasing a car. He gets to it. He doesn't know what to do. But I was completely taken back at how little he had to say. He had maybe like two thoughts and he was done. And you need a lot more than that if you want to freaking do a whole episode with me. We record for several hours during the podcast, and then I condense it because there's lots of ums and noises and farting and burping and weird ticks, people needing breaks. We go off the rails. We go off topic. You guys don't want to hear that stuff. So I cut it all out, and you get the best, most pure, high-octane comedy that... <laughs> if I finally get you and um, you're kind of looking to me for stuff to talk about, I get it. Like, I'm going to help. Ideally, we're, we're both doing half. But Lord, where's the fire? Nothing to talk about. Anyhow. I love this shit. I'm going to get through one of these days. Hell yeah. Some of these people, it's just like, you got to believe. I feel like freaking Google Voice just chooses certain numbers they're going to start getting through. Because as we saw, there were people getting in twice. And I know how hard it is to get in. There's another edit there with uh, Cobes pearly whites. Those are definitely not his chompers. <laughs> Gangster Pizza says, does Cobra Saunders is gay? <laughs> does Cobra Saunders is gay? Has anyone ever done before more look like That's what it makes me think of. Has anyone really been far, even as decided to use, even go, want to do more look like? That's so funny. That always makes me laugh. I'll, uh, I'll post this. You know, it's late. Sometimes we, we wig out, we slip up. But Gangster Pizza, that made me laugh. Does Cobra Saunders is gay? <laughs> oh anyone really been far even as decided to use even go want to do look more like Ben Wayward asked Caesar let's do an interview about art no thanks I'm good appreciate the sentiment where's that guy hat warned me what what is going on with you guys tonight where's that guy hat warned me when I came in Speak English. Take a moment. You guys are... Oh. <laughs> back to back. Does Cobra Saunders is gay? Where's that guy had warned me when I came in? Sometimes I can piece together what you're uh, attempting to communicate and trying to express here, but you lost me. Okay, so on the Juggalo scale, Gothi was above average. Ugh. Um, If you watch the uh, documentaries with the Juggalos, Juggalettes, there are a lot more women that look better than Gothi. Gothi. She was kind of heavy, and then she smoked a whole lot of meth, Lost the weight, and she just deflated too rapidly. If she's wearing clothes and stuff, it's not bad. And I'm sorry for judging someone's outward appearance, but she's a vile, rotten human being. When you see the rest of her, she has this bean bag hanging off her belly. There's all this loose skin, weird stuff. And she's she's kind of... She's a little young to be having, like, the cellulite and losing that elasticity to that degree. And I think that happens when you lose the weight too fast. You, you can't snap back 
like you're meant to. But rotten person. Rotten. Uh, I'd say on the juggalo scale, mm, not above average. Possibly average. She's got a smell too. So last thing I'll say about Gothi, I'll move on. There was a stream where <laughs> she's cleaning out her cat box and there's a giant, like a silo trash can to the right of the cat box. This is all in her bedroom. She'll scoop the box, deposit the big load into the silo, and there it sits. Now, it's nice to the cat to give it a clean box, but why would you deposit all that feces a, a foot away in the same room and just sit with it, breathe it in all day? It was a big, tall trash can, like one of those step cans. And that thing must have been getting filled to the brim. Poop Smith, I mean. Jeez. That's the last thing about Gothi. She's got a stink. It's not like ammonia. I don't like seeing him with his glasses off. <laughs> yeah, his eyes are quite small, uh, Cobras. It's his glasses that blow him up. Where's this guy's father, man? You talking about Clint? Where's he at? Good question. What's he up to? Clint is he's just leaving Cobra sight unseen. He doesn't want to worry about him. Yeah, someone said she's still bottom of the barrel. I agree. We have a confirmed Shane sighting. Is that the dude with the theory that was <laughs> really stuck on the dick thing? We got your theory out there. All you gotta do is type it out in chat. We'll talk about it. Are you on crack? No. I drank two of those mango orange pineapple kickstarts. So when I'm streaming, and some people get on me because I breathe in, when you're talking a lot, it's easy to start to like run out of breath. And so the thing to do is just inhale with your mouth, sneak those in, but sometimes I'll go I'll do that and people think I'm uh, snorting pounds of cocaine. But no, when I'm streaming, I get a lot of energy. I'm on, I wanna be entertaining. <laughs> when I'm off, I'll relax and I won't, like it'll set in, I'll get really <laughs> worn out. Uh, I also have, uh, I've had insomnia since I was 15 and have continued to have to take uh, prescription medication. So if I don't take it, I can just stay up until I get really sick. Uh, that might be why you're wondering uh, how I have all this energy. But uh, that's the best way I can explain it. I'm sorry if I'm talking like I'm on crack. I'm doing my best, damn it. Ever since the toilet destruction, I lost interest. For a lot of people, that's the highlight of Gothi, is when she blew out the toilet bowl, put a crack in it. It was so funny. <laughs> I'm not supposed to eat cheese, but I did. Yep, I'm on my period. That was the best part, is you would have assumed it was an edit, but you hear her talking about how she's not supposed to eat dairy and stuff. Uh, there's so much context. And she's on the toilet. But yeah, she was blasting ass. R.I.P. Her butt. That was grotesque what she was getting up to in there. Oh, Cobra does love me. <laughs> Ridiculous. By weight, do you mean teeth? <laughs> she lost the pounds and she lost the teeth. That's right. Gothy diarrhea stream made me want to go live in uh, Ted Kaczynski's cabin. <laughs> that guy. I tried to read part of his manifesto, but that thing's long. I read that overseas in some um, French, European colleges, something, they actually have them read it. 
And it's mandatory. I thought that was really interesting. She is a loud pooper, says respect your surroundings. I have a subscription to a half gallon. <sighs> <laughs> Just me? Am I not able to read between these weird sentences? I have a subscription to a half gallon to Cobra every month. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, Shane? Help me out. <laughs> I want to read it again, but I don't want to. I don't want to kill it. I don't want to beat a dead horse here. <laughs> to a half gallon to Cobra. I'll be keeping an eye out, Shane. Please help me out. Man, gee, I mean, you don't got to convince me. Gothi is garbage. Absolutely, I thought she would at least be. Uh, entertaining piece of garbage, but she let us down when it came to that. She really let us down. Misogynic Robot 5000. Yeah. Respect women. Respect women. Uh, you got me thinking about this random report of the week clip. There was, um, there was a thing where it was all of his B-roll, uh, the stuff that he would cut out, a lot of him making sure that the camera is framed correctly. And there's a thing where he has, I think uh, Domino's was doing wings or something, and he, he's, he's content with it, it's good. He then walks off camera and screeches, Tastes like chicken! Tastes like chicken! It's the funniest thing I've ever heard him do. It's so out of character. Tastes like chicken! <laughs> uh, God bless him. <laughs> so, someone wrote out silo. Yeah, yeah. Why are we watching this? You bastard. Oh, you know. Do you like hanging out? You like hanging out with me? Okay. God, I'm in the feedback loop again. I'm back. I'm in the thing where I say 15 more minutes. How long has it been? Okay. Is 30 minutes realistic? 30 more minutes? I feel like 15 minutes are going to pass. I'm going to still be here. Hard stop? 30 minutes? Uh, it's about to be 3 a.m. where I'm at in about 15 minutes. Lactose intolerance and period poops is a recipe for destruction. It was ground zero in that toilet. I didn't know the women had it that bad. There. It was, I don't know how to describe it. There was so much force. The, the PSI, pounds per square fart, blasting. So forceful. Rotten. Absolutely rotten. <laughs> Where are the cliff notes for this manifesto? And it's a lot of pages. That's a lot of words. I would enjoy, I'm sure I've seen bits and pieces, kind of bullet points of what he was getting at and what he believed in. And I think that stuff is fascinating. But it's really a manifesto. It's a Harry Potter. He talks and talks and talks. I think it could realistically be condensed. 
watching Cobra videos made me an alcoholic. Is that is that what you mean by the gallons? The subscription to half gallon to Cobra you were getting at? Eh. I'm sorry to hear that. A lot of people watch Cobra and decide to not drink booze. Finish the whole thing on my shift. Nice. This whole stream, I'm guessing. Very nice. Now that's pretty good to be entertained for that long. I, I usually, man, if I'm watching panels and stuff, I can't pay attention for that long. I dip out because... Hey, usually when you've seen enough, you've seen it all. I saw this stuff. <laughs> Topless, dirty toilet pick the other day. Josh really attracts women that don't own toilet brushes. That whole bathroom was stained. You could see in the corners of the shower. What gets me is that Cobra comes up unintentionally with the best terms and phrases Verbatim, Stephanie's toilet tits. <laughs> That's so uh, profoundly degrading. Toilet tits. They belong in the toilet. They're, they're trash. Stephanie's toilet tits. Oh. Someone theorizing that Stephanie's just very comfortable with herself, I bet. Oh, maybe he's talking about Gothy. That Cobra psyoped for her to do the poop and fart show. She's just crazy. If you're talking about Gothy, she is nuts. Meth-induced psychosis. I want to go away, but I can't. I'll release you soon. I really do need to stop at three. I'm amazed I've made it this far. But it's been fun. It's been a really good time. I'm going to keep plugging away at chat. Get to the bottom of this. Oh! Shane says, I send them a half gallon every month of Maker's Mark to his P.O. box. Mmm. Damn. Damn. Have we seen him drink Maker's Mark? A big part of me believes you. But, of course, we need to treat everything with at least a little bit of skepticism. No skin off my shoes uh, either way, as Cobra would tell us. Why? Why would you do that? Sounds expensive. Well, if you're an alcoholic and he is too, maybe you feel bad for him. Don't want him to suffer. I mean, people are giving Shane the business. <laughs> Ride or die my ass and balls. That's right. She should be burnt for heat. Well, you could burn her for heat. You could also have her push a turbine and she could power a small fan. What else we got here? In a stream last year, you mentioned getting Cobra a gym membership. I went out the next day and signed up for a gym and have been weightlifting and running five days a week. Damn, damn. When I was at my most disciplined, I would go immediately after work. And when you get used to not going home, but just part of your day being you go to work, you go to gym, then you get to come home and finally truly disconnect. I think that's the best way to do it. People working from home now, you don't really, you're not forced to go out and then come back and take a little detour on the way home. So I straight up just set up a little the home gym thing, but... That's awesome. That's really good. 
wonder where you like to go. Uh, I think one of the most tempting places is Planet Fitness because they're so cheap, 10 bucks a month. But my favorite gym ever was Gold's Gym. I've talked about it before, I'm pretty sure. Gold's Gym was the perfect blend of being affordable and having actual equipment. Eh, I miss that place. We had a weather event destroy it where I was. It was supposed to be a storm shelter, too, and the entire roof caved in. <laughs> Cobes definitely has a poop and fart fetish, though. It's starting to look that way, yeah. When he was first introduced to that video of, like, a goth lady ripping ass in some leather pants, he got into it. And he's been caught, uh, I guess... They have the weird thing where you can link up social media to whatever porn vid you're looking at and, and wind up on his Facebook. Oh, uh, it's like, oh, hot girl farts and leggings. Yeah, he's been caught looking for it. Also, his weird talk of uh, his like dream relationship where they'd both be in the shower and she's farting real hard and they're giggling and laughing. It's just too specific. Oh. It's not like uh, playing while you're washing dishes and squirting each other with ketchup bottles. <laughs> Stuff like that. It's, it's, it's very specific. Farting on each other in the shower. That would stink, by the way. That would smell so bad. The miasma, the vapors. Gross. Yeah, I think he's got to finish. Next time I get into an argument, I'm going to use toilet tits as an insult. <laughs> See if it gets me punched. You might make them laugh. Toilet tits is too good. <laughs> Go take some melatonin. That stuff makes me sick. What I probably need to try, where I am, it's um, still very much criminalized, I guess you could say, is marijuana. If I could fall asleep with that instead of this prescription crap, uh, I would definitely do that. But there was a guy I knew, I was friends with him, and he got pulled over, and they had marijuana in there, and he ate it to get rid of the evidence. The cop suspected something was going on and took him to the police station and basically told him, hey, you can either fess up to having it and we'll give you a, a little misdemeanor or something or we're really going to come down on you. We're going to get you. And um, this is like basically a friend I hadn't seen for about 15 plus years. I only heard about this after the fact. I got to see the court case and everything. But they took his friend that was with him into another room and got him to fess up that he had eaten the marijuana. And they charged him with destruction of evidence, which is a felony. And so my friend went to prison for some odd years. So don't, don't do drugs, because if you do, it'll ruin your life. And if we catch you with them, we will ruin your life. We will make you unemployable. Maybe get your head stomped in by some asshole. So don't do it. Yeah. Five minutes. You support Cobra, but you're helping him drink himself to death. Are you yelling at Shane? Seems like there's a little civil war uh, going on with Shane here. Seroquel gives you diabetes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool taste is on that. And um, it has a way of making you crave simple carbs, sugar, sweets. It gives you weight gain. Um, one of the only strats is to <clears throat> basically limit all of your caloric intake to nighttime when you finally gorge yourself. Uh, 
basically intermittent fasting to counter it because any kind of discipline and uh, determination goes out the window uh, when you start to get those munchies. And uh, before anyone thinks that I'm like out of my mind or anything, it is incredibly common for uh, anyone with a sleep problem to be prescribed Seroquel. Uh, they'll give you a tiny dose, really small dose, but uh, that's how you wind up on it, and it sucks. Shane's threatening people. All right. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> if Cool Taste acquires another ailment, he'll be done. Unfortunately, Cool Taste is... Uh, he's not long for this world. He has a terminal case of... Uh, what is it? MS? Uh, Parkinson's? Something? He's, he's in deep. And I feel really bad for him, honestly. Like, mm. I've kind of forgiven him for the cat thing. Well, someone rightfully pointed out you can have mixed feelings about a person. I am still mad at Cool Taste for what he did to that cat. I feel bad that he is chronically ill, terminally ill. Ugh. If you see older videos of him... It's crazy. Just a, some odd years ago, him and Cobra both looking much stronger and healthier. But, you know, Cool Taste could see. He could talk with no issue whatsoever. He sounded like a normal human being. His eyes were fine. He's racked with it. It's in his bones. If he got diabetes on top of that. Yeah. So... Cool Taste is on hundreds of milligrams, which oh, will take out an elephant. Giant amounts. I don't know why he's on so much. When, when someone is on hundreds of milligrams, that's usually when you have uh, some kind of issue. You need an antipsychotic to regulate uh, all of that, but... Pardon me, he may have a doc that is just consistently upping the dose. They're very real. <laughs> if you take enough of it, you'll go straight comatose, knocks me out. 12 hours, like quaaludes, times 10, I take 400 milligrams. Oh no! 400 milligrams. That's so much. Yeah. I think part of what it does is it, uh, it starts shutting down all of the connecting synapses and all that in your brain. Uh, says this road is closed. So uh, there's no more you know, communication impulses going back and forth. You just shut down. It's a crazy drug. Short life, long dong. That's cool taste. I miss Darflinny. Yeah, me too. Clearly has wet brain from drinking too much. Something's wrong with that boy. He has days where it seems like he's not on anything or he's on an upper and he kind of seems like his old self. Cobra on his best day lately. Uh, he almost seems like old Josh. But that's a rare sight to see. And of course, the cognition is, I must be permanently impaired. 10 plus 15 what else can you say? Nuts. People commonly take over 500 milligrams. Okay, jeez. Well, I guess to my point, the, the miss, um, the, the bad prescription of it, I'm sorry, can't find the word for it. When they overprescribe for people with sleep issues, they give you the 10 to 15 milligrams. When you are having some serious problems, that's when they 
give you the higher quantity. And I think that's the true intended means of prescribing, is in those high doses. But the, the 10 and 15 is just kind of willy-nilly, and you can form a lifelong dependence on it, unfortunately. What is the funniest picture of Cobra ever? Uh, the one that immediately comes to mind is where he has his legs up. He was trying to do that that one move. Uh, it showed up in one of uh, Walnut Grove's videos. He's talking about like, oh, I, I can't suck my dick. And his, his legs fly all the way up. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's one of my favorites. I uh, don't know if it's in this list or not. We're about to round it out here. I need a good... Oh, I know what to do. I'll just do the uh, song. Do the falling away from me. I'm going to play that, and we will say goodbye. And I know I'm not going to be able to monetize this, so who cares? Too many bad words. All I can hope is that you guys don't get hit with too many ads afterward uh, because of this song being present. But I love closing out with this. Let me... Um, let's see here. Should be okay. I've been terrified tonight of even showing uh, the VCR view. I really spooked myself. Um, let's see. Studio mode. Studio VCR. Okay, okay. Yeah, you guys aren't seeing this. That's good. Whoop. Well, Bring that back. I'm sorry I deprived you guys of uh, visuals tonight. Maybe next time around I'll put on videos and what have you. Um, I just felt like I was <laughs> going to make a big mistake. <clears throat> it's weird. There were mistakes made, by the way. Oh, wait. Okay, so I can just go here now. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to give one final peek at chat. Stale Donut Crumbs says, Thank you, Seizure, for the wonderful stream. Stream. <laughs> Phone call with me before you go. <laughs> no. No. Leave me a voicemail. I'll look at it. I command you, phone call with me. No, I'm going to bed. Seizure, you are the man. Great stream. Thank you. Thank you. It was a wild one. You want to say a nighty night? Banger of a stream. Hell yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. I want to make sure you're going to be able to hear this. Yeah, you should be able to. See you, gang. It was fun. Till next time. So sometimes that's okay. I run, I just say, I'm here standing hollow, falling away from me, falling away from me. The day is here fading, and that's when I would say, and flirt with suicide, sometimes kill a pain. I can always say it's gonna be better tomorrow. Falling away from me, falling away from me. Beating me down, beating me, beating me down, down into the ground. Screaming so sound, beating me, beating me down, 
down into the ground. Falling away from me is spinning round and round. Falling away from me is lost and can't be found. Falling away from me is spinning round and round. Falling away. Go down, beating me down, beating me, beating me down, down into the ground, screaming some sound, beating me, beating me down, down into the ground. Yo, I have a Cobra theory. Please let me online. Dude, I am the biggest fan of you. Please put me on live chat. I have the ultimate theory on Cobra that you've never thought of. I'm a huge fan of him and you. Please answer your phone. Yo, I need to be on one of your podcasts. I got plenty to talk about. <laughs> Yo, man, for real. I'd love to be on one of these. Hey, Butt Munch, I said phone call before you leave the stream. So now you got to look here, look, listen. I subscribed to sending a half gallon of Maker's Mark to my Lord and Savior, the Gothic bad boy, the new generation, the 2.0 of Ozzy Osbourne, my lord and savior, King Cobra. So next time, put me on that podcast, homeboy. 